Um, let's head into this shrine because this is where I essentially stopped yesterday. No idea what's in here. The pathways in Athena look a little bit different. There wasn't a path leading down there before, right? Mm -mm. That's new. I would know. How do you want to avoid the chat spoilers? I think I won't be better with the spoilers in chat. Well, the more I play, the less affected I'm gonna get by spoilers. But uh, I hope. I just I'm just gonna continue to hope people have a common decency. The scoop. We gotta scoop something. Oh. Oh. Whoa. So they just changed electric. Oh, this makes sense. It actually makes sense. I just, it took me until now to realize why they changed the aesthetic of electricity. They made electricity more yellow to tie it in with the topaz and to kind of visually change it from the green energy from the zonai. That makes sense. I was wondering why the, the lightning is like yellow now instead of uh, green. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for. Okay, so I guess I need to build a scoop. I don't know if this will already do the trick or if I need a second. I might need a second. Oh? We're scooping. Ah. Uh, not quite. We need a bigger scoop. <clears throat> Avoiding spoilers? Uh, yes, thank you, Leanne. Um, I hope you enjoy the game. In my opinion, it's absolutely incredible. It's on pace to become my favorite game of all time. Oh, now we're really scooping. Holy... Uh, are we scooping? No, this is not a scoop. I get it. I get it. We haven't actually made a scoop yet. I get it. But I think I get it. No. I'm getting slowly but surely better at um, Ultra. And well, I actually don't know if this is going to scoop either. <laughs> Okay, I'm not good at making scoops yet, but now I know what to do. It's a slow process. I'm doing good today. I'm not, I haven't been up for too long yet. Wait, do these plates respawn because I destroyed a lot of them? Yeah. Wait. Oh, can I not just pick up an orb? <laughs> Wait, why do I even do this? Uh, anyway, I guess now I'm committed. I got sick? No, I'm, I just woke up. That's maybe my, if my voice sounds different, that's probably why. I uh, <clears throat> didn't sleep until like 3 o'clock yesterday because I am um, still, other, after, after the playthroughs, I'm still working on getting them up on my bot channel. Now we are scooping. It is scooping time. Wait, so why am I doing this exactly? Why am I not just taking an orb? Like this. Okay. I'll show you how to beat the shrine. Oh, you can't use on a device. It actually doesn't matter. Watch this. It's simple, it's simple um, quantum mechanics. This is simple quantum mechanics. <laughs> Very simple. 
Maybe don't get hit next. Don't get hit next time. I did talk uh, to Teba. Yes. The question is, isn't there like a chest here or something? <laughs> That's a really good idea, Jason. Thank you. Well, that was one way to solve the shrine. Um, maybe there's just no chest here? I feel like that would be uncommon. Maybe there's a chest in the ball pit. Well, I'm assuming I'm supposed to build an actual working scoop, which I didn't manage to do, but that's one way to solve it. I did uh, make the porridge. Yeah, I finished the porridge quest. There's no way there's no chest, right? I'm exploring the ball pit. Oh. I must be blind. Suspicious. Did I get the armor? Um, yes. Yes. Looking pretty clean. I still definitely want the second set of the... Um, <clears throat> I want the second part of the... What is it called? Uh, a tunic of the Depths. Okay, I guess I'm just beating the shrine. But isn't there usually always a chest? Am I forgetting something? Were there any shrines in Breath of the Wild without a chest? I'm trying to think if there were. Were there, Jason? You can answer that if it's about Breath of the Wild. Yeah, pen is great. Business is spreadsheet, I see, okay. Uh, well, in that case, I'm going to load into the shrine again and do the shrine again, but cool and fast. Because this is an easy Twitter clip. Boom. 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 Man, again. <clears throat> this is actually going to help me to get faster at the controls. What's the biggest discovery you've found so far in Tears of the Kingdom? Um, I haven't really been looking into discovering, like, s speed stuff. How did I do that first try? Did I just get really lucky? There's a chest in this shrine yet, I figured. I just didn't find it yet. Okay, that was really cool.
I really like the Rito dungeon. I'm out, gotta avoid spoilers. Yes, thank you for please enjoy. Okay, I need to find this chest. This would make the it would make the most sense if it's randomly in here. Ah, it is. That's mean. The question is, can I even get it if I don't scoop everything out? No, because you can't move it out. Okay, I guess we actually have to build the scoop. Surely this will be a really good reward. There are dungeons in the game, yeah. If they're like older Zelda games, you'll have to decide for yourself. Some people like them, some people don't like them as usual. Chess were also a good reward, especially in this game. I love it when they gave me a random elixir. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what a good way is. Why did my... Um, the scoop that I tried before did not work well. To say the least. I mean... <clears throat> this has to be good enough, right? Okay, this is so bad. Ow. I don't want to remove every single orb manually. And then it just breaks. Are drop frames a problem in this game? Uh, some areas are a bit laggy, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a problem. But um, I do wish we would have better hardware. It's like I was ready to have frames drop, but that doesn't mean it could it could be better. It couldn't be better. It definitely could be, but it doesn't really. Um, I'm on OLED now, but it, I don't think it changes anything from what I've heard. I don't think it basically like it didn't change my enjoyment so far of the game. But if you are really sensitive to like low frame rates and stuff, maybe it would for you. Okay, so the problem is this is basically a scoop, right? But it won't reach the orbs. See? Okay, no, it will actually reach the orbs. Never mind. Maybe this is the play. But then I have to wait for ages until this is all scooped out. Wait, did it scoop the chest? No, it did not. It's, it's the same, like Breath of the Wild, in terms of frame rate. But sometimes it gets even worse. Ooh. Strong Zonite Longsword. I'm so down.
These things look sick. Yeah, ultra uh, fire was always laggy. Ultra hand definitely can, especially in the sky, make it laggy. Holy! I want to see the mighty version of these weapons. I already had a mighty construct bow at one point. I'm gonna save this one until I find a really strong um, until I find a really strong construct horn. Currently, my strongest one is still the black Pokoblet horn, but the Lizalfos horns are so sick. Okay, I actually do kind of want to try this as well. But this is just gonna make like another katana. Which, I mean, that looks pretty badass. I think. I feel like maybe I should wait. I know Tears of the Kingdom can do performance updates, but for how new it is, it's wild to be playing on the same hardware as Breath of the Wild. There is a chance that Nintendo will release new hardware soon, I'd say. Relatively soon. Sooner than later. Um, <clears throat> and then maybe the game will get ported. So it's a fair point. I, I didn't sell a single diamond yet, and I don't think I will. I think I'm using every single diamond for weapons. But I've heard rumors Nintendo isn't doing any console updates till late 2024. I highly, highly doubt it, but rumors uh, rumors could end up being true. My prediction personally was that they're going to be announcing it in the summer or at the Nintendo Live event later this year. And that will be, it will probably be 2024 until it comes out, but I think they will start talking eventually. Because right now the Nintendo lineup is this game, Pikmin 4, and then like nothing. Anyway, Hateno time. But I feel like fusing them is such a waste. But what do you need money for? I feel like I don't really need money. I want Zonite more than money. Yeah, sure, maybe some armor that you can purchase. But the coolest armor in the game so far I've been finding. Instead of... Um, buying. And I have, like, what? Almost 300 arrows without buying a single... One. I will use my light blessings when I have 20. I didn't talk to Teba then. I, you mean after the quest? I don't, I don't think I did, no. But I guess now I know that you can do that, and maybe you can get your own Great Eagle Bow, question mark. That's what that seems to be hinting at. <clears throat> um, they did just release all their major games franchises um, sequels the last few months, so moving to new hardware would seem strange. Uh, unless if the cartridges work on the new consoles. I mean, yeah, I, I would hope so. I think it being backwards compatible should be a priority even. Yeah. I have not went down to fight the frogs again, no. But the thing with diamonds is even if there's a use for them, they're not that hard to come by. Yes, you can find them in blessings, but if you know where the rare ore deposits are, you'll find them. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, like a bubble frog. I mean, yeah, I have like 13. We still got that good old Hateno music. Oh my god. He's he's fashionable now. Oh. Bruce. Oh, our little East Wind General store carries all of Hateno Village's local specialties. Ever since Ceci set up shop in the place across the way, Hateno has made a name for itself with fresh fashion. Before that, though, I was farming. Uh, this was a farming community from way back. I know. I know this store here specifically very well. We are a self-sufficient little um, burg. We eat what we harvest and sell the rest. Uh, I'll tell you what, if you haven't lived until you've tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Ateno Pasture, oh, you, ha you haven't lived until you've tried that, head on up to the pasture when you get a minute. You'll be glad you did. That wraps up the sales pitch, I figure. Oh. Sorry for the song and dance, but I got business to run. Um, anywho, you were saying? 
something I can do for you? Ooh. Uh, no, I wanted to see what you sell these days. Hylian mushrooms, pumpkins, milk, eggs, tomatoes, carrots, rice. I get some of the rice. I feel like you need that for some quests. Yeah, with an X. Yeah, that's what I responded to. And you said, no, I mean a frog. And I said, no, I haven't went back underground to fight the frogs again. Maybe there's frogs in other places. If that is the case, I haven't seen them. So pretty. Okay. Oh, that's Sophie, the anxious shop uh, owner before, at least. As I said multiple times, I can't admit um, three customers at present. Uh? What do you mean? We took the trouble to come here and now you're saying we can't get in? But I wanted to see Seisei's new stuff. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debuts new material. Uh. Yeah, everything I said... Uh, I, everything I heard said this was some of Seisei's best work. I'm so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Entry ticket? One ticket? So you're saying one person could go in? Guess who's gonna get that ticket? Hey, come on now, we can't just let one of us get a head start. Sure, I know that. It was just a joke, right? Oh, well, maybe if we come back later, they'll have more room for all of us. Yeah, it's not like this is the only clothing place in the village. What do you say we kill some time at the dye shop? Oh, we could check out the pasture. <laughs> Speaking of which, I've heard that a little ways up the road from the pasture is a laboratory specializing in ancient stuff. Hmm. Since we got all dolled, uh, dolled up, we may as well hit the town and see it all. This is dolled up? This is what fashion looks like? Uh. Thank goodness they gave up, hmm? Oh. oh my, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sisters? I mean, the new line of Seisei's products? I feel like, do we remember that name? I don't remember it. As long as it's just you, you're free to go into the shop. Seisei herself is in there right now, in fact. Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only an exhibition right now. Sorry to disappoint. So the clothing store is like a fashion... Ex wow. This is, um... No. Oh, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an, it's an exemplar from... Of the... From From angle. This is the sort of thing on which I've built my name and reputation as the world-renowned Ceci. Hmm? Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable Ceci? Hmm. I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Hey, what do you mean? I look better than you. Have you seen my outfit? I'm like... Clean. Welcome to Ventas Clothing. The only boutique in the world which carries the Seisei brand. And if you weren't aware... No. You stand before the very woman who changed this fusty old village into the birthplace of Nouveau Fashion. As proof, I present to you this. No. The Seisei hat. The newest and most magnificent work by yours truly, Seisei. <laughs> Do you see that luxurious curve? Do you know it? My avant-garde whatever. Wouldn't you call it the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It is not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule's trendiest village is worthy of such a crown. Um, hello? <laughs> What's all this about, Hyrule's trendiest village? I don't remember approving any new slogans for Ateno. Uh -huh. Ah, look who's here. What can I do for you, oh esteemed? May I read? Uh... I'm really sorry, I, I tried to stop him from coming in like you asked, but he wouldn't take no for an answer. Sissy, you have got to quit littering the village with your weird art pieces. Uh, my version of the game is French for some reason, um, or somewhere in Europe, I can't tell. I got the orange 12 and Peggy pe pe on it, not Australia's M. That is weird. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. 
Those eyes saws are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Hateno's foundation is its produce. What are we going to do if it fails? Ah. No, no, dear. There's no need to get so worked up. I think some of the people here actually like her art, you know? Wouldn't it be better to hear her out? Don't fall for her line of twaddle. She's got everyone in Ateno wrapped around her finger already. My duty is to look after the village, and that's what I mean to do. Uh? Looking after the village, you say? Who do you suppose you have to thank for Ateno's rejuvenation? <sighs> it didn't need rejuvenating. Ateno village is a peaceful place where folks live quiet lives, and that's the way they like it. Do they? Then let us leave the matter to the people to decide. My avant-garde approach versus this mayor's quaint bygone ways. The citizens will decide which outlook might, will drive the future of the village. No! By holding a mayoral election. Mm. You're calling for a mayoral election? Sure, suits me. I win that pretty easy. Uh. Sophie, I delegate management of the mayoral election to you. What? Come on, Clavia. I don't feel like sticking around here any longer. It's time we head back home. Wait, there's gonna be a political debate? A political crisis in Hateno? Oh my god. Another side adventure. What's in here? Fashionable person personnel only. <gasps> the Royal Guard's armor! But you can only get it if you become her friend or something. Oh, you again. Ooh. I've got a long to-do list in preparation for the mayoral election. The sooner I get started, the better. No. Uh, where do you get the shield and weapon? The shield is a, um, I think, mighty construct shield. And a oh, zonite sh shield. And the weapon is a strong zonite sword fused with a blue dissolver's horn. The answer should go without saying, but you are, of course... Uh, I mean, Reed seems kind of boring, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a CC voter. No. But of course, uh. that settles that I trust. It's plain for all to see that I'm a shoe in for the next mayor. Uh. Or so one would think. Yet there are strang stragglers in this village still supporting Reed. They need a mental makeover. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. And so, I have a fabulous plan to give out mushrooms to Reed supporters. Ooh. Mushrooms are synonymous with the CC brand. Fungal fashion is the CC way. The mushrooms I give them will paint them inside out with fresh, vibrant CC brand colors. No. Although, Sophie and I must mind the shop. Where will we find someone we can trust to carry out this vital task? Uh, I, have to, I have to go. I guess I do it for you, CC. There's the magic words I was waiting for. You are a lifesaver. Now then, you'll be needing these. Eight mushrooms. <laughs> uh. These mushrooms are for the village, uh, village reed supporters. It's easy to recognize them by how unstylish they are. I guess whenever they don't have any mushroom um, attire, there are no, no CC stands. Uh. This should go without saying, but don't give one to anyone in Reed's family. There's also no need to give them to children, travelers, or any temporary residents like the Sheikah researchers. That leaves us with, unless I miss my guess, a total of eight Reed supporters. <laughs> this is crazy. We're actually, we're, we're like... Um, what is the English word for that? We're manipulating the Hateno vote? <laughs> like, what's going on here? Well, off you go. Team CC or Team Reed? Yeah. Oh my god. Never mind. I thought that's the weapon corner circuit. It's not. Azu. Uh oh. I got so caught up in playing a zoom that I didn't notice it's getting late. Gotta get home. If you need something, you should ask a grown up. I'm gonna get an earful if I don't make it in home in time. What is a zoom? Okay, okay. You guys are safe. Definitely very safe. Wearing mushroom hats. If I see one non- oh, what is this guy doing? Oh my god, it's this dude again. He was always creepy. Oh my god, and he's back. Love's fire burns forever. Oh. 
what's the matter? You can tell me, weirdly handsome dude. <laughs> what? You look like you've been places. Sure, things are peaceful in the old village, but it's a jungle out there in the world. That's why I stick around here, checking out the scene, making sure no strangers put the moves on Miss Ivy. Ugh. Wait, I mean, that's why I make sure no strangers come in from the outside to disturb the peace. Ivy? Uh? You forgot the miss? Always at the miss. Miss Ivy is the poster girl for the East Wind General Store. There's no problem if you want to talk to Miss Ivy. Just keep the na naive. I just moved here and I and won't somebody show me around. Act to a minimum. Not that anyone could be as young, guyish, or fashionesque as me. Yeah. By the way, quick question for you, big guy. What kind of present do you think would make Miss Ivy at Eastwind happy? It's literally the same quest. I'm not asking for me, you understand? Like, friend of a friend wanted advice and I'm having a tough time with the answer. Obviously, I can't just go ask her directly. Let me know if you think of something. He's back. Back indeed. <clears throat> These guys are all high. Like, what is this? There's, I bet there's smoking mushrooms as well, you know. Alright, back to the dye shop. This is hopefully where I can change my paraglider. Someday, a second so. Ugh. Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop. Right, so you're a new customer, I think. No, I'm a, I'm a regular. Well, if you don't do the dyeing around here, you want my hobby for that. All this activity is getting to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful for Ceci that our shop has taken off like this, but every day is just so exhausting now. I'm sorry, it seems stressful. Ah. Oh my lord. Safaro, welcome. Are you a traveler? Yeah, I am. Ah. He, uh... Unlucky, is what I'm gonna say. Um, bad... G, G. Oh yeah, you got good taste if you wandered here to Hateno Village. <laughs> Our shop is all about style. Everyone who's interested in fashion comes here all the time. And we don't just buy clothes. We can... Oh, true, true. Actually, pretty cool hair. It reminds me of... Um, what is this guy's name? Sokka? From The Last Airbender? How comes Hateno is now Mushroom Kingdom? It literally is Mushroom Kingdom. They're all smoking mushrooms. Thank you so much for the 20 months, by the way. <clears throat> and we don't just dye clothes, we can do stuff with other fabrics too. My dad um, can tell you all about it. He's got really good taste, so you'll recognize him <laughs> as soon as you see him. <laughs> yep. That sure is him. <laughs> if you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. How do you do? Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to give an item to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get up. Huh? That's a lovely paraglider you got there. Oh. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, but we also have a fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. <laughs> You may be a first-time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service to for folks like you. Your very own introductory fabric. Oh, mushrooms. Top fabric bearing a Stacey brand design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. <laughs> um, wait, what's the question? Are you planning on speedrunning this game? Yes. <clears throat> Seisei, the famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up the cutting-edge design of this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me if you find some new fabric, won't you? We can rework your paraglider in the stylish, most stylish colors. Okay, let's rework the glider. How much um, is that? Oh, is it free? Holy, yeah, I really like the goddess fabric. I think it's my favorite. The Sheikah one is good too, though. Damn. But the Sheikah one is like kind of close. I think this is like the most drastic one so far. Oh, it is 20 rupees, okay. <laughs> maybe maybe he's related to Kilton Sage. Uh, but I mean, he wasn't the first game, obviously. What? 
That's new. That's kind of scary. Sure. Setting the fabric. Ready to launch? Wait. <laughs> no. Wait, what is this? That's so cool. Whoa. Oh, that look. I like that. That glider looks cool. The goddess one is from the Skyward Sword Amiibo. I knew that from Twitter when the game first came out. Which, speaking of which, this is probably a good time to try my new Amiibo again. Which is this uh, Link one from the Collector's Edition. Because this one is a fabric too. I, I still don't know. I think you can also... I don't know where that is, but I think you can also change your actual clothing in Ateno. Because I want to get the cape. Um, but without the hood on. People basically told me already that you can do that in Hateno. But I don't know where. I will find that out though. Don't actually tell me. Razor Shroom, nice. Some attack power. Do you use Amiibo in your speedruns? In any percent? Oh my god, why can I not get the fabric? In any percent? Yes. Um, and if it's faster than this game, then probably too. Yeah, I like this glider, but I can't wait to find more of them. But I like it because it's quite different. The other ones are quite dark, and this one is like bright. Now, I do want to find out... ...if it's possible to dye this tunic. Um, I, pro I don't think so. Wait, a quest? I got a favor to ask. If uh, it's not enough for me to just rework with fabric you bring me, I want to dye my hand at making my own patterns. Just like Cece, of course, here's, uh, hers are all original designs. And making fabric from scratch seems like a lot of hard work. Um, hey. I want to see the visuals of a monster they call Choo Choo. That kind of Choo Choo is everywhere. I have those. Regular Choo Choo, I have those. <laughs> Wait, do I have to like actually like place it on the ground? <clears throat> Wait, let me read the quest again. Um, da -da -da -da. Photo photographing a choo choo. I see. We need Nader's claw for that. I don't know if it's, it's gonna let me die this. One of the clothes you're wearing that can be dyed will change color. Okay. You can. But it changes like... The part below. Okay, I mean, I feel like... Like the, the arm wraps. That feels... That doesn't really feel worth it. I like the way that already looks. <laughs> Is the glider changed in the menu too? I can check. Yes, it is. Okay, then let me die the Hylian pants. If I'm allowed. I don't know if I have the right materials for it though. Ooh. Wait, purple actually looks pretty sick with it. Oh no, but it dies a whole outfit, right? I mean, that's pretty cool. I have a lot of Flynn, so let's go. I could have also went for white for the contrast, but I like I like the dark aesthetic. Yeah, please enjoy the game, Harper. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else has to do. <clears throat> I think it was in here. Because there's an entirely new house back there as well. What is that? Hateno School? 
They have a school now. Do you remember the first video game I played? Yes, Super Mario World. Oh, that's Reed. This is the, this is the competition. Oh, you're the customized Sword Ventus clothing, aren't you? You know from when they were talking about whether to go through with the uh, with the election or not. Um, it's something of a hassle. They're both so stubborn. I wish they'd clear the air between them and end the silly quarrel once and for all. But that's not a, um, a moot point now. I have something else on my mind. I have to take care of this before the election starts. What is on your mind? Uh, oh, uh, don't mind lending me an ear? Uh, I won't mince words. It's about my husband, Reed. That man of mine. He shuts himself up in our shed every night. I don't have the faintest idea what he's up to. Uh, when I ask, he just says it's a secret. And I can't get another peep out of him. I hate the idea of snooping on him. Plus, I think he'd catch me at it right away. What is he doing? Um, but I get so worried when I think about whether, um, whatever he's doing will affect his chances in the election. Mm. I was fit to, uh, burst if I couldn't find someone to talk about this. Good thing you came along. Um, I'd like to enter, um, I'd like you to enter our shed at midday when my husband isn't around and see if you can figure out what he's doing. I'd pay you for, tr for your troubles, of mm. course. The only problem is I can see that he keeps the place locked up tight. You'd never fit in through a window, but maybe you could dig a hole or something? Um, got it. There's just no time. Oh, you're the traveler I saw at clothing, right? Did you come to check up on me because you were worried? Uh. Yeah, I lost my head a little there. I'm not too proud of the way I behave, but don't worry about me. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve against Cece. I might not be able to pull one of them off in time for the, for the election, though. Um, so I'm focusing on the second plan, to bring back a taste no one's tried here in years. What kind of taste? Way back when my grandfather worked with someone from the village to create a special kind of food. It was too ahead of its time to catch on, so it never went further than the first trial run, but I never forgot it. Even today, I can still recall the gooey mouth feel of the one bite my grandfather shared with me. In the back of my mind, I've always wanted to make it a signature staple of this village. If I could accomplish that, then I'd have something that could stand up to Cece. Except I can't remember who in the village my grandfather worked with, or what were they cooking? Is this literally what were they cooking the quest? Or what they created? And now that I think of it, it also had a unique pungent scent. If I could just smell that aroma again, it might jog my memory. You'll have to excuse me. I have things I need to take care of. Please don't worry about my problems and just have a nice, relaxing time in our village. Have you tried the fresh milk they make on the farm up the hill? Having a glass is a nice way to unwind. Okay, so it's probably related to milk. What is like milk and choo-choo jelly? New signature food. What were they cooking? Um, what is this again? Serenity to Kutera? That's a fairy quest. Uh, this is the election quest for the mushrooms. This is... Checking out the shed, and this is finding the signature food. Wait, so what? I still don't really understand what's the difference between side adventures and side quests. I guess side quests are fast, one stop things, and side adventures are like multi. multiple objectives. This is the treasure in the hot springs, like in the middle of the hot springs. I want to check that out too. Um, and then I can also check talking to Teba. This is where we have to get the Nadra. Um, claw. And then I still have to do this mystery of a debt. Oh my god, there's... We'll be playing this game for a couple more weeks, I think. Uh, at least, like, probably... Two more weeks. So I remember the shed. Because I used to literally go inside this shed. Um, for speed... For the... I don't know if you remember the all host speed run. Um, I would literally wind bomb from this shed. So I need to find a cave that goes below the shed and then ascend into it. But right now he's going into the shed himself. Um, so I have to do it at midday. <clears throat> How could you forget that speedrun exactly? Um, and then money... Okay, I want to get all of the quests first. And then from there I'll try completing the ones that I can and then move on. Oh, is this it? Of course. This is how we get to the shed.
There's horriblins in here. Hey, no, you guys have a problem down here. How often do you think you're going to stream over the next days? Every single day. I don't think I could not stream while this game is out. Like, I won't. I will play the game every day, so I might as well stream every day. This is all what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try to get good at this game. I'm not going to rush into speedruns. I'm going to try to understand the full game first and stuff. And then once I'm satisfied, I'll check out speedruns. Same time every day. Yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna be for now. It's gonna be 12 plus hours every day later It's really gonna be eight hours every day at least There are people in this world who have finished this game because it leaked. Yeah The game uh, was leaked at the beginning of May so people already had like two weeks to play it illegally And of course a lot of them did But uh, I have only, uh, like, I've waited until it was out officially so I could capture my first playthrough on Twitch. I have so many of these now. I don't even know if I want another one. I still have my skateboard shield. <laughs> yeah, I probably don't even want this. Maybe, maybe I should get some more Korok seeds. Because uh, I'm down to get some more spots. Like, I feel like... Like, if, you, if I, I don't understand how you can still complain about weapon durability at this point. I feel like I, I want my weapons to break so I can try new ones. Really? That clearly hit. Okay, this is how you get to the shed. But I think it's too late. It's, uh, <laughs> but I kind of want to try this. What if I ascend here? And the guy is in there. I need to try this. Of all the... What are you doing here? This is my private property. I don't know what hole you crawled in from, but there's a sensitive... There are sensitive secrets here. That might save our village. Outsiders to stay outside, okay. That is, uh, funny. I haven't... I wasn't done exploring the well yet, though. Ah, Hateno music. It will always feel cozy. I know what midday is. Um, I intentionally just did this to see his reaction. Wait, this place seems insane for speed food. There's so many um, frogs in here. Oh uh, no. This is an ins this is a scary case. These are like my least favorite enemies so far. Uh, they're so scary. They can steal your weapons. I, I guess if you have ice arrows, it's fine. Oh my god, how many of these are here? I, I, I'm literally at the point where I can use, um... I'm at the point where I can use Amber for, um, just for arrows. How much do they add again? Four damage, I mean, that's not great. Eventually, with this bow... I can see what happened. Farming materials is uh, always fun, yeah. I'm sure... 
I 100% Zelda subscribed again yesterday. I'm sure they're going to, going to be collecting a bunch of stuff. Can't wait to see what they're going to be up to. I, I, I really can't wait to watch other people play this game. That's one of the most exciting things for me. But of course, I want to finish it first. Oh, perfect timing, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that's what they're going to be doing again. 9 out of 19 of every item challenge. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that this time because I have so many other plans. Right now, the most enticing thing for me is um, all shrines. But there is, this, there is this small voice. I have this small voice in the back of my head that I'm getting scared about every night when I go to bed. Because that voice is like, Maybe you should do 100%. Maybe you should check out 100%. Maybe even if it's a 50 hour run, it'll actually be fun because this is such a nice game. So I hope that voice doesn't win. I hope the intrusive thoughts don't win. <clears throat> but maybe. Wait. Shh. That's so cool. There's like a muffled version of Hateno. When you're down here. <laughs> wow, this this uh, cave system here in Hateno is actually quite nice. Lots of stuff to farm. Segment runs 100% have to be allowed, right? Well, I have no idea how long it's gonna be. Um, we can we have a break rule for normal hundo already so i'm assuming it's going to be something similar where you maybe have to complete the run in multiple eight hour segments or something like that um but again i'm trying not to think about that too much uh, yet because i am <laughs> i have done nothing dude well i have no idea how far i'm into the game but how probably i'm exploring it i would say like between 10 and 20 percent but i have still so much main story to do and this is not actually counting all of the Koroks, just like the main interesting stuff to explore. Yeah, you get the camera over time, basically you just play the story. You know it's a good game when you can play it and enjoy it and watch others enjoying the game whilst you enjoy watching them? Yeah, absolutely. The only reason I'm not doing that more yet is one, because I'm streaming myself, and two, because I still want to avoid spoilers as much as I can. No, the leaderboard will be closed for the first two weeks. I think has always been the decision. I remember at least Vivo talking about that. Who's also a mod on, spe on the speedrunner.com page. To encourage people to yeah take their time a little bit and not immediately rush into it. That's usually what, uh, how it works. So I wouldn't really assume the speedruns seem to really take off until June. Because that's when the first people are really going to be done with the game. And actually going to be watching and, and doing stuff. <clears throat> yeah, probably, uh, yeah, it probably opens late May, but I think June is going to be the tier start to get speedrun month. What's up, Barbie? Okay, wait, is this, uh, this is probably, uh, well, midday. Wait, let me see if he's at home. Wait, that's the inn. That's not even the mayor's house. Prima, wait, that's the girl that money had a crush on before. But now he's into Ivy. Welcome to Tonpu Inn. Will you be staying with us today? A regular bed or if you're looking for a more relaxed, restorative mind-body experience, an extra, so extra soft bed. I have never used an inn. I'm just going to try it for the experience. Wake me up in at noon, actually. Perfect timing. So far, um, Barbie, this is on pace to be my favorite game of all time. I sometimes talk about small complaints I have, but, but overall, it's an unreal video game. <clears throat> Wow. One yellow heart. Thanks, Primo. 
This is ridiculous. Who's this? Do you really need me to ascend to get there? Why did you not want to climb? Okay, watch this. It's the most broken use of ascent. Hello there. <laughs> Wait. He actually reacted to it. Hey there, brother. Oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima. Oh, get rolled money. You'll be dealing with. Every time I show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brand clothes. So I'm keeping my distance until he f the fat dies down. I need to give this guy a mushroom. I never knew my dear Prima was the type to get so worked up about fashion. Have a highly and shroom board, you know? Look at the color, look at the style. Oh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves CC stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not too interested in the designs myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. And she does look incredibly cute when she wears them too, yeah. But CC is alright in my book. And I'm not the only one. Koyan from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Okay, but do I have to give... No, Prima already had mushroom stuff on, right? She's already a fan. Yeah, okay, so that's one. We wasted 10 crickets. Those crickets... I, I pour one on for those crickets. Um, okay. I'm gonna go into the shed real quick, and then I'm gonna continue through Hateno. Oh, don't worry. I literally just started like an hour ago. That's it's that's crazy already. I've just been exploring Hateno for an hour. I was a little bit at the shrine, I guess. But uh, I'm trying to do the main quests, uh, the side quests as I can. Wait, wait, wait. The shed is... Wait, that's the clothing store. That's the shed. What's this way? Through here, and then here. What is this? Notes toward a variety of pumpkin. I firmly believe that Hateno's village charm is in the delicious vegetables and milk from our farms. But there's no denying that these things just aren't resonating with the youth nowadays. And I've got no business being mayor if I can't fix that. So I got together with Neck, the best farmer in these parts, and we came up with a new type of pumpkin. The color, shape, and appearance are based on the CC brand aesthetic, which is popular with the young folk. They're copying. We've hit a snack, though. It might be a bit before we can achieve our goal of shipping the pumpkins out. This guy is making new pumpkins. <clears throat> I report this right away. Yeah, going into welds was like a really... I, I, I had a really good reaction to that too. Like, not just welds though, but being able to go into any... Uh, being able to go into any... Uh, like, all of the useless, like, random locations have something now. Like, the random ruins have a cave, and the random welds have something to explore, and the ran there's, there's just something everywhere now. And, like, locations hit so differently, too. I'm not gonna tell you what is there, uh, kid, but maybe you remember a location from Breath of the Wilds called Raru Settlement Ruins. Like, location names like that are just a little different now, you know? <clears throat> yeah, Tina music is great. Where did, um... Oh, and also the wife of the mayor is the girl that used to stand here, right? And she had the quest, uh, the shrine quest. Going over to Impa now. Nice, nice. I can't wait for you to see the memory stuff. Uh, 
Where is she? Is she not... Do the villagers all have like a routine? No, she's new. Karin. So, but I can't talk. I'm in a hurry. I, if you have questions about the village, have you tried asking my papa? He's the mayor. Waiting for Miss Zelda as well. Um... So, she's the mayor's kids. And I guess she just came from school. Okay, there's Reed. And Clavia was here before, but she's no longer here. Maybe she's like the teacher? That's the farmer from the shrine quest, I think. Yeah. Right? Wasn't his name Meta? He looks different, though. Have a Heidi and Shroom. Are the seeds in read different pathways? I don't know. Um, what's this? Something from Cece? Yeah, pretty obvious from the look of it. You know, people keep talking to Cece, uh, talking up the Cece brand stuff, but it never really, it never really clicked with me. I know the lady works hard, but most of us farmers around here aren't too precious about our clothes. Uh. But sure, thanks for the mushroom. Uh, I don't need to get, get mushrooms. Don't give mushrooms to the kids <laughs> because they can't oh. vote anyway. Oh, he's um, making tomatoes now. I haven't actually used the tomatoes. I really want to find cane sugar. I need to try putting cane sugar and tomatoes. Do I have cane sugar? I know it's in Rito Village. I need to buy that when I go talk to Teba. I want to see if cane sugar and um, tomatoes make ketchup. As far as I know, ketchup is also like, really popular um, in Japan, South Korea. So it would be an easy inclusion. Oh, they're still playing a zoom. That's a school. They got a Shika teacher. Oh. Simon. Where is he from? He is from the he is the photo guy, right? From the tech lab. Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. Haven't seen you in Link? You're back! Uh, my apologies for the outburst. Clearly you're back in town then. But what of Princess Zelda? Ah, Princess Zelda is still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built the school, you see. Oh? She cared so much about the children. I'm sure she would be one of her first stops. It would be one of her first stops if she had returned. Right now, they're covering history, which was very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for more mentions of the Calamity because I've only seen... Like, little, like, murals and gravestones. I haven't really seen many mentions of this. You know, Link. You're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you'd like. <laughs> Link is going to school? That said, class had, en had ended for today, but I hope to see you here tomorrow. Oh, I actually really want to go to school now. Yeah, maybe we can't buy pictures from Simon anymore. I don't know if you can still buy them somewhere else. Wait, there's also school music? <clears throat> That's actually really cute. Read the students' evaluations. Asta is one of Meta's children. She's a very active girl. I believe we have Meta to thank for that charming Bob cut she sports. Bob cut she sports. Okay. Um, she loves her father and always wants to talk about his comings and goings. Lately, she's been especially focused on the Hylian Tomatoes Meta's growing. We just met those uh, people. For a time, she seemed out of sorts after Miss Cece bought the house next to the clothing shop. But she, she has a house, okay. But she was back in, uh, to her usual bright self soon enough. Oh no. Wait. Now I'm feeling kind of bad. Cece bought the farmer's house because she's like rich and a fashion designer. Maybe I should think over what path I want to take. I don't even really like the Cece hat. But Reed is also kind of sus. But she was back to her usual bright self soon enough. Noting that her new home is cute, colorful and close to Froggy. Ah, okay. I mean, I guess she's happy. Happy. <clears throat> she has a real knack for finding the silver lining in every situation. Karen is the only daughter of the mayor. We saw her too. And his wife. She's kind-hearted but shy and seems to lack self-confidence. She's very perceptive though. She has a way of seeing right to the core of things. I'm sure you know, Princess. Um, I'm sure you know, Princess, that Mayor Reed has been breeding vegetables to appeal to the younger generation. I just found that out. It was Karen who first noticed that her peers were losing interest in produce. 
She figured this out based on nothing but the number of customers and total items in stock at the general store. I just want to look fabulous. Yeah, fair. <clears throat> I see her one day becoming a scholar to rival Pura, possibly even surpassing her. Azu, also met him, is the brother of Ivy from the general store. Oh, so that's where Ivy is. Okay. But he'll tell you his true identity is Azum, the big time hero. He and Safaro, the dye shop kid, used to be inseparable. But ever since the dye shop started getting more clients, Azum has been left to patrol after school alone. Although his mother is Amira, one of the two the town gossips I saw them in the streets, he keeps a close eye of his own on the goings on with the village. It may seem uh, like simple child's play, but people really do straighten up when they know they're being watched. Uh, I haven't even saw, seen a single Lionel Hyper. <clears throat> as long as he's on patrol, I think we have nothing to fear in Hateno Village from any would-be evildoers. I, I know that they are presumably in the game because they were in trailers, but I haven't found, found one yet myself. Even though I've been like... Well, I saw the Hebra snowfield. There used to be a lot of Lionels there, and there's some really scary stuff there, so I'm gonna head there later. I'm really enjoying, like, reading this sort of stuff um, makes it worth it for me to just slow down. Because there's so much to, like, the entire world building here in the back and, like, all of these diaries and, like, when you talk to people. Sephiroth is the son of Sage from the dye shop. He's a bit of a firebrand, but also one of my brightest students. After class, he always selects a book to read quietly by himself, okay? He already reads at an adult level and doesn't shy away from difficult subjects, such as the calamity. The family business has been booming ever since Ceci came to town, which may make it hard for him to study at home. Sage has an artisan spirit and would rather have his son helping out at the store than going to school. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that, kids. Uh, but everyone learns differently. I want our school to be a place where children can get an education no matter their needs. I understand you'll be heading soon to Hyrule Castle to investigate the reports of, strange, of the strange phenomena there. I trust you'll be fine with Link at your side. Nevertheless, I can't shake the strange tightness in my chest. It's similar to what I felt right before the Calamity. Come to think of it. The children know you as Miss Zelda, their beloved teacher and mentor. But I know that Princess Zelda's duties are wi wider ranging than that. Take care, Princess, and return to her soon. Uh, dude, now I kind of want to see what happened between these two games. Because Zelda must have come here and built a school and like taught kids in Hateno. I don't know how much time of peace they had. Okay, yeah, we, we just read this. But yeah, so far is still here, looking at books. It's true. <clears throat> the rumors are real. A zoom. Oh, no, it's Neb. It is him. The most hated kid in Hateno. Oh, hey, mister. Are you what they call a traveler? Your weapon is really neat. Every wonder has amazing gear. It's true. He is still into weapons. This is the weapon connoisseur. I love swords and bows and arrows and all that stuff. Wanna be my friend, mister? We sp we are spies for Azum. He's a hero who protects the village. Oh, it's not a play. I, I thought it's like a game, but Azum is apparently a hero. I I'm a spy number one. My little sister Nara, which I hate because she would always lose me time. Um, that makes you spy number three, mister. Okay, cute, but at least you don't have a quest this time. Um, a spice shop is to keep an eye out for a report of to the big time hero Azum with surveillance Surveillance About any bad people But the lab on top of the hill to the east is too far. I can't go there. I guess that's where I'll be spying You're the, need, you're the new teacher aren't you? I'm Azu. Nice to meet you My identity as the general store's owner's son is a cover. I'm actually a zoom the big time hero. Oh, that's him He's the hero Oh, but you can't tell the adults around here. It's a secret. <laughs> Kicking bad guys' butts is way cooler when nobody knows it's you. I'm really a Zoom, the big time hero. It's my job to protect the school and the village from bad guys until Miss Zelda comes back. Find any bad guys? Mm, let's see. 
Tebow's house is the closest one, and I haven't seen any bad guys there. Tebow's dad was the gatekeeper, yeah, but he went to uh, to help out at a place called Lookout Landing. So now Tebow and his mom make turns guarding the gate. Hey. Oh, my mom was talking about Tebow's mom, though. Um, what was it she said? Something like, it's a real shame she's not interested in fashion. Okay. Huh? Looks like I know who to give a mushroom. Um, that's a different well. But I think they're just connected, probably. <clears throat> Uma, you look like a man who gets around. Wish I wasn't so tied down like I am. On days like this, my work um, to tend the field near the school hurts my lower back, so it makes the road home feel longer than it did coming in. It's tough work, no mistake, but you know what keeps me at it on the hard days? Oh. Knowing that way, way down the line, I do t what I do today is going to keep someone fat. You know, how about a Hylian true? Ah. A gift from Cece? Ah, thanks for that. The world of fashion moves too fast for us old folks. But I'm in favor of any mayor who can make sure this village stays a place where the younger folk are happy to live. <clears throat> it does mean horse in Japanese. I wonder if that's like... I don't know if the saying workhorse is, um, is a thing in Japan. Because that's basically her mentality, right? She's just out there working as long as it gets someone fed. You're also giving out Hylian shrooms right now? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is the right choice. Because I read some stuff about Seisei buying out like some houses here. But I don't know. I want to... The, the main reason I want to do that is because I took a glimpse into the secret like fashion shop's door. <clears throat> and there's some cool armor there. Yeah, and then again, I guess uh, translations in this game are always a little sus. To say the least. Who is this? Is this um, Asta? She was the one, uh, yeah, yeah, at the tomato field. I haven't actually made it to my house yet. Surely this is still my house, right? Miss Zelda? Wait. I'm keeping watch at Miss Zelda's house because I want to be the first one to welcome her home when she gets back. What does this mean? Did we live here together? Did she, she live here? Wait a second. This is massive. That is so cute. Wait. Okay. <clears throat> Read Zelda's journey. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Hateno village. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from the Research Institute to teach there. He was Pura's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while um, myself to keep an eye for the students. <clears throat> I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. Um, this will be his final job in Hateno Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plants. It's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when, I was working, when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Work in the school has been moving along smoothly, but a ma major problem recently reared its head. 
We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up that mantle as their teacher. I commissioned bolts and okay. The secret room. <clears throat> How do we access it with ascent? The humidity. It's got to be below the ground then. Oh, the well. <clears throat> also, what's here? This is just like a broom closet. No more. Did they remove the iron sledgehammer? I guess that item is just gone. Because you can just make your own hammer now. Whoa. She loves her frogs. That's the school. I guess it's like pictures that the children drew of her. You don't mind if I do Zelda, right? Well-worn hairband. An old, worn, simple hairband. That's how we can change the hair. Damn. I see. An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color has long faded. But it still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about times past. I see. I'm assuming this is gonna go into... Maybe even the, what happened with her hair and stuff as well. And what happened in between. Okay, this is the secret. This is the secret book. <clears throat> Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A margin of problems stands before us even as we're beginning to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I've put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room, so he won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. What? First of all, that's extremely cute, but second of all, what? What is it gonna be? Because... We had a champion's tunic on at the start. Is this going to be a different one? <clears throat> I don't know if that's how they re-explain the redesign because Link had a champion's tunic on at the start of the game. The one that Zelda has made for him must be a different one. Unless it's not. I don't know. Okay, this was one of my favorite moments so far. Holy shit. I am a, you know, Zelig enjoyer. I will agree, I will admit. And, uh, damn. That's a, that's, a, yeah, fan service is the right word. I, I do, I do prefer, I feel like the long hair most of the time, but having, oh wait, no, but you can't, can you do this? No, you can't combine it. Because there still has to be a way to have the tunic, unless that's part of the new champion's tunic. I haven't went to the castle yet. Um, oops. Thinking that that's too much, like, basically late game stuff, but it's actually technically pretty accessible. There's also a shrine up there. Huh. 
Is this still the same uh, well system? Yeah, I think they're all connected. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I kind of want to go there now. Because at the end of the day, I came to this village for fashion stuff. But I'm not even done here is the thing. I still haven't found Clavia again to progress that quest. I need to show uh, Sage the photo of the... Have I found this well up ahead? Dude, how many wells are there? <laughs> it's all connected. Um, I haven't even shown... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's back. The timing, I know, I know. This is a forbidden speed run. My first blood moon broke the wild was here, but I mean, this is obviously not my first one. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters. I haven't taken a like, super big caution to this cutscene. I still haven't seen a single Black Lizalfo, so I really want to. Yeah, I'd say no Panic Blood Moon. I wonder if my first Blood Moon in my game was a Panic Blood Moon or a real one. Real one. Ah, uh, this is so nice. I do want to see what happens when you fuse something to the hole. <laughs> okay. Um. Like, is it going to be like a scythe? Or is it going to be... Is it just going to be a long stick? What? <laughs> how, how did that happen? It became a sword. It would have been so funny if it was called Lizal Ho, but there's no way they would make that work. Okay, the thing is this. This used to be a random empty room, right? Okay, it still is. <laughs> I was ready to find like a secret room. <clears throat> Hi. Good evening, traveler. Are you headed to the inn? That's where we're going. Usually I get so caught up talking to my friends, morning comes before I know it, but tonight I sleep sound. Tonight I sleep soundly. I think that was one of the people that was waiting at uh, the Cece brand's shop. I can't tell if that's a monster camp, I think so. Yeah. Roads. Evening. Nice night to be under the stars, isn't it? It's rare to see travelers out here, unless... Uh-oh. Uh -huh. You haven't come to steal away my darling wife, have you? Actually, yes. Ha! Huh. I'm just kidding you. No doubt you're here looking for the farm or the research lab. What, darling wife again? <laughs> Sorry, but nothing comes between the two of us. Not even you. I met my wife in Lurlin village to the south of here. She's the most beautiful woman in Hateno village, maybe even all of Hyrule. The two of us have always guarded the windmills and shifts, except something bad is happening in her hometown and she's been pretty broken about it. I haven't even been to Lurlin. I just know that there's apparently pirates from Lookout Landing. She's oh. at home right now, uh, resting. Pick the spot because you can see both the windmills and my house clearly from here. If anything happens, I can come coming. I can come running at once. Sorry, once I start talking about my wife, it's hard to know when to stop. 
If you can, if you came out here, you must be after either the farm or the research lab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go to the research lab in a second, but first I gotta go to the house. <clears throat> oh, there's a girl that, talk, that talks about Lurlin here in Breath of the Wilds. That makes sense. Oh, a visitor. I'm sorry. I don't have it in me to be very welcoming right now. I'll take care of it later, maybe tomorrow. My hometown is Lurlin Village, a small fishing village along the shore southeast of here. and suffering constant pirates attacks. I've heard it's almost entirely destroyed. At least the villagers fled without any loss of life. Thankfully, I missed that one. Or so they say. But what good is it if all their homes are destroyed? I'm afraid that the village is finished. My poor father was the head of Lurlin Village. The village was his whole life, if it's really gone. I worry that the shock could finish him. Uh. Where I'm from, we believe in welcoming everyone with a smile. That's why I don't want anyone from home to see me so down. Damn. <clears throat> I wonder what that's gonna be like. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is like an entire play on how if you go to like fashion shows... Most of the fashion that they showcase there looks like essentially just ridic- No, 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 I'm going for this. I'm not taking any chances. Oh, but it's so high up. Okay, I'm just going for this. I don't care. I uh, wanted to- This is something I've been wanting to do for 10 hours. Which is fi fusing a star fragment to a magic rod. I want to see what happens. Wait, what was that shrine I saw down there? Wait, did it just disappear? That's not how that used to work. <clears throat> Wait, is the shrine down there glowing because I haven't... I haven't finished it, but I think I already activated it. Oh, it's down there. <laughs> that looks different. Mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. Wait, that sounds actually insane. Wait. For depth exploration? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That looks so sick, though. It's like pure light. Star Fragment Rod. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. <clears throat> Actually, while I'm out here, let me clear this shrine so I have 20 orbs. Could it be useful against gloom hands? Interesting, yeah. I, I mainly thought it would be useful for just exploring the uh, the depths without having to waste a bunch of bright bloom seeds. Also, I'm very scared of going in that cave there. The, the glide out looks so... S I mean, it's useful, but like... <laughs> it is very useful. Doesn't look that bad either, because the hair is long at least. 
No, I haven't scanned. I've only scanned one of my amiibos for today. I will scan the other two. I, I'm not going to go too overboard with them yet. Uh, I missed the shrine name. <clears throat> let's build a let's build a, a ladder. <laughs> Jailbreak. I see. I, I thought maybe there was a chest on there, but that could easily happen. <clears throat> no, you can probably still um, put your time to the next day and scan more amiibo. It would be weird if you couldn't. Do <laughs> do do. Yeah, I mean, I messed that up a little bit, actually. My favorite music in the game so far is the Skyview Tower activated music. I haven't found it on YouTube. The one that plays um, when you go up there with the map scanner. Wait, let me play you it so you know what I mean. Like, I don't even mean the, the epic string part. I mean the part at the start. It's so epic. It's like a... Um, there's like this run of like an, of a harp. That always gets me like pumped up. I think I have it here. That part where the harp goes crazy. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. <clears throat> The shrine music is good too, yeah. I haven't been close enough to the dragon to hear if the dragon music has changed. I need to go to... I need to get a Nadra Claw for the spring quest. Jailbreak. We just broke into jail. <laughs> um, I, I get like the main idea, but how do I get it up? Oh, that is so cool. Ne dude. I think I missed the chest again. But I, I clean up later, I think. Unless I can see it quickly. It was probably in the first level where you built like the little staircase. Maybe some other place to ascend into. I, I, I will definitely miss other chests too, so I'll probably just clean up at the end. Yeah, Ultra is getting easier. <clears throat> it just it takes a bit, but eventually you get there.
Yeah, I mean, I've seen some shrines in the Rito village area that completely blew my mind. And I'm sure there's more. I don't know how many I'm at. I am about to see it. I think I'm like close to getting close to 40. <clears throat> ah, 36. Okay. <clears throat> Getting the second stamina bar now. Okay, the menu in here is still the same. <laughs> this literally feels like I'm doing a hundo run. Oh, is this the first time I'm getting a stamina vessel? That's why I get this animation. Yeah, I, I, I was a bit weird. Uh, it was a bit weird to see the loading screen at first, but the more information you get, like there's so much information to uh, put on the loading screen that it makes sense. Like it shows you the light routes, towers, shrines. There's so many collectibles in this game. It's like almost overwhelming. Well, actually technically it's overwhelming. This is going to allow me to reach that tower now, finally. That I wanted to go to so bad. Especially if I make some of these. I haven't actually tested this. If this still works. Wait, what the hell? Dude, how fast can you menu now? Like, look at this. That is so much faster. You can also, like, mash text faster. Okay, let's make an actual good dish. I want to use some oil. Some tomatoes. Some tomato sauce, some olive oil. Um, some meat. And some chili. Spicy tomato meat stew. Do you recommend diamond fusing? No, I can't really re recommend anything. Spicy... Ah. Tomatoes are fruit. And no, I, I feel like I need cane sugar to make ketchup if that's a thing. Which I don't have right now. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, are they queuing up for the dye shop? <laughs> he actually got rolled. Okay, um, I have a picture to show you. Oh my god, I can't get anywhere. I haven't even made it to the tech lab. Yes, I have a photo of the choo-choo. Uh, I can feel the inspiration bleeding into reality. I'll start developing this pattern at once. So are we going to get a choo-choo paraglider? Choo choo fabric. I knew I'd get a different result with some quality reference. I betcha I could make other patterns too. Oh. Okay, now I have a reason to take pictures. Wait, show me that again. Horse, Cuckoo, Elden, Ostrich, Arrokuda, Grizzlemore, Starlocks, Lionel, Gliok. Yeah, I got the goddess fabric from the amiibo. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be right back. Wait, I have like no waypoints out this, at this bridge. It's about time that I've had my first Gliok, though. Oh my god, I can't get anywhere. No, 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 okay, once at a time. 
The fabrics are for your paraglider. That's, I feel, okay, yeah, I should chill. I feel like that's the sort of thing I should do later. Yeah, I need to give out mushrooms, um, and I want to go to the tech lab. That was the entire reason I came up here, before I went down to this house. And the farm, I guess, as well. And then the star fragment happens. I, I, I have to fight a Gleox as well, yeah. No, this game, this is sidetrack the video game. Literally. For, even for someone who played the previous game for like 5,000 hours or whatever. <clears throat> oh, it's her, the sheep rustler's quest. How do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? There's no way, that's too deep to swim, huh? What's with the blank stare? Oh, you must be a customer. Uh, here, there's a Highland room. From CC, huh? But I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. Sorry, but if you're here on a farm business, you'll have to talk to my dad at the farm. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating at the pond quake. Mm. I finally found the letter my great-grandpa left, but can't reach for it. My arms are too short, pond's too deep to swim. And anyways, I don't know how. But that letter has the advice I need to get his farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. I got you. <clears throat> I... Uh, no problem. Uh, no problem, Koyan. I'm gonna build a dig boat. That's my specialty. And I'll save it. This is what I do best. <clears throat> okay, not quite. All right, charting course. Uh, no, this is not the right lineup. We're off. I guess it counts as two hits because the wind. Cool. Good. Good to know. It's fine, I repaired I repaired it. This time we are off. I'd use my whip. Oh, do I actually have to ultra hand it? New specialty with May Maya. Cheese fermentation can't name too early. Okay, I guess I have to actually bring it back to her. <clears throat> I see that Korok. But I have to deliver the letter first. How's it going? I'm still having just as much fun. And it doesn't seem to stop. <clears throat> The wait was worth it. Here it is. 
I told you whatever you're after, I'm too busy to... Huh? That's my grand gra grandpa's message bottle. How did you... I used the dick boat. Did you finish it? Fish it out for me. Thanks. There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting out our farm back on his feet. Let's see it. Um, yo, what's up, dragon? Uh, hmm, yep. There we go. Gosh, do I miss grand grandpa's handwriting. His penmanship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. Oh no, I hadn't thought of that. New specialty with mayo cheese fermentation can. Name it too early. This could work. Sorry to run, but I want to put great grandpa's advice into practice right now. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. This is it. I get it. Hey. It's right over there, by the way. Come by a bit later, so I think... So thank you for the help. This was like the one art book spoiler that everyone saw, right? The cheese wheel. If I play my cards right, I can start making a new signature product. It'll be good, not just for our farm, but for the whole village. <laughs> I'm itching to get started. <clears throat> She's gonna make cheese. Um, wait, does he still have the hunting minigame? Well, you're no face around here. If, I, if I'm any judge, welcome to Hatino Pasture. Love to get some sun. But uh, don't my cows look happy to be out sunbathing? Hmm, you got something for me? Oh, have a hiding room? Dude, there's so many side quests in this game. Is this from CC? Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Ooh. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift, but mm. me and my daughter Koyin and old man Tok don't care much about clothes. What uses fashion in the field itself, right? So I still have one mushroom to give out here. Still, I'm glad that's all you came for. Mm. If you told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk, I'd be in a tight spot, make no mistake. Mm. Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk, it's the best in Ateno. The secrets um, in the special feed I make for my cows. It gives their milk an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. Mm. Except I've been having trouble um, getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. Uh, there used to be a tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest out back. No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels started taking over and grabbing them all for themselves. Sometimes they drop acorns they carry in their cheeks if you startle them, but they are quick little critters. Oh. I need at least three acorns. I think I have them. Uh. No fooling. Well, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, not with me at my wits end and all. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but have a bottle on me. Wow. This fresh milk comes from Ateno bread cows and white goats from all across Hyrule. It's delicious on its own. It can be used in soups and stews. Ooh. I was keeping it squirreled away, but no reason to be a mister about it now. I better go mix up a batch of feet right away now, and I got some more acorns. <laughs> if you ever want more fresh milk, I'll swap you for three acorns. Call it a special trade just for you. Okay. I guess we have too many acorns, but what I'm wondering, was it a quest or not? I'm wondering at this point if there's going to be like some other rewards. Yeah. For getting quests, because some of the rewards are so underwhelming. The pitchfork is back too. Farming tool collected, uh, used to collect hay efficiently. <clears throat> I knew it'd work. Did she do it? Ah, good you showed up. Take a look at this. <laughs> I call it Hateno cheese. That, mes uh, that message my grand -grandpa, that lef grandpa left behind had the recipe. It's springy on the outside, but melty on the inside, and so delicious. You'll think you're daydreaming, or dreaming. Aww. But back to the reason I called you here. It's, well, you know, I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted you to be the first to have some. Oh. Anyway, consider this my thanks. Go on, take it already. Fuse attack power one? You can make cheese arrows? And people are talking about meat arrows out there? A cheese made from Ateno cow's milk? Added to warm, a warm dish to enjoy its rich flavor and melty texture. Yeah. As I understand it, great grandpa worked with the mayor back then on this Hateno cheese to pour our, put our village on the map. But it was ahead of its time. The villagers rejected it. Having eaten this, I think they were nuts. Now is the time for Hateno cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. That's the thing then. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. Uh -huh. But if anything will bring the customers in this, 
I'd say it's time to do some revelation around here. Is this what this quest is? We have to decide between mushroom or cheese hateno. Maybe here's good. No, I like it better this way. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> Ta-da! The Hateno cheese shop is complete. What do you think? The next step is to get those folks over at the general store to start stocking it. That reminds me. You won't get this off anywhere else, but around here I'll give you some uh, for, of, for fresh milk instead of rupees. Ah. I'll make the dream my great-grandpa gave up come true. And this farm will be busier than ever in the bargain. <laughs> so you'll come visit me again, right? A letter to Korean. Okay. <clears throat> but this must also be related to the other quest. You learn a few things from the journal found in the He's trying to incorporate elements from CC clothing line. Oh no, that's a pumpkin thing. That's a new signature food. I need to give Reed the cheese. So I'm kind of doing both quests at once. I, I wonder what the outcome will be. Oh wait, there's a cheese wheel here now. It's just a cheese shop. Damn. I missed a recipe inside. <laughs> no shot. I'm gonna make a pizza arrow, it's over. Of course, it's raining now. Oh, well, actually, it's probably gonna be a meal. You can't attach that. But I'm still, I'm still gonna make one. <clears throat> what gear is this? Uh, tunic of the Depths. Snow Quill, Headpiece, and Hylian Pants, but, like, died. Wait, it was probably Tabantha weed, right? It wouldn't make sense if it's rice. So I can't even make it right now. Tabantha weed, tomatoes, and um, cheese. I'll make it when I go back to Rito. That's where I want to get the cane sugar too to try ketchup. There's a tunic of the depths, but it's quite difficult to get your hands on. Well, it's possible, but... Eventually, now we'll finally make it to the tech lab after... ...clearing up most of Ateno. <laughs> Hopefully there's another war point. Oh wait, speaking of- oh shit, but there's Nadra. Man, I can't get anywhere. This would be my chance to get a Nadra. Claw. Ah, I can do that whenever. I need- I need to. I need to finally get up here. Maybe this is where you could get the travel medallion. I still don't know where to get that. with an old man like me. Have a Hylian Shroom talk. 
He said, it's from Cece. Well, that's generous of her. Thanks. What's this? There's a fine looking mushroom you brought me. Seems like lately Cece's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. Makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors wherever I go. My family and my friends my age tend to take life slower than she does. Still, thank you. Need to get inside? Come find me and look at landing. Oh my god. I need to progress the Robbie quest line to even get in here. Can I still catch up with Nadra then? Maybe. <clears throat> I need to go do that quest anyway. Maybe if I'm quick. Wait, no, this is a different shrine. It's where the yellow pit is. Oh, wait, that's that way, okay. Where is she? Is she still here? I see her. Wait, let me double check if it's a claw or, um... Claw or fang. Was it just a side quest? Claw. <laughs> this is so sick. My thoughts on this game so far is just a 10 out of 10. Wait, don't tell me the first shot is gonna be a, a, a scale again. That would make no sense because we don't need him the same way. Okay, it's a claw. Please! Please! Uh. Wait, 18 fuse attack power? This valuable claw was once nearly frozen. Attached to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It can be cooked or sold for some rupees. Was once nearly frozen? And it doesn't reference Nadra as a spirit anymore. That's interesting. Wait, actually, where is she just continuing? Wait, she's so close to the ground. Like, can you do multiple shots now? There's no way, right? Please, 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 don't slip off. <laughs> oh, why does it have to be raining now? Really, of course. Well, I guess I'll find out another day. You just shot its claws? Uh, yeah, and I wanted to find out if you can shoot um, a second time. Because before, when you shot a dragon like this, they would go back behind the clouds. That was like the entire point. Okay, I'm breaking all of my bows trying this. Oh, okay, it definitely hit. It hit. So you can still only do one part, I think. I don't know if there's like some internal cooldown. Yeah. Good to know.
<clears throat> now where is the spring? This way. <clears throat> That's new. Um, thank you, Rofi. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a, a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pious deed, I, st I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. Wow, a sapphire, the power of ice. There are two other goddess statues who guard springs as I do. For the sake of the mother goddess statue, I ask you to assist them as well. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. But at least we have one down. How many memories did I find? I did the first four so far. Okay, so let's think. Hateno, I think I'm mostly satisfied with now. Eh. Um, can't go to the tech lab yet. We made the cheese store. Uh, I do want to come back with some other paraglider materials. We found some quests. Oh, no, actually there's two more things. I will, um, I have to check back with Reed and his wife. And wait, how many mushrooms have I delivered? That's another thing. Two are left. I think there's some house, houses to the, uh, like, the east. Or the west, I guess, of Ateno. That I haven't been to. Okay, kids. Um, ah, I, I forget that you have to switch the map back. Uh, I have some cheese. <clears throat> Am I smelling things or do I detect a certain unique pungent aroma? I have some cheese. <laughs> this is it. This is just what I've been looking for. My grandfather developed it with a fellow villager. No. Hateno cheese, of course. It makes sense that my grandfather would have been working with someone from the farm up there. It's a miracle that Koyan not only found the recipe but managed to reproduce it. <laughs> but this is great news. It's a clear sign that we're all to make Hateno Cheese a new village staple. That ought to swing the election for me. Let me pay you for that cheese, okay? Thanks. I'm gonna buy more cheese of that, actually. <laughs> Believe me, it's worth every rupee. Now then, I should get in touch with Koyan so we can start preparing for mass production. I'll ask the Hateno Village General Store and some traveling merchants to add it to their wares, too. <laughs> Shouldn't take much more uh, than that to tip the election my way. You should come out to watch it happen. Okay, so what does this do with the, the signature food one is, one is done? But I can also still finish... Oh, actually, yeah, I want to do that. I want to finish giving the mushrooms out and doing this and see what happens. Um, you say he's developing a new type of pumpkin. So that's why he's been consulting with Nex so often. He could have just asked Cece about it directly, but I know he's too hardworking and stubborn for that. Ah. It's a relief to find out the truth. A lot of things make sense now. Like, why he went to the clothing store? It's obvious in hindsight. I'm sorry. It's between me and my husband. Thank you for looking into this for me. I promised you a reward and I keep my promises. 10 tomatoes. Hateno is all about pizza. Like literally, it sounds weird, but it's true. What if we have to make like a mushroom pizza at the end to set our differences aside? We, we get cheese here, tomatoes, there's mushroom shops. What a pair the two of them make. If they would just get along. I wouldn't even be surprised. If at the end of the day you make a mushroom pizza and peace is restored. Do you have any speed food still? Not really. Oh, do I do? Yeah, I li I'm kind of the same. I really like the flavor, like the the scent of cooking, like frying mushrooms in the pan. But uh, I don't really like that texture. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Are the durians in this game? I haven't found one yet. But I haven't been at Monster Tori. This is actually where I'm going to be heading next after I'm done here. Monster Tori and then Gerudo Canyon to get that memory so I can do the memories in order. Torso armor pieces from uh, related to the bar gainer statues uh, and the depths. I, I personally got it from doing a pretty major quest in the depths uh, and on the old Great Plateau. I'm trading one cheese into five, basically. Because I want to make some pizza later. Wait, do I still have my skateboard shield? Ah, yes. I forget that sometimes. Have I seen a compendium entry for dogs? I have not, no. Okay, that would have been so sicky, man. Is that Ivy? Oh. Um, the East Wind General Store is open. Okay, I've already been in that shop. I need to ask you what you like. What do you like? Uh, I'm not sure what kind of question is that, but he's still looking at me, so I should say something. Uh, maybe frogs? Sure, why not? I like frogs. If I had 100 hood-footed frogs, I would be incredibly happy. Oops, couldn't think of anything. So I am just told him what my dad likes instead. So it's literally the same quest. I'm probably gonna have to give him 10 frogs. I think I might have close to- I have exactly 10! I'm not trying to be rude. What were you doing with Miss Ivy from the general store? Sure, I noticed I've been checking her out for a long... I mean, a friend of a friend tipped me off. I talked to her. Uh -huh. You went and asked what she likes right to her face? What's the idea? Uh, gotta play it smooth. Can't let him guess I'm the one dying to know. All right then. So what is it? What does Miss Ivy want? I can't leave my friend's friend hanging. She wants hot-footed frogs and 100 of them at that? Yeah, that checks out. Miss Ivy's love for animals is just one of the many charming things about us. Or so my friend... Friend's friend is always saying. That was a close one. I better play it smooth. Still, collecting 100 hood-footed frogs seems like a big job, even for someone you love. Ah. But not if I had help. You traveler's types go into wall, wells and caves all the time, right? That's just the kind of place where you find frogs. You don't even have to go far. Um, exactly the same quest. Ten hood Here it's the frogs. We're already done. <clears throat> <laughs> We get 10 rush rooms. That's literally a downgrade in terms of speed, food, power. How I've been dreaming of a date with my beloved Miss Ivy. This guy, <laughs> dude. This guy. Uh, okay, this guy's already into mushrooms. Oh, that's Nag, the pumpkin creator. Mm. Wait, wait. He's just saying the same thing or not? Okay, those are all mushroom people. Oh, that's one of the, the room more people. The weapon connoisseur's parents. Are you another traveler here to see Cece? Our village gets more famous all the time. Okay. Some rewards are stupid, yeah. I, that's why I've been hoping that maybe you get like a reward later for doing all the uh, the quests, but maybe that's wishful thinking. Other than the personal fulfillment. Who am I missing? Two more people that need mushrooms. Wait, Simon wouldn't be interested in mushrooms, right? I think I already talked to him anyway. 
I always wanted to go to the school lesson. That's right. No. This is why this is a good game. <clears throat> I actually don't even know if this still works. I just went into speedrunning habits. It probably won't work. Do you even have any wood? Yeah. Yeah, it does not work. That's so cool that the lightning is still, like active in the back. Do you think we'd have another wedding? I have no idea, maybe. My my theory now is that um because there was this hint in Kakariko where the guy was talking how Bolson Construction Company could get people uh, like Hudson Construction Company could get people into the sky. My theory is that we're gonna have a floating Terry Town or like a new Terry Town in the sky. Um instead of normal Terry Town, but I haven't even been in that area. But maybe that's gonna be another wedding there, maybe not. Uh, I wanted to go to school, is it too early? Wait, I woke up at five. Was it always five or was it six before? I don't remember actually, no, I think it was five. Wake up! It's time for class! Are you that excited to learn about the calamity? Well, I appreciate that, but it's a bit early for class to begin. Wait just a little longer if you can. I can't wait! I even brought my skateboard. Wait, this shield actually looks incredible. Wait, this shield looks incredible with this outfit. Holy shit. The colors match like perfectly. Good morning, Mr. Simmon. Is it time now? Just what road led to Hyrule becoming that place that it is today? I believe that in order for our children to have the bright future, they must first learn about the calamity. I'd be pleased if you joined for today's lesson. Do I have to ring the bell or something? Why does his sword look like the Yiga blade from Breath of the Wild? It's a Lizalfos horn fused to a... to one of those. It's basically like a wind cleaver or like eightfold long blade uh, fused to a Liz blue Lizalfos horn. Um, is it not time for school? I guess 8, if I remember correctly, is when my lessons would start. Maybe we can play on the playground. Wow, that's so fun. What is this? No idea. Help wanted. Apply to become a teacher. Want to show children the joy of learning. No experience necessary. Inquire at the school for more information. Prospective applicants are welcome to sit in on a lesson. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for, Simon. Okay, I'm just gonna assume it's eight. Oh, yep. Yeah. Kids are coming to school. Gotta get there first. Ha 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 
Oh, that's your chair, I'm sorry. I guess I sit here. Still no lesson? Um, are we starting now or? I'm waiting. I want to learn about the calamity. Nine o'clock. Now we're starting. Are we not? Wait, is it 10? But he's talking. Oh, okay, now it's starting. Today's class will be a history lesson. The story of Hyrule is deeply intertwined with the calamity. And that is no ex exaggeration on or embellishment. The calamity has been visited upon the land of Hyrule several times before. It was sealed away 10,000 years ago by the sacred princess and a hero wielding a sword that seals the darkness. So that's a different event than the sage sealing the demon king. Isn't that just a fairy tale? Over time, history and legend sometimes blur together. All this stuff about 10,000 years ago and such, who cares? You got any picture or proof to back up this so-called 10,000-year-old calamity? It's no fairy tale, I assure you. These are real historical events. This is a real problem. I need to show them some kind of depiction of calamity from 10,000 years ago. Otherwise, this lesson is over before it begins. I'm so sorry, Link. This isn't how I thought the lesson would go. If I had more foresight, I'd have borrowed the screen depicting the calamity from Lady Impa's Hall. Kakariko Village. Detailed image. I see. <clears throat> we'll be right back. Those kids definitely understand those words, yeah, surely. Also, I'm very interested to see what this stone is about. My theory now, in terms of story, is that Minaru or whatever, um, is basically like the Sheikah sage. And we're gonna learn about her there, but I'm still uncertain. I'm annoyed that I can't do that yet. Um, hello? Where, where, wait, what? It's a fusion blade, yeah, with a blue Zalfus horn. The screen in question is kept at Paya's Hall. Did they move it upstairs? Oh! Got it. Also, after I get, after I get to, um, maybe before I go to Gerudo Canyon, I should go back to Lookout Landing and progress the Debt's quest and the Robbie quest so you can move into the tech lab here. <clears throat> wow, Nadra is still chilling here. On a big journey. The Great Sky and also looks crazy. And, uh, and I need to go here. Now that I actually have more stamina. Why are we not here again to deliver the picture? That I just took. Here it is, Simon. Quite a conundrum. <clears throat> so, ah, for this class again, we'll be going over the calamity again. Let's start by reviewing our last lesson. Ah! Mr. Simon, can you prove any of this? Oh. 
Isn't it more like that one time history a legend started to blur together? We still is talking about that stuff from 10,000 years ago. Just show me something, man. <clears throat> um, I s can see. I have to. No, no, no. no. I, here, there it is. There it is. I got it. Da, da, da. What's this? A screen depicting the calamity. Class, please take note here. This is a rare opportunity to see a primary source regarding the calamity. Wow, this looks like the real thing. So the legend was true? That's amazing. You know, seeing this makes it feel like it might have happened yesterday. <laughs> well, if you uh, got documented proof, that's good enough for me. Go on, Mr. Simmon. Tell us the rest of the story about the Calamity. Of course. Thank you so much, Link. My lecture about the Calamity might run long, but I hope you'll stay for it anyway. The Calamity has visited this land of Hyrule several times over. However, 10,000 years ago, they... There were divine beasts built by... This is the first mention of them at all. There were divine beasts built by the Sheikah using their advanced technology. Each of them was controlled by a skilled pilot as well. With the sword that seals the darkness and the power of the sacred princess, the ancient heroes stopped the calamity. For a long while after that, the lands of Hyrule knew peace. But the time when the people forgot about the calamity was the moment it returned to menace them over once more. Tell us more, when did this all happen? This all happened about 100 years ago. It began with an oracle prophesizing the Calamity's return. The royal family took the, the cues from the legends of the past they found and excavated the Divine Beasts. Skilled members of the Rito, Goron, Zora and Gerudo people were selected to pilot them. They were called the Champions. The wielder of the sword that seals the darkness and the Sacred Princess, all the pieces from legend were in place. But this time, the Calamity would not be best, it's easy. I like how Link just stands there. They're literally talking about him, basically. Aww. Did did something happen? <sighs> Sadly, the sacred princess was unable to awaken the holy power within her. The divine beasts were taken over by the calamity. Those selected to pilot them lost their lives in the process. Worse still, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness was badly hurt, just when all seemed lost. The sacred princess came into her power and devoted her whole being to keeping the calamity at bay for 100 years. Is everyone following along so far? After spending 100 years dormant, the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness awakened. His wounds healed. He won back the divine beasts with the help of several allies, including some of the champion's descendants. And in the end, the hero defeated the calamity and the sacred princess stopped the evil one. Sorry, I got a little emotional there at the end. It's a true story though. All that we have, our land, our lives, our civilization, we owe it all to those who fought for it through the centuries. Ah. Wow, I want to be like the ancient hero and give the next generation good lives too. Ah, that went splendidly. Words cannot convey my satisfaction. And I couldn't have done it without you showing us the screen, Link. Once again, thank you so much for your assistance. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You should have something for all your help. Would this do? Hello? Am I, am I not going to get credit here? This grain is a favorite among... Ah, uh, this is the rice, it's not the wheat, okay. With the new vegetables being developed, developed, they're harvesting less rice these days. That's a shame. It's a favorite of mine. You should taste it for yourself, Link. Speaking of rice, our next subject is home economics. Okay, not that interested in that. Hello, it's me, by the way. I was the guy. I was the one that sealed it. Me. Anyway, another quest completed. Okay, I think Cateno is mostly done for now. I did most quests. Oh no, the mushrooms as well. Almost done though. Almost finished the whole village, I believe. We have uh, the two mushroom things. And that's basically it. The two mushrooms, and then we can have the election. And the champion's tunic one is at the castle. Oh, you don't have a mushroom hat. Tamara, who's this freak? Uh, hey there, what brings you up to town? Oh, he's actually pretty handsome now that I get a good look. Hey, I have a good idea. You should take this and not ask any questions. She gave me her egg. The fuck? 
You swept me off my feet so fast that I gave you one of my prized eggs. Bro. <clears throat> no more though, just forget what happened here today. That was a fast transition. Uh, how could I ever forget? Your heart is like a cuckoo's egg, easily given but easy to break. Please find it in your heart to forget what happened today. Okay, it's forgotten. I feel like you weren't getting what I was going on uh, for there. Way to kill the mood. Do you still need something? Have a hiding room. You brought this from CC. Wow, uh, thank you. There's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They're tasty on their own too. I just like them, okay? But that's when they're food. When you make them fashion, you lose me. It wasn't so long ago that doing stuff like that was completely unheard of here. The farm families don't know what to make of it either. Can you blame them? One more mushroom. <laughs> that was the weirdest conversation of the game yet. He's like, uh, who's this freak? Actually, he's hot. Here, take my eggs. Let's not get into that further. <clears throat> uh, we need one more. I don't know... There's no way that would be Robbie, right? I know Robbie is supposedly probably gonna move here eventually. But I feel like that wouldn't make sense. I've been at the shop. I haven't been in these houses, but I was just assuming that they were... Um, they had no villagers in them. Or if there's people living here, then they're not at home. And this is, uh, I guess, I'm just gonna canonically call this our house. Because I paid for it. At one time, at one point. And this is Ivy and the shopkeeper. Oh wait, 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 maybe there's a secret room here now. There's no shot that we're gonna make this empty again. Man, come on. Okay, I'm a little bit spoiled. I guess there's some arrows here now. Whoa, that sound of the barrels breaking is really satisfying. Wait, that, oh, Leop. They've been putting these strange decorations over the village. I have a mushroom for you. Um, some folks like my daughter Prima started wearing that flashy CC brand stuff right away. Uh, here. Huh? You say this is from CC? Thank you very kindly. As old folks don't know much about what's in now, you know? How are they all so easily swayed by a mushroom? I'm happy to vote for whoever for mayor, but uh, if they'll fix up the village real nice. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? I did basically all quests. It's time to report back. Oh, sh oh, wait. She saddled me with so much work when she put in charge of the election. Oh, hello, don't you remember me from before? Um, but since we are both involved now, could you give me some advice? The thing is, I need your advice on my sister. It's about Cece. Lately, she's been sneaking off alone in the middle of the night. Why are they both so weird? I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon, and I don't want any last-minute surprises to hurt her chances. So I'd like you to tell my sister, find out where she's going and what she's up to, and get back to me. What if she's also making another pumpkin? I've tried following her for myself, but she spotted me right away. I really got an earful about it too. Ah, uh, they're gonna like put away inside the differences, surely, right? If you succeed in finding out what she's doing, I can reward you, of course. You're the only one I can ask for help. I don't want any of the villagers finding out until I know what's going on. Uh, sneaking away in the middle of the night. So this is basically the exact opposite. I guess I should do that first. Okay. The good old uh, sneak quest.
Hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's not um, Oki level. What is this? It just says like drinking water or something. She never expect me here. Actually, let's see if she's still inside. Oh, yeah, they glow. This is so cool. Okay, she's still here. It was the middle of the night, so maybe it's at midnight. But I think once that's over, we basically wrapped up this whole village. That's satisfying. And what I really like about this is that even this is casual playthrough stuff. This sort of knowledge is something that I never really fully got in Breath of the Wilds. Because my first playthrough wasn't this thorough. But now in the future, if I do like something like a 100% speedrun, I already know where all of the NPCs technically are, like what their houses are. Um, that's actually going to be surprisingly helpful. Because you already know you're going to have to do all of the quests. What do you think of the new arrows? I like everything about them other than the fact that you have to fuse a one every shot. But it feels a bit disruptive. <clears throat> okay, she's starting to investigate. Not suspicious at all. They, they did put something in here now. This is where she sneaks to. Oh, I think I know what I need to do. I probably can't just go in. I probably need to spy from here. Yep. Perfect, I do believe nobody saw me. I'm free to enjoy another of my late night meals in secret. No. How I enjoy my nightly vegetables. See, they do admire each other. She likes vegetables. He likes the CC designs. They just need to um, put aside their differences. The shine, the luster, the fragrance. Yes, indeed. Now this is luxury dining. And so, without further ado, let us tuck in. Crunch, munch, crunch. <laughs> so scrumptious, the crisp, smooth taste is a sign they were grown on a diet of pure water. Thanks to the farmer's deft touch and the quality of the soil, I can even eat the skin without misgivings. Honestly, vegetables from anywhere but Hateno Village simply don't count. They're nowhere near as filling. Though I've built up a reputation on flesh and glamour, here in private, I must admit that the simple, unadored things are the best. They're simply no denying it. No denying it. But now that I'm full for tonight, it's best that I return home. If I don't return quickly, Sophie may start to suspect something. Spotted. Spotted and exposed. <laughs> also, thank you, Boom. Um, it's... I, I guess this game, this game is just rewarding to play a very observant... Lee. I did it, Sophie. Um, sorry about this. I know it's a tall order asking you to tell my sister, but I'm just so nervous about her. I actually found out the truth. Really? The side across the way? Is that a cherry blossom tree up there? Um, what? I thought she'd been hiding something big. Is that really all there was to it? I know my sister says a lot about charisma and style and has to do everything in the most ostentatious way possible. But between you and me, her tastes are pretty plain. She loves the slow life here in Hatelo Village. She probably told you she came back here because of development or whatever. But the truth is, she just wanted to eat the vegetables grown right here in her hometown again. 
At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. Either way, I'm so glad she wasn't up to anything scandalous. I want you to have this in exchange for helping me out. I actually do wonder if this, all of these quests will have an impact now on the election. Or like, in what way? Because we basically found out the truth now. The cap of this mushroom is pretty hard. Oh, that's just an iron shroom. My sister really is a handful sometimes. Both she and Reed, Reed want the same things, you know? I can't understand why the two of them don't just work together instead of doing such going to such bizarre lengths. It is. <clears throat> All right. No. Have you handed him out already? What is that? We've delivered all my little gifts, I see. Well done. That ought to help a few of those read voters see the light. Here you are. A sign of my gratitude. Ooh, big hearty truffle. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. I would have liked 10 of those. Years of going unpicked have allowed this hearty truffle to grow quite large. When cooked into a dish, it'll restore hearts and temporarily increase your maximum health. <laughs> it's a rare mushroom worth more than most can afford. No. As you're on Team CC, I expect you to eat it and fire yourself up for the election coming up. Ooh. I believe I remember Sophie saying not long ago that the preparations are were complete. So your timing is excellent. Speak to Sophie about the next steps. The, oh, the mayoral election. Oh. Everything's ready. It's time to get the election for village uh, mayor started. Uh. Nice day for an election, don't you think? Everyone's gathering in the plaza. Oh? What's gonna happen here? Oh, that's actually quite a lot of people. There's like more people than they ever had shown up, uh, showing up at uh, Zora's Domain. And now, without further ado, let's have each of our candidates for mayor say a few words. Uh. Music. Um, uh, hi, I'm Reed. Oh. I, I believe that the heart of the village is its pastoral culture. We've built a close-knit, self-sufficient lifestyle here in Hateno, and I don't want to see us lose stuff. My plan is to strengthen our community with new local specialties, starting with our brand new Hateno cheese. See, I, I, get, I don't know if I couldn't have done this quest without doing the cheese quest, or if this just wouldn't have happened. I am the world-renowned CC, Hyrule's premier fashion designer, but you knew that, of course. Together. We can turn this backwater village into Hyrule's go-to destination for all things stylish. No. Vegetables don't make the world go round. It's a glamour that rakes in the cash. No. And nobody knows glamour like me, darlings. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ashen comes and goes. Your style is trendy now, but it'll be over soon. And then, where will we be? Oh. Nonsense. It's trends that shape the world, not the other way around. That's... That's enough! Sophie? Uh, Both of you are just arguing for more of what you like, not what's best for Hateno. You can't fool me, Cece. You've loved simple plain things forever, including the vegetables of Hateno village. I know for a fact that you hide in that silo at night to snack on vegetables. Huh? Huh? What? What? Wherever did you get such a curious notion? Oh. And you, Reed, your secrets are too. I know why you've been secretly studying Cece's design in the shed. You think there's something there you can use to get the youth to care about vegetable farming? Mm. Now, who went and told you that? That's actually really awesome. Uh. Cece, I can't deny any of it. Mm. It should have made me happy that you came in and lived... Uh, live and up the live and up the village. No, Reed. It is I who should be ashamed. My childish pride would not allow me to admit the truth. Uh. I think you probably have to do all of the quests, yeah. Oh. Dude, this is gonna make me cry. What? I don't wanna leave. What the hell?
The trends in style I made my name on are built on the foundation of traditional culture that our forebears worked for. No. Please forgive me, everyone. Uh. I'm sorry, too. Uh. Sophie, I hereby withdraw my candidacy. candidacy. Uh. Cece, wait. Oh. I'd be a fool to pretend you're not the reason our village is flourishing. I don't want to deny it. you your due. No. Did I hear you say you're working on new vegetables to attract the youth of today? That sounds like a CC worthy endeavor. <laughs> huh. There's nothing wrong with asking if you can help, you know? Uh. People of Hateno, oh. we've come to a decision. The best way to keep Hateno Village vibrant is to work together, to combine traditional culture with new ideas. <laughs> Damn, I did not expect that. Ooh. I mean, I expected that that was going to be the outcome, but not that I was going to be so emotional with that music. Sophie and Clavia told me what you did on your on our behalf. Thanks to you, Hateno Village is thriving once more. We ought to reward such fine work. Hmm? Come to Ventus Clothing when you have a moment. Yeah, all of the quests perfectly weaved together in this like really nice... I mean, this is like basically a mini Terry Town. Bunch of quests around the village in one final like, culmination. And this might be the same for Kakariko. We have to do the other quests probably to eventually reach the floating uh, ring ruin. Holy shit. It's all thanks to you. I knew, of course, that you'd been in cahoots with Sophie, but I'd never dreamed you'd also been conspiring with Clavia. Still and all, we can call that election a success. Ooh. Do you remember what we discussed when you first came here? The CC hat is the latest masterpiece from the CC collection. See those luxurious curves, the avant-garde colorway? Everything about that hat is perfect, and so I've been saving it to bequeath to the perfect oh. model. Do you grasp yet what I'm getting at? It is you. That I want to model my CC hat. You, who saved not just Hateno Village, but also me and Reed. The perfect hat is unsuitable for anyone else to wear. No. And besides, let's not pretend it won't look absolutely dashing on you. Oh lord. Ooh. Here we are. An avant-garde masterpiece designed by CC, guaranteed to make fashionistas' heads turn. No. Now put on that CC hat and lord it over the whole world. Okay, I'm curious to see if you go to those C uh, CC fans, like the Misko's treasure hunters, if they are going to react to it. Tidy, hmm? I shall reinvent myself and open Ventus clothing anew. Sophie, there's work to be done, sister. Poor Sophie. She's getting bullied. No. Oh, shit. As myself, I've had a long uh, think about where to take my brand from here. To begin with, I study my collection. This is no longer DLC. Um, uh, my collection of unique goods designed out by Forbearer. Oh. See? Me, if you happen to part ways of precious apparel that's too rare to be purchased. I might have something in my collection that can serve as a guide. Whoa. Okay. What does that mean? Absolutely marvelous. Now, there's only one way to improve this. Uh, we need some more goofy um, tunics. I mean, that's pretty sick. Not bad. Not bad at all. I want to see what that means. Is she going to guide me to armor sets that I haven't found yet? Also, how much do you charge for this? This used to... The Dignified Human Hyrule's <laughs> Royal Guard. It's made of lightweight materials and is both stylish and practical. Recently reproduced and made available. Ah. Ah. 
2000. What a steal. And the other prices are normal, so they're actually charging 2000 for this. This is what pay to win used to be. You could just buy the DLC. Get it for free. I have a private collection of rarities from all over the world. They were designed by the finest artists of generations past. Everything in it is rare. So rare that you won't find them in any other shop, but for you, I'd be happy to talk terms. Oh. If you've taken a liking to anything in my collection, I'd make an exception for you and sell it. Wait, so is this basically like the Terrytown guy? If I have like unique... Yeah, 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 I think so. If I lose any unique armor, I can repurchase it here. Because this is what I already own, right? 4k though to get it back. Got it. Fashion check, please. What an interesting ensemble. I can't deny it's original and yet you're neglecting the critical importance of coordination. And so 50 points? What do you mean? Fuck off. I'm leaving this place. Okay, um, basically done here. The question is how I'm going to order this. I want to go, to, there's multiple things I want to do. I want to talk to the people in Rito. I want to go to Gerudo Canyon for the memory and I want to go to Lookout Landing for the main quest. I think I go to Rito first just to talk to Tabor. Then Lookout Landing, then Gerudo Canyon. Royal Guards uniform is nice, yeah. T Man 50 out of 10, it must have been. Is that literally a Korok seed right here that I didn't see? Yep. I also want to actually go into the sky and see if I can pull for some rockets. They're too useful. How much are these two combined? A thousand five hundred. Should probably sell some stuff anyway. I want to keep the luminous stones in case you can get armor from those. <laughs> those for now. <laughs> I do also need to sell, uh, buy some energized cores in the mine. Man, there's almost always so much to do, which is great. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I can sell some of these dishes that I'm not going to eat anyway. That's actually something I forget you can do. Oh. Okay, that was the one that I should have not sold because I wanted to test it. <laughs> Like, the sneaky food is, like, kind of <laughs> useless. <laughs> so this only says plus now. Yellow plus. So I wonder if that still refills your stamina. Restores and overfills your stamina wheel. Okay. Endura f f uh, food still works that way. Oh. That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't I have like a lot of monster parts that I'm not using anyway? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> At least for now. Maybe I eventually <laughs> have a reason for them. Rito sell these trousers to Hylians in Rito Village. The inside is lined with Rito feathers. I want to eventually have all of the armor on this account, that's for sure. Ooh. The hard container dishes are to, against the gloom. <laughs> when you get um, affected by gloom. To heal the effect. 
I like it like this more if it's sorted by a armor piece instead of set. I, I like the snow quill trousers with this. And you get double cold protection this way. I really want the tuning of the dead's uh, leg wear though. That cave, where was it again? Hi. Hey, if it isn't the guy who worked with Tulin to save the village. Everyone in the village is happy to stretch their wings again without them icing over, so th thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility, visibly t visibility too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can gather food. I saw one the other day, in fact, when I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock wreathed in green light inside. Just like the one beneath the general store. Okay, so it's a shrine quest. Just where did I see that cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. Is it the same as Monzo Shano? Uh. Yeah, where, the, where there were mushrooms in it and a pond with fish. It would have been the perfect place to stock up on supplies. All I remember is that I found it while looking for that white bird. Ah. Yeah, have you ever looked at the peak of the spire here in Rita Village? Oh. That bit jutting out sideways looks like um, a bit of a bird's fish. We call it Barmedo's Purge. But what happened to Barmedo? Mm. Part of my morning routine is to head up there and bask in the, uh, the sun as it rises. That day I was getting some sun up on that purge. Same as always. Right about then when I looked, there was a white bird. Ooh. I wonder if that's the same location or not. It's weird for a bird to rest up on a shadow. Not the cave entrance, but the white bird mm. is. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> that wasn't here before. There's a balloon here now. I guess we can use that to get up top there. Hey. You're the one who had Tulin save the village. We owe you big for oh. that. Now that the blizzards died down, we're stockpiling all the food and materials we used to have in abundance. The others were working together to bring supplies to the village. I'm managing the whole process from down here. Speaking of which, Huck was supposed to bring me some food, but I haven't seen him. He told me he'd collect some food from the stable at the Tabantha Tundra, northeast of here. Huh? I hope nothing happened to him on his way back to the village. Hmm. Never mind me. I was just thinking about a friend of mine who hasn't come back yet. Um, hey, you wouldn't happen to have any spare food you'd be willing to part with, would you? Our food stockpiles are looking healthier now that the blizzard has stopped, but they could still be better. I could offer you, say, 10 arrows for three cave fish. Hmm. Sure, if it's a quest, I'll do it. Children, trout, and bright caps are little ones. The little ones' favorite food, so we never get enough of those. Eh. I kind of just did it for the quest. So I don't know if I actually want to do that. No. Wait, why doesn't this... Oh, it's because it's chained to the ground. I guess. Never mind then. I'll go up there another time. It's not time to also finish uh, Rita Village now. What were these guys saying again? I already found the geoglyph here. Link, we meet again. Kato and I came here to see a geoglyph. Sadly, we were thwarted by a blizzard and grounded nearby. After it finally calmed down, we made our way to this village. We plan to set on finding the geoglyph shortly. Have you found the geoglyph in the Gerudo Highlands yet? Ooh. Okay, so they're pointing me to the next uh, one that I haven't seen yet. Yeah, yeah, that's, that was my plan, Impa. This calls for a new bow. Huh. 
I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully fledged son, of course, but it does leave me without the bow I've used for so long. An elder shouldn't go unharmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The boy I gave to him was a masterpiece. After so many years of use, it was like another limb for me. <laughs> but I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. Mm -hmm. If you want your own great eagle bow, I wouldn't mind crafting one for you too. I need a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and three diamonds. Those materials might be not, might not easy to come by, but if you can collect them all, the bow is yours. Well, now we have a reason for diamonds. And then there's Kaneli at the flight range. Okay. That's mainly what I came here for. Lookout Landing, then Gerudo Highlands. Lookout Landing Skyview Tower. I don't hang out uh, enough. I, I don't hang um, hang out enough here. I like like the soundtrack a lot. We must get to that lab. Great job getting the picture for the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see the statue, and I was thrilled to show how to use the camera. Inspired even the Pura Pet has even more potential functions. Big update here. Your Pura Pet can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. But I, I've had that before. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed that shrines are the upheaval. So I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can, can set it up here at the lookout landing. I have to go to Ateno village. Um, once we're in that lab, so how do I get into the lab? You find the lab in East Nekluda, off to the south. We, uh, uh, I was I was just not, you know. Go a bit further. You see the lab. Oh, okay. I need to help Joshua first. Whoa, wait. Uh -huh. What is this? Where, was this here before? Oh, that's those are all of the schema stones. What the hell? So remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure. I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like a puzzle piece. Okay. Just look. This is underground, oh. looking at the trees. And there's these, like, boa people surrounding the Demon King. And he is, like, looking at, like, some hand power. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. The scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there. Like the one you found for me last time. But what they really caught what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series. Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also see those large ears on the figure? At the front of the building. That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's a strange hand. Wait. Is it a demon king? It has to, it had ears like Raru. And then there's a uh, strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zona is doing. Wait, what? So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of the statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like building holds something of Zona origin. Oh, okay. So this is where I'm supposed to find the power that I already have. I've heard that the Zona wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is just speculation on my point. So <laughs> that's where you come in. If you want to find the temple structure depicted in the mural, initially I figured I could just go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright loops and supplies, but I can't go into the depths. You can have these too. Thank you. I have so many arrows already. Um... There's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to find Princess Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power and just for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this swordsman. I already did it. <laughs> <Is that> a... <laughs> Wait, that's so sick. That means you... You mean to tell me you already found the temple? 
And what was in there? Auto build? With the ability to instantly replicate things you've built? And schema stones? Oh. So they were really uh, so there really was a Zonai temple housing a mysterious power down in the depths. Hmm. hmm. That may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a second. Um. Not that, nope. Not that either. There we go. At that election, yeah. Here's Swordsman. Another schema stone. What's this one gonna have on it? Um. Oh, a quick to deploy balloon. That's actually kind of useful. A new design has been registered with Autobot. Uh -huh. This is a schema stone for a balloon, right? If you use this with auto build, you could replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking. Yeah. That balloon over there belongs to Goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think you might be able to fix it with auto build? Yes. No issue. Okay. Okay. Uh, I can't believe it. You rebuilt a balloon in an instant. This this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. G goggles? Hey! Goggles! Whoa. What are you yelling about, Joshua? Whoa. Inconceivable. My balloon, it's fixed. Huh. This must be the mysterious power the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. More large Zonai. Perfect timing, actually. Zonai of special purity. The amount of energy concentrated in it... Oh, it's just the same. I still haven't been able to figure out what that is. But judging from that light, it's gotta be Zonai in origin. Since you can use Zonai powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. Yeah. There was an incredible power lying in, hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths going forward. Who knows? I might just find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, Swordsman. What's up, Drex? Um, did I need something? I don't know. Do I need something? No way. Koga, the leader of the Yiga clan was there. Right. This is dangerous. Okay. I've got to regain my composure. Okay, come this way. So you face Koga in the depths, what's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has headed out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we are looking into already, we can't just take our eyes off this threat. Besides, Koga could know what's happened to the princess, that would make a lot of sense. If you do go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time, south of Hyrule Field? There's a cousin there, and I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the one you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere too, and do come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. These statues lead further southwest into the depths. Hmm. Where they, where they go is anyone's guess, but I bet. There's a destination far beyond that building worth seeing. Oh. I keep gathering info about what's in the depths, so be sure to stop by and check in with me sometimes. Okay. Ah. I appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks. <laughs> really. That uh, auto build thing is pretty damn amazing. I should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh. That reminds hey. me. Now that Joshua has solved the mystery of that slate, oh. I can return to the Hatino village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements to your Pura Pad starting with the sensor. Mm. You'll find the lab in East Nekluda, off the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Atino Village. Ah. Go a bit further than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. Oh. Alright, going to it over there now. We're waiting for you to arrive. Yeah, that sword is a... Um, Eightfold blades fused to a blue Lizalfos horn. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. 
Did the Diamond Reaper break? Mm, yes. I have two other diamond weapons, but now I actually have a reason to collect diamonds because I found out that you can get a great eagle bow by uh, giving Teba three diamonds. So I guess we can get our champion weapons back if we want. Um, okay. Debts. So... The Forest of Time... is here. And there's another chasm there. And it leads to a statue... to different types of statues. So I guess I'm gonna head there now. I also know that there's a shrine there. And... Um, I want to investigate that building, then I'm going to go to Gerudo Canyon where I find the next memory and try to enter the depths there to see God Koga. And then I'm going to make my way to Zoro's Domain. I also want to see how it feels to use the Star Fragment uh, rod in the depths for exploration. That feels good. Should I just go into the Colosseum? Should I just get it over with? Nah, not right now. Not right now. We can't always get sidetracked. The Star Fragment has a special power, but it just it, it shoots like light orbs, kind of. I haven't gotten this tower over there yet either, right? Also on the to-do list. I like how the music doesn't stop until you finally land. I just need to shrine some big peaks. I found one. Personally. Not sure if there's more. Could be. There could very well be more. Oh, it's one of those again. My entire gear is gone again. I I did one of those yesterday. <clears throat> Another Eventide Shrine. Weapons to your arm? No, I had a stick. That's what I've used it to. Those spike bolts are actually no joke, kind of good. I'm gonna fuse it to my hole. Most normal weapon. Most normal weapon I've ever seen. Spring shield. Those are pretty cool. 
I guess uh, I don't really uh, I don't really use this. I guess I need more shield slots. The main reason they're good is because it's just like an extra jump when you need it. I accidentally fuse a spine to my shield. Oh no. Well, you can just destroy the fuse material, right? Without breaking the shield. What's the difference between light roots and shrines? Well, it's still an interesting question because they're certainly connected. I just don't really completely understand the connection of them yet. Um, because... Yes, shrines are puzzles, but they grow directly over light roots, and they're basically just light root, root names in reverse. Right? We talked about it's like we have um, this one here, and this one here, and this one here, and this one here. But like, we already talked about the fact that Mount Hylia is directly over Hylia Canyon. And. Uh, it almost looks like the depths will either come to be known as low rule or some reflection of the kingdom. That's why I'm so interested in uh, checking them out more. Maya Chen, yeah. <clears throat> now that I'm here, I'm getting the shrine. It's literally in walking distance. Did I ever stream in German? Like once or twice. See, in situations like this, what I want to do is I just, I'm just down to waste some... <laughs> Those things do jump scare you sometimes. <clears throat> I do not have the Master Sword. I did one story dungeon. Please, no spoilers. The roots are just upside down from Stranger Things. There's something like that. Like the entire depths, I believe. Okay, without you, without the gliding set, your forward mobility during dives is pretty bad. There's a Korok to save as well. So, do I have a rocket on me right now? I don't believe so. Unfortunate. Because I want to save something for my auto build that's literally just like a platform like this with the rockets attached to it in the front. So I can auto build them on the ground if I really want to go somewhere, pay some zonite for it and just basically have like a on the fly wind bomb. Tenny Ten Shrine. Cute. Wait. Wait. What? Never mind. I thought for a second that maybe all of the shrine names are just what do you call it if you just scramble letters and this was like a Nintendo version of that? There's like a word for if you use one word, but you scramble an anagram. Yeah. But now I'm curious because. Because English translation sucks sometimes. I know the shrine names or the library names in reverse. That's why I'm thinking maybe there's more to it. Because I already scrambled them. Interesting. Wait, what is the shrine name? Combat training... Throwing? Oh, but this time we have to throw weapons and not materials. Combat training shrines do suck. I am not a fan of them at all. I guess they're there for players to as tutorials, right? But like, I haven't found a single test of strength. There might just be gun. 
And instead, I just have these training ones. Yeah, I think this is already the fourth one of them I found. found. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, no, one being in the game like in the first one makes sense. I take the free spirit up too, but me being somebody that's interested to do all of the shrines like in speedruns in the future, this is not something that's gonna be too interesting in, in, in replays of the game. At least we got the music. How's the game so far? Still 10 out, out of 10 for me. I'll take a free zone, I'd spear. But this version is like kind of bad at this point. Maybe I should uh, prioritize main story more. Because I don't know how they do the, ex the experience scaling in this game. Like if doing the main story still scales up the shrine rewards and stuff. Yeah, the creativity is, is through the roof. I mean, I've already seen some people on Twitter have already built like walking mechs. I've seen sex robots on Twitter built in Tears of the Kingdom. People are already losing their minds out there. <clears throat> uh, let's go here. This is where we can pull for uh, rockets. No, I'm not joking. You saw that on TikTok? Yeah, it's, I think it's... Um, it was probably from that tweet that I saw. <clears throat> Okay, please just give me like lots of rockets. Let me be lucky. No, just a no, just a dick mech, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Most normal ultra end creation. I only have two zonite charges. I need to kill some constructs. Okay, I better get lucky here. Yeah. Do I have a TikTok account? Yeah, but I don't really use it. <laughs> Why am I getting so many time bombs? Okay, I got a few rockets. Actually, I've also seen some insane stuff with the time bombs already, so maybe that's actually not that bad. I guess I can also exchange Zonite for more charges if I want more. Actually, let's do that real quick because I want to buy Energized ch Charges too. That's a weird travel well, waypoint there, a weird teleport point. Large privilege charge requires three large zone. Okay, I get one of those. Yeah, it's actually time for me to go into the. De oh, sorry, I just hit the mic with full force. I'm sorry. It's time for me to go through the depths again. I need more zonite. Oh wait, there's an outfit right there. <clears throat> Probably rubber armor. I I might also deliver food. I uh, have food delivered today. I feel like I'm too lazy to make the curry again. I have it like kind of ready, but I think I'll do it tomorrow. 
Yeah, before I go into the cave... So here, this is what I want to do. And I'll show you why. I want to save a build that's essentially just this. A plank. A rocket. Fuse like this. And this I want in my auto build history. Like literally just this. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, because then I can always just place it for like for a zonite. If I need to make some sort of jump. This is what I mean. We literally don't need wind bombs. And I could just remake it now. <clears throat> hey. Ah. Uh, yeah, wait. I already know about this one. Wait, so how much would this cost? Okay, it would actually cost... Yeah, three, three Zonite. So three Zonite per Wind Bomb. Yeah, with a glider, it's still not bad. Um, but it doesn't get you, like, super fast. So three Zonite for a Wind Bomb. I think that's a decent deal. At least in some scenarios. <laughs> well, it's gonna be six. It's gonna be six if you don't have the plank. But... Uh, Still not awful. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Uh, six for perfect angle, predictable wind bomb. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I haven't seen any of the speed tech. Oh, wait, this is my first electric keys. Electric keys, I bought um, imbued with electric power. So, electric homing arrow and electric ranged arrow. That was the worst rare ore I've ever seen. Um, if the speed tech for this game ends up being comp like weird or annoying, I this is the first game I would be interested in potentially running glitchless. Because you can already do so much fun stuff with only using intended mechanics. It's time to say goodbye to this beautiful weapon soon, but I have another one ready. Everything's breaking, but it's time for my, to, for me to replace a little bit, uh, some of my weapons anyway. Also, these things are like no joke, not bad. As fuse materials. Like, why does it do twenty damage? Isn't that broken? I think it's broken. Breaks fast though, I see. I've never... It's my first Boko bow, basic Bokoblin bow made of wood. <clears throat> Still not bad though. Dudes. Wait, what the f 
I, I thought that was just a worm. Or like the light leg itself. Not that it shot a boulder at me. Wait. Is this a new type? It is, I think. I need bomb arrows, I guess. Because um, that's what I got here. Oh, it had armor, essentially, I guess. Or like a rock uh, protection. Uh, thanks, game. I don't even want it to drop. <clears throat> yeah, backseaters are strong at this time of day. Twitch side plays Tears of the Kingdom. D don't you guys have the game too? Like, I'm always curious. Like, I understand when people play the game and then watch at the same time. But why are you trying to play two games at once? <clears throat> okay, I guess if you don't have the game, it's a little bit more understandable. Still, don't do it. cave. This is the first electric light like I've seen. <clears throat> Shock like stone. Stomach stone exposed to high voltage. And shock fruit. Essentially a small like another ele elemental fruit. And a soldier's bow. Basically a lemon, yeah, pretty nice. I'd eat one of those. Not one of those, though. Wait, now I'm actually more confused. Wait, so this is gonna be the rubber gear, not, not the barbarian one, right? Oh, so... Because my theory up until this point was that this was like a carriage that they, the Gerudo King would be transported with. But then this would probably be more likely to be related to Misko, the bandit. But maybe he stole those. Very interesting. Because it does have these like typical Zonite triangles. I think it's just a Misko Spinner. Well, the thing is, the first one that I got was a Barbarian piece. So, um... And I knew the Barbarian armor was basically tied to Ganon. But maybe not. Maybe this is gonna have a new meaning. And this is gonna be related to, like, this, these pirates that I haven't really seen yet. Can't wait to find out. Wait, yeah, probably. Wait. What if this armor was never about the Zonai? But Misko was one of the bandits, the barbarians, from the Farren region that have now returned. Oh shit, I didn't think about it that way yet, that could be true. Misko is a much stronger theme in this game. And the treasures they, the bandits were hiding. Oh, wait a second, that actually makes more sense. Okay, now I'm interested in that plotline too. Well, Star Fragment is in Breath of the Wild, but it's not like this. This was not something the Star Fragment could do in Breath of the Wild. Okay, we're going into the chasm. It's like lighters, but I don't think it does damage. I think it's mostly for depth exploration.
Was that a tree? I think it was one of those trees again. <laughs> Time to skateboard away. <laughs> oh no, it's breaking. So did the whole shield break from that? That kind of sucks. <laughs> I guess I used it quite a bit. Every shield is breaking. Might as well just actually break them so I can pick up some more. Are you going to Kakariko Atena? I went to both already. I'm going into the depths again. <laughs> Investigating something that Joshua told me about. Farming some Zonite. And then eventually making my way to Gerudo Canyon and the depths in that area. Alright, here we go. This will be my favorite tune other than the tower one. When you transition from surface to the depths. That was so, so close, and I didn't realize how close that was. I almost landed perfectly on that thing, but I just happened to open my glider at the time. It's pretty good. Damn, this is actually really good for that. No more need to waste more bright blooms. Oh, right. I did see more um, of these statues. Like here, right? But I guess I just follow them now. Oh, it's a frogs. I am not ready. I am not ready yet. I have literally no idea how you fight them. How unreal is this place? Still hasn't really settled, like, sunken in. Wait, so that back there was the mine, correct? Yeah. You can build a vehicle here. Wait, so where do the statues go? This one's looking down here. I guess I can also just swing this one. I'm just so used to use the, the throw attack <laughs> because the um, blizzard rod has like a bigger AOE this way. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty good, pretty good um, summary. Self kill. Finally soaking up in some zonite. I want that uh, next battery upgrade. I finally want two, two full batteries. Actually, take this to do more mining. Yeah. 
So where's my statue? Over here. I have that light route down there. Everything's dust drop zonite here. This is, uh, these are the worst en enemies, in my opinion, in the depths. Because they always take two hits and you have to headshot them. And uh, they can easily apply gloom to you by just throwing like a rock. Okay, follow the statue. There's some posts that I haven't gotten. Everything is breaking? Ah, it's fine. I feel like weapon durability is literally a non-issue in this game. Have I not been down? Wait, I could have saved so much time. <laughs> but I guess I explored some more. That's my bad for going in here too early. Yeah, last time I stopped here after this light route because I thought it's getting... Wait, did I... F How much did I follow this? Okay, I didn't go even further south. Yeah, it's definitely worth a zone at anyway, good point. I need, I need more even still. I want some charges to get more rockets and I want crystallized stuff to make more batteries. And also pose. Why did I get stamina? What was the thing you needed it for? I don't need it, but somebody spoiled um, spoiled me what I needed for, so that's why I got it. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. <clears throat> that's all I can say. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten stamina. So. The pose you can turn in for things like this armor that I have. And other goods at something called a bar gainer statue. Also, I really... I have so much more exploration to do here, obviously. I really want to go to this underground Colosseum. <clears throat> Player 5 goes for stamina if you want to know. I... Uh, don't really care. <laughs> but, um... I'm glad that he's enjoying the game. I think stamina is basically useless for gameplay so far. But again, I was spoiled as to why you actually need it. Mainly because there's so many ways to fly without needing stamina. Yes, quality of life is fair. Um, it's mainly for things like bullet time, right? The way it's changed, you can stay in bullet time forever without actually using it, and you can fly on vehicles and stuff. Mm. These stone statues have suspicious written all over them. How is she down here? Ah. Overheard me, did oh. you? Take a look at this giant stone statue. And I know it's dark and hard to see, but look, there's one over there too. Mm. It seems each statue points in the direction of the next. Right, that's what I'm. <laughs> that's literally why I'm here. Ah, okay. That's why they're down here. I think I was actually down here. And then I realized that, that, that there was a... Um, Yiga down here. Flying on a vehicle. So I turned around.
I do not want to eat my enduro foods. I need to organize my food better soon. I, I see. I, I remember this. <laughs> this is why I turned around. Yeah, I'm... I've... I haven't had a blizzard rod for a while. A blizzard rod made... Like a sapphire rod makes this game basically too easy. It's still as broken as the blizzard rod in Breath of the Wilds. I'm assuming that's where they're pointing? Well, technically not, actually. Before I go to this place... Maybe I grab the light route? Wait, is that... It's not Koga, just another Yiga in a car, right? Yeah. Can I steal that? Seems quite useful, actually. GTA. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait a second. How deep does it go? I go back to this place once I have like a little bit more light here. The statues is the first uh, goal. Dude, this is so scary. Imagine like throwing a light root, uh, like bright root, and then there's like one of those frogs that just appears in your face. Oh, this is, has to be destroyed. Oh, there's a light root. Yeah, I know, there's so much to do that it does feel overwhelming, but I don't think that's... I think that's a good... A good version of overwhelming. Alright, Kava Teak. No shrine that we found above <clears throat> us yet. Dun, dun. Mm -mm. This basically plays the tower music, but in like a chime sound. Do the lights ever stop lighting the area up? I actually don't know. Um, I was wondering that too. The first thing I like doing here is comparing to the overworld, but I don't have the overworld map here. But this is already perfectly recognizable. Like this is where like the test of will would be, right? And the canyon. No, but it's reverse, so the canyon would be a mountain. Very wild. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be another Yiga. So do I even talk to them or do I just not bother? I feel like I just don't bother. <clears throat> I see lots of rockets. I like that. I feel like I don't even need more than one rocket. Other, anything else is just wasting time. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? The same thing still applies. I just need one more rocket. <laughs> Wow, 
Why would you drop it there? He's trolling. He dropped it like 16 meters away from me. Rude. I still have stamina food as well. So I can basically just probably get away without building too much. <clears throat> Those statues go like all through all the underground, essentially. I think they, they go up there, right? Yeah, there's still another one up there. <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. Wasn't sure what I saw there. Take those bombs. What dungeons have I completed? Only one, but I would like to do the second one today in Zora's Domain is what I chose as the second location. This is why we don't need Rivali's Gale. Hmm. How did you do with that rocket? I fused it to my... My shield. I never really got a view of this from this way. This is just straight up an entire kingdom. I hope you're enjoying the game, Ailt. And thank you so much for the two years. No, I don't want to throw a rocket. We have a gun already. Rito village. Uh, like, here's my overworld map. I'm currently in the depths, the Gerudo area. Because I want to uh, do the Gerudo Canyon memory next to, so like, li uh, Geoglyph. These guys have not really given me any useful weapons yet. Yeah, they're still like really low level. Not sure if they're ever gonna get better. But it isn't low, right? Well, it's not confirmed to be yet. I don't know if they're gonna call it that, if they're gonna, gonna continue, if they're just making a reference to it. Given that this game seems to have much more to do with the origin of the Triforce, I wouldn't entirely say it's impossible. Do you view any memories out of order by mistake? No, that's the exact reason why I'm going here, basically. The gloom got me. Do I trust this guy? No way, right? I feel like I can't trust anyone here. He could be a res from the research team. Uh, I'm already... This is... Okay. I'm giving him a sandal line. I'm safe, thank you. Thank you, you're a real lifesaver. Just in time for me to betray you. One touch of gloom will eat and keep your distance. If this guy betrays me, 
Do I suppose it's neither here nor there? Because the gloom won't even have the chance to do you in. I'm never trusting anyone ever anymore here on here. I let I'm letting anyone die. Oops. <laughs> anyone I see down here will die. I don't care. They would just do the same to me. Hmm. This place is just so interesting. I love it so much. Okay, all Yigas. I had no clue that the I I I thought maybe the Yiga show up as like a reference, but I had no clue that they're gonna, they're gonna be play such a major role. But I guess it makes sense, obviously, with the entire Gandalf theme. There's gotta be so many light rules, probably more than towers. Thank you, Ed. Whoa, wait, there was a giant area though. For one. Maybe not as many as I thought. I actually, yeah. <laughs> like, look. I have, like, this tiny stripe. Jesus Christ. I've never seen... This is the first time I'm seeing this. Oh, well, rip though. Like gloom pebbles. They're cute but annoying, yeah. Dude, I can't. <sighs> Just a. Oh no. Just that sinking feeling every time that I haven't seen things. I haven't been in Korok Forest. Is there going to be an underground version of the Deku Tree? Like a cursed shadow root? Like literally Elden Ring, essentially? Where there's like a death root? The these guys are like so far the scariest enemy in the game, by the way. It looks like he saw me. <clears throat> Maybe it's about time for me to figure out how they work. That is insane. What was that attack? And what is that music? That's the most terrifying music ever. Also, why do those arrows not work? Ah, he ate me through the stone. <clears throat> okay, so he has like ores on his back. He does take damage there. I have almost no food actually. Like actually cooked food. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out what other abilities to have. Normally the eye is the weakness. Oh, 
know it's dangerous. That's actually just horrifying. Probably, I would say, the scariest minibus I've ever fought in this game. Even scarier than Phantom. Duh, 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 duh. <clears throat> Frog's fingernail. Whoa. That looks actually pretty good. I need some more base weapon to attach this to. Oh, he drops a uh, crystallized charge. Let's go too. Ah, oh, it's only 15. I should... Pr ah, nah. I, I, the, the thing is like... I still have so many options on how to play this game. If I wanted to really ab abuse everything, I would use stuff like uh, Sapphire Rods, and I haven't been using Attack Up at all, so I'm burning through weapons more than I have to. Oh, is that what the frogs protect? They protect like large zo like, big Zonite ores? And Crystallite Charges, so I guess they are kind of worth fighting. Double large Zonite, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't so bad, but... Um, that's why I wanted to do it, because I need to figure out now, you basically use bullet time to shoot their eye and then do as much damage as you can. And you might even stay on their back to get another bullet time eye shot, and then maybe you can one cycle them. Yeah, there's the attacker, but I'm saving this for an actual hard enemy, like if I'm running into a Lionel. Should've cooked more. Wait, so is... <clears throat> what I'm not sure about is, where is this leading me? I'm going straight under the Gerudo Desert. But... Oh, okay, so this is just leading me to Master Koga. Again. I guess. Well, you know what? At this point, I'm committed. Make peace of healing? Yeah, soon. I do really want to. <clears throat> I don't have any Tabanta weed right now. I wonder if there's stuff hidden on the ceiling. Yeah. I wonder if this will ever completely light up. Actually, I hope not. Because that way, they can obviously hide a lot of things. Like, this is gonna be a potentially really broken area in speedruns. Because they didn't they didn't want people to see everything. So there's a pretty big chance that they were hiding stuff, you know? He's fighting Tulin. Okay, never mind. You don't. Sapphire arrows are not even broken. What's broken is ice choo choos. I didn't even really realize that they're AoE. And you can just make them if you have normal choo choo jellies by freezing them. Damn, okay, I'm already... It's already very good that I came here. 
a bunch of uh, zonite for more battery power. Anyway, we continue. This is a long, long quest. Following these statues through the depths. Yeah. This is a little freaky how open this is, but I guess it's because I'm close to the light route. Yeah, there's a lot we talked about this uh, just a, a little bit ago. A ton of combat mechanic shrines and teaching yourself like bullet time as well, which is good. But I feel like they could have combined that more in one shrine instead of spreading them out. The light routes are literally underground towers, yeah. No, I mean the shrines teach you like everything, like how to use the zona devices, how to use the uh, combat things. Like most shrines are just like dedicated to one specific zona device. <clears throat> Right, right, and there's also a shrine that teaches you the ships before you actually have to use them to get up there. Okay, I guess we're getting close to this new location. There's a light route right behind it. Do we? I don't even want to hurt the frogs. They're cute. Tulan got my bag. Okay, so what is this place? And I'm kind of confused what we're gonna get here. Yeah. Is it just gonna be a boss fight? Yeah. Is this essential? Uh, I, I, I just have to go. There's more guards, essentially. It's the abandoned Gerudo mine. This looks like it could be another arena. Oh, he's already just there. Maybe I'll sneak around for a bit. What do you think would happen? Also, thank you for the gifted sub. Okay, this guy's gonna open up shop. But we need to take care of the situation here first. He got a notebook. I'm hungry. All this turnover has led to do to a supply shortage in the bases. Do you know how hard it is to find a banana? The depths are a complete wasteland. Nothing around here seems in the least but edible. You think that everyone would take that seriously and respect the ingredient and food stock, but no. That wretched new recruit ate a whole shipment of bananas the moment I took my eyes off them. From now on, I'm keeping my own supply. Glory to Master Koga. I have no idea what's about to go down here. It's the 
right hand, right? So why isn't this working? You back there. Take over for a while. Uh. It's you again. So Link, you just had to follow me here, didn't you? I'm doing what you did, exactly, but it refuses to work. You tricked me. Ah, you won't stand this. You wasted some of my time, but no more. I'll battle you. I'll beat you. And I'll steal that power back from you. Surely one day he will win. Ah, this time he's flying. You know, just because this guy is annoying me, I think I'll use it here. At least his team got even better. Tulin still headshot him. <clears throat> oh my god, I did not expect that. He just shot a rocket at me. What? Oh, is he going to phase two or what? That was unlucky timing. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if you can... What the hell? I can't even stand up. I wonder if you can um, use recall, actually. Oh, it already broke. But I think it might be possible. But it might miss. I want to try that before I just kill him. Ah. Uh, unfortunate. That could be cool. <laughs> and off he goes. Place has too much sand. You're only winning because it keeps getting in my eyes. So I'm going to let you off easy again. That hunk of junk construct wasn't responding anyway. Change of plans. Operation Steal the Ancient Power is over. I quit. I thought that power might make things easier, but it's just the icing. But it's just icing. I'm after the cake. I've been collecting a mighty power source scattered all across this land. Crystallized charges. And we're going to use them to restore an unstoppable weapon for the man himself. The magnificent one. Once we do, we grant his wish for the end of the world. So we don't need the power you stole. Our collection of crystallized charges is well underway. And the restoration of the final weapon is close at hand. We've already stripped all the resources here. If you want this empty shell, you can have it. I'm going to be swimming in crystals at the eastern abandoned mine. So we chase this guy through the depths. I wonder what his final form is gonna be like. He 
He's out of the cave, yeah. Alright, this is gonna be an epic reward. Greetings. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I overheard your conversation. You spoke loudly enough that it was difficult not to. The eastern abandoned mine that man spoke of is most likely the abandoned Lanayru mine. I guess we can go there later. It is extremely far from here. You will not find stone guideposts to it in this area. I suggest ascending to the surface first. You may be able, it might be able to find a chasm leading. That's, I, I do that after Rito, uh, Zora's domain. Leading there in the region to the east. There are two chasms in the region to the east that contain stone guideposts leading to the abandoned Lanayru mine. I recall a chasm on the land in Lanayru wetlands. There's also one in the southern mountain village. In a mountain village? Wait. There's one other thing to do before you resume your journey. My associate over there manages schema sh stones. You want to if you want to ask for one. Wait, so um, am I also going to be able to interact with the hand? Ooh, that's a full battery upgrade. Like a full uh, piece. <clears throat> was he trying to activate the construct? I guess he was just trying to activate the construct. I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay. Authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold one moment. I have confirmed that there's a schema stone you do not have yet. Allow me to rectify that. Okay. What is it going to be? A hovercraft. Okay. New design has been registered with Autobuild. That sounds nice. I will also prepare the parts required to test it uh, with Autobuild. I'm done. Do you um, know what Autobuild will do if you have insufficient parts? Yes, it uses Zonite. You do not have enough room? There it is. I'll use it in a second, but I want this guy to open up shop. <clears throat> I want to make it uh, get up to 200 crystallized charges. Um, yes. I wish they would have included an option where the game like knows whether you've interacted with one of these guys because I guess so you can ask the question again but obviously it exists so that you can do it in any order but like you know what I mean like I feel like at this point I'm obviously familiar with this and I'm saving it for now because I can probably reach it this way not quite. I just need one. Nice. Now I can do a double upgrade. <clears throat> Was there anything else down here? This guy gave me a schema stone. This guy welcomed me essentially. It'll be easier to check this out when I'm... Uh, when I got the light roots. Oh, so there's only like... Okay, I mean, it makes sense. It's a hovercraft. Wasn't there a light route literally right behind here? Oh, so this is to hover over the gloom. Okay, now I get it. But I swear I saw a light route here. I think it's on top of this area. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the chest and then ascend? Wait a second, what's this? Oh, I just 
hit a light root on there. A uh, bright bloom, bright bloom on there. How does it even hover? I guess because it's like a sled. What's up, Andrew? I hope you're having fun with the game. This is just a monster camp. Can I... Where is... Am I, am I blind? There was a light route here. I'm sure of it. Wait a second. Maybe I see it again from the mine. And my, my directions are just off. There's one back there, but there wasn't much much closer. <clears throat> it's gotta just be on top of here, right? Right? Oh yeah, I think it is. It's a kind of glowy. Maybe it's meant to use the tower. Gonatoyros. I feel like I'm... never mind. I was gonna say I feel like I missed one in the process, but this is just uncovering big areas. Now my question is, while I'm here, should I seek out the other ones or not? Because I did have some other plans. Well, actually, I kind of want to get to this X. Because that usually houses some treasure. And then I'll go to Montatori. And then I'll go to Gerudo Canyon. North, right? Yeah. <clears throat> the smoke behind me? This stuff? Or was it before I teleported? Before? Oh, damn. Oh, you mean the smoke that came out of the tower? <clears throat> I had no idea. I thought it was uh, in related to them, like, to the forgery they have there. Because they're like refining zonite and making it into crystallized charges and stuff. That was at least what I believed it to be. Yeah, I think it was just the smoke from the forge. Unless there's a deeper meaning to it. Looks like there might be another one of those over there. Because the tower is looking to be the same. Yeah, interesting though, because I'm still kind of curious how this entire technology works. The color of it still resembles like spirits. In the interviews that the developers did, they basically just said um, it's their f that they wanted the Zonai to have like magic. And I guess it's just quote unquote just magic, but maybe there's more to it. Tata Yum. Yeah, there's definitely another one here. I, I, I don't know how many dungeons there are in this game. I'm assuming four, but there could be more afterwards. I would think at least four at this point. 
There's a lot of Maya, Maya. I uh, was wondering if it's related to the actual Maya, given that the Zonai are heavily inspired by them, or if it has some other meaning. Yep. And like, ugh, that's the mask of the set. A mask used for working in darkness. I have the full set now. That is uh, odd, I would say. A little cave red. Well, I guess this is actually a goat. Right? With the horns. Cave goat. Not a fan. No offense. What is that Yiga mask? I found it um, while exploring. I don't know how much you want me to tell you. It's around the Great Plateau. How was the Wind Temple thing? Amazing, in my opinion. Like, the dungeon itself was like, not a huge revelation or whatever, but the entire set piece, like the setup, the music, the drama was really well done. And also, Tulin's voice actor did so well. <laughs> oh, interesting. I wonder if the other towers will also have some free crystallized charges. Actually. I've never tried jumping in there, but I'm kind of curious. Also, I wonder if the tower is close enough to reach the surface. No way, right? That would be insane. This should be possible though, right? If you make like a raft. I wonder if you have, if routing is gonna work this way in speedruns where you like ascend through the ground to end up in the surface or if that's even possible. Yeah, this is literally just like a mine about like excavating zonite here, I guess. I have not found a Korok underground personally, but that doesn't mean there's none. I have like 40 Koroks or something. I don't want to use all of my rockets again. They're so good. <laughs> okay, that still worked. Oh, absolutely. It will be very interesting and complicated. I can't wait to look into it myself when I'm done. Okay, I think I'm... Oh, I should activate this guy. Yeah, okay, no, he always says the same. I'm still reading if there's like anything new, but it's just the same. Okay, basically, wait, maybe not done. Maybe there's always something to do here. Maybe there's always schema stones you can get here in these buildings. Did you finish the game restarted? No, it's my first playthrough. Wait, the game came out like two days ago. <laughs> I did not play the leaked version. What is this one? 
Instant Scaffold. Maybe that comes in handy. Oh, this was... <laughs> this is how I was supposed to get the... Chest I just got with the, with the spring. Oh, that's actually cool. This is probably perfect height to ascend through. Damn, that's cool. That's really cool. So simple, but so... Like, th this is a perfect example of how creative you can get. Okay, I want to go to basically the same place, but on the surface this time. So I'm going to Mount Satori to then head to the canyon. I could have taken it to the top of the structure and maybe double ascended to test it, but I want to kind of leave the depths and um, also go to Mount Satori. But I will actually go to the Colosseum now on my way there. That's basically between the two locations. And I've been putting off fighting a Gleog. So I guess it's time. What's up, Tipsy? Gleok, yeah, I, at least I posted, um, and I, I found from when the previews first came out for this game that there is um, a Thunder Gleok in this Colosseum. And this seems to be true as we approach it. Holy fuck. Um, he saw me. That's not good. I wanted to take a picture for the paraglider. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't ready for the theme. Um, I don't know if this is an early game fight. I don't think this is an early game fight. Anymore, actually. I think this is probably the hardest, boss in, uh, hardest mini boss in the game. At least from what I've seen so far. Thank you, Tulin. You remember when I said I think you can just triple headshot the Gleog and that's that? Yeah, I was wrong. Metal equipment here is not good. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the strat here is. It just... They are, they are so fast. I mean, I would have died like three times if I didn't have fairies. And I did no damage. Okay, approaching this again just to see if I can cheese it, but I probably can't. This just screams, get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> Elemental attacks make sense, but I don't know what the weakness of thunder is unless it is water. Which I haven't really found a use for yet. I guess it makes sense. That would make sense, at least. No. <laughs> Look at the damage I'm doing! What about ice? Like, yes, I destroyed one of his heads. But is it permanently destroyed? Or is it gonna come back online?
If it's permanently destroyed, at least it makes a little bit, little, little bit more sense. This is the reason for Key's uh, uh, eyes. Oh, it does come back online. Dude, the music is so sick. But there's no way. Like, I could just get a super strong bow and go for that. There's gotta be a little bit more to this, right? I wanna get it on the ground. That is. Music. Why is this so sick? Holy shit! This is hyping me up so hard. The music too. I mean, I'm way too weak for this to actually probably do this, but what the fuck? I was not ready for this to be this hype. I mean, yeah, GG. I am. I'm gonna run out of fairies. <laughs> and I don't have keys, which actually seem good here. Especially if you have a good uh, bow. This is so fucking insane, I can't believe it. Oh my god, and he's like up there? Jesus Christ, man. I, d I took, uh, at least the picture didn't save, but I took a picture. If it didn't save, I'm gonna retake it. Oh yeah, okay, it didn't save. So, what I'm wondering is if all of the elemental types are the same strength. Like, is the one on the bridge Hylia, the fire version, gonna be just as... tanky? Oh my god, man. I was not ready for this to be like the most epic fight in the entire... in like both games. Like, literally. This is wild. Uh... <laughs> Moments taken before a disaster. A photo taken before a disaster. Bye bye. This is so fucking incredible. Okay, now I'm glad. That I ended up uh, at least trying out one of these fights. They're difficult. And I like that. Do I not even have six Zonite? Wait. Does it ask me for six large Zonite for these parts? Or just normal one? If it's large Zonite, then actually GG. I think it's actually large Zonite rib. No, it's normal one, right? Yeah, no, it's not a good one. I just don't have I just have none. Okay, that's good then. <clears throat> Would Leo be harder in the final boss? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, this is certainly optional. And the one thing that I am curious about though is whether they are all on this like strength. And I wonder how many there are. I know of fire, lightning, and uh, ice now, but I don't know if there's gonna be more or if there's gonna be different elements. I know fire is on Bridgehilia. Ice is on Hebra Snowfield, Thunder is in the Colosseum. But there could easily be more. Thank you for the raid, Barry. <clears throat> so 
So many Zonai pods. Oh, wait, why did it not build? There we go. Are we doing story missions today? Maybe. I'm still planning after I get that memory to get to... What is it called? Zora's Domain. Just kind of a bit different. Thank you for the raid too. I was not ready for that at all. Holy. I guess I get the shrine as my first destination. I should have... Shouldn't I have gotten to the... Ah, the stables are exactly like they are in Breath of the Wild for me again. Like, I built this rocket ship to get here faster, but at this point it may have been more worth to get Epona. Maybe the ancient settle is in the game still? That would actually be pretty useful here. Wait, what if I shoot this guy now? That's not what I wanted to do. I did not want to fuse a rocket to him. Well, it's bad, man. Oh, wait! Remember. There's an Arrokuda design. Well, Ancient Cell was DLC, but I already saw the uh, the armor that was DLC as well. Being in the game. What?! How was that? <laughs> what was that? The the keys arrow went up there and then back. <laughs> There's not the no DLC right now, no. It's nice to get an occasional headshot. From Tulin sometimes. Yeah, I don't know how you put DLC in this game. That's a good point. Other than adding even more islands, but like, Jesus. Ooh. I haven't seen this bow in a while. <laughs> but I will take it. My favorite weapon combo so far is I like I like spears a lot, especially for the underground, um, because you don't want to get too close to gl uh, the gloom when they're fighting you. But I um, think this, the the real broken weapons are still things like sapphire rods, where you can like AOE freeze entire camps in combination with two hand weapons. I was able to cheese like a black Bospo Koblen on the Great Plateau um, a little bit ago. And that thing um, dropped like a super high damage horn that you could fuse to a weapon for like a super strong two hand claymore. So what it would do is just like use AoE freeze and then jump, at jump attack them. Um, for like huge AOE, but I have seen in the interview that there's something that basically looks exactly like a scythe that I really want to find. Um, so that odd shot is back. If you need apples, 
And they, they put a shrine next to it. That's actually so nice of them. No, but it's it's I think it's a horn. It looks like a horn. If you re read one of the interviews they did. Um I guess farming apples is a lot less efficient now. That's where they showed it. Ah, of course. How many of them are here? I'm just trying to farm some uh Trying to farm some apples, man. How many of you guys are fake? It is a bit laggy here, but to be expected from this place. What have I done in the last hour? Mostly underground stuff. And I did have my first encounter with the Gleog, which was um, kind of spectacular, I'd say. Missing pathways. Okay, I ascend. Did I die to the Gliok? No, um, but I decided not to fight it. It was very strong. There is indeed a missing pathway. I found the pathway. Did I find the pathway? I didn't really find the pathway. Is this the missing pathway? <laughs> this. Okay, I have like an idea how to solve this, but I don't know if that's the right way. But then again, there is no wrong way. What well, did I fight? A thunder Gleok. Coliseum, yeah. Very, very cool fight. <laughs> Wait. Oh. I see. How did they even make this? That's wild. I mean, I'm not a coder, but it's still wild. I think I get this. got the extra chest right yeah nice should be getting close to um yep another four orbs I really hope these Gleox drop cool stuff. I'm expecting very powerful fuse gear, but we'll see. But even if they don't, I wouldn't actually be that mad. 
It's been, it was like the most hype fight in the entire game for me yet, even though I didn't like really have a chance yet. I could beat one now if I took like, I farm like a bunch of keys eyes, I get a strong bow. <clears throat> and use attack up uh, gear or like food, but I'd rather save that for later and invest less. Oh, you've got some skill. Your bravery. Re re Ooh, what is it? Okay, okay, I guess there's a, just a bunch of seafood on there. <clears throat> Though I may not look it, I'm a monster hunter of small renown. I spend my days traveling the lands of Hyrule in pursuit of a map. My Marriott, I think you say, of prey. Um, at the request of a fellow named Colton, I'm presently hunting bubble frogs. Yeah, me too. I wonder where he is too. I still have that quest myself. Yeah, exactly. And brought. Uh, I can't wait for that myself. Game is going good. Enjoying myself a lot. Oh, well, here we go. Satori Mountain Cave. That sounds like quite a big location. The bloopy went this way. It... okay. I wonder how big this cave is. Is it just like a maze and we we have to follow the blue bee? Why does it remind me of Fi? I don't want to hurt them. <gasps> Wait, was blue bee on the list? I don't remember actually. I don't think so. I think there's just a blue bee quest in... Uh, Wait, what is this? It's like a head. Is this important? Uh, actually, this does look kind of suspicious. I mean, I feel like this would just be where the Lord of the Mountain ish would be, but nothing too special. I kind of want to stay there for a bit. Because I feel like there's more. I haven't found a frog yet either. Then again, I don't know if there's much more in it. <clears throat> maybe trying to go... Maybe I don't know it yet, and trying to go to the mountain through other means is not possible, but I wouldn't know why. <clears throat> That's funny, Valentine. Yep, I warned you. But obviously, I, I was hoping that people would go there and get interested in it because as much as it's scary, it was also a pretty cool moment to find what was in there. What did I do in there? I uh, go also went in there and beat the enemy that's in there and it just really surprised me. I saw a question mark there. Whoa. Hmm. I feel like there's gotta be more to this, but... 
I'm not sure. Look, looks like there's some horror blinds here. Or it sounds like it. I haven't found a frog. Sauce. Okay, let's check this out first. Silent princesses have become pretty rare in the world. There's still some here. I wonder. If nope. Okay, so this still works. All right, there's a memory there too. Tomatoes are fruits, right? So it's very pretty. I don't even know why I really did this though, because I'm not really cave hunting right now. I just wanted to see him. <clears throat> How many Marys have I seen so far? Four. That's literally why I'm in this area, because I want to go from here to Gerudo Canyon, where the next uh, memory should be. Wait, let me go to the place where we would get durians. In the past. I'm sure people checked there. Wait, is that it? Is it just gun? I'm pretty sure it's just gun. Yeah, I think so. I still... I hear the earth shake again, which I guess means there's a talus nearby. You know what? I don't even want to bother fighting these guys right now. Where is it? Oh, so how do I even get over there? This seems... This used to be so easy. Oh, whoa. There's a cave there now? <gasps> what? That's a big surprise. I I thought. Wait, I need to see that trailer again. Did it? Could you just not see? Because I was always wondering why is that thing still there if the shrines are gone? But there's a cave inside there now. That's so sick. I guess I'll go the slow routes into the canyon. There's a cave down there as well. Oh my god. I do wonder if I get into this cave and go deep into the cave, could I ascend all the way to the top of it? That would save me a lot of time. Oh, that's new. Oh, he died in the water. That's useful. Horrible in guts. Black horrible in horn. 22 fuse power. That was actually pretty nice because he just drowned. The Hudson sign guy. Yeah. Um. I found him like. Probably 20 times by now. Uh, 
<laughs> so technically, this is like kind of the end of the cave. We found a new horrorblin, which is cool. But I was wondering, what if I ascend here now? <laughs> Looking good. I mean, not as high as I wanted to go. But that just shows you the potential of like hundo routing. You go into caves. You go up like that, it's gonna be wild. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's literally like the reason for these platforms, yeah. Save you some climbing time. Mm. I wonder... Like, this sort of thing makes me curious if there's gonna be something like Ascent Plus. Probably not. We'll get, like, more distance. Wait. It's still gonna be snowy here, isn't it? I feel like this looks less snowy than before, but I've already seen this be snowy. I don't want to do too much here, by the way, in this area. I'm mainly coming here for the memory. Okay, yeah. Oops. Does not work. <clears throat> what is the only downfall? What do you mean? This is a legendary spot here where the Katakar shrine used to be. Our most broken shrine. I'm sure a lot has changed. <laughs> Is there not a shrine nearby here? This would be a good vantage point. And what happened to the Yiga hideout, I wonder? Ah, speaking of shrines! <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this chasm I've basically... Oh no, I haven't quite visited this one. I thought this way would be where the mine is where I fought Koga, but it's not... So clever. How many shrines do you think there are? I don't know, but it, probably at least 120 again. With the current pace, I think 120 seems pretty reasonable. But it might be more. I wouldn't be shocked if there was more. I already found one in a cave, like it could be 200. <laughs> And given that we've seen Link, actually, now that I think about it, I think there's more. I think there's more than 124. Because I remember when the drop, the ad dropped, where Link was fighting a Gliok, I think his first row had like 17 or 18 hearts or something. Maybe 150. Oops. Wait, is this is the same thing again. <laughs> is the shrine solvable the same way the uh, other one was? <laughs> what was it called again? The one in uh, Farron. Surely this is possible, right? Okay, this would be possible again to cheese with something like a bomb flower. 
but I want to solve it the real way here. But maybe I'll get the chest this way. By the way, don't underrate bomb floors, they're broken. But I'm sure most people know that by now. <laughs> Almost crazy that they allow you to do this. Is this one? Oh, is this one attached? Those ones can't be can't be removed. Oh, what the hell? I it it. It detached the other parts. Annoying. This doesn't seem to work. Very interesting contraption I'm building here. That is still not enough. Ah, okay, I'm gonna solve it this way though. This is exactly what the developers intended. Well, actually, it might even be. I didn't build it very elegantly. But I can see this kind of working. Ah, come on, Link. You used to love clinging onto random objects. What happened? What? You jumped past. <clears throat> I believe in you, Link. There you go, you still got it. Hmm. Yeah, if you go too fast, he overshoots. If you go too slow, he sl slides back down. I don't know why I was making it so hard for myself. It played the song. It is great. It is great indeed. I just had an interesting thoughts. Again, this might be me having me overanalyzing again, but I realized that all of the, all of the like the boss bokoblins and like the higher levels of the um, bokoblins have essentially tridents as horns, and Ganondorf's weapon also was a trident, as far as we know. I wonder if there's going to be some relation to the actual monsters <clears throat> between the monsters and. Um, the, the depths. How far am I in, in the game right now? It's hard to save with this game, isn't it? Like, I've done a fair amount of stuff, but I haven't done much story. I'll probably say like 15% of stuff I've explored. Between 10 and 15%. Hello? Anyone here? Wow, they changed their door. 
No more shield clips. I might actually have to enter from the other side. Or from underground. Just seeing if there's a light route nearby. What the hell? There isn't a light route nearby. This is like one of the deepest ones. I guess because it starts on a mountain. Uma Mustor. Rotsumamu. It does make sense. This is the whole Bakuga fault, so yeah, that's I already um had that interaction. That's he that he canonically fell into the depths. Back then. Whoa, that looks kind of freaky. Yes, please enjoy, Kira. I guess this is coming together a little bit, but still very far from... It's kind of funny how... It's like... Actually really strange if you think about it. That my overworld exploration is almost mirrored with what I've done underground. Which fits really well with this entire theme. <clears throat> any of you uh, group finding any glitches yet or just exploring? I mean, all of the the usual suspects um, have already found a ton of tech. I've seen a ton of clips from like Alpha or Satogashi. But I'm just playing. And I will continue to do so for at least one or two more weeks. Until I'm satisfied with my casual experience. Oh, I just caught something. Never mind. I thought it was an entrance. It's a lantern. I'll investigate it more. I, I wanted to go to Gerudo as like my last region. The entire reason I'm here right now is... Um, The entire reason I'm even here right now is I want to go to this memory in this area. Well, I don't even know what to call this dragon anymore. At this at this point, my running theory. Has definitely changed about the identity of this dragon. I don't even want to give that away because that's pretty likely true. Yeah, surely that's just a normal traveler there. What's in Koga's hole? Hold up, that sounds wrong. <clears throat> I don't know how clueless I am after I've seen the dragonif draconification cutscene, but I could still be wrong. If I am, if my theory for the identity of the dragon is right, it's actually more disturbing than before looking at the dragon. Especially the hair parts. Yes, enjoy, consumer. Do you know how to unlock the statue in the Forgotten Plateau? Yes. Do you want me to give you a hint or just straight up tell you? Hint would be cool. Explore on... The outside area of the plateau. And not on the plateau. And remember what the statue tells you. Again, I know there's definitely a lot to do here. There's Koroks. 
and stuff. I'm just on my quest to get this tower. And then get the memory. Which should be nearby. Oh, big Talos. At least I think it's nearby. Because that's what I saw in the trailer. But I can't actually see it anywhere. These guys are so much less annoying than I thought they would be. I'm trying to see if I can spot it from here. Once I have the... What is that down there? Is that the Yiga hideout? No, it's not. That's like the biggest... Maddest cousin I've seen yet. Oh my god, I cannot get distracted by this place. There's a shrine on top of Gerudo. Village? Oh god. No, 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 no. I need to... Oh my god! I need to get out of here. This is not on the plan right now. I'm just here for the memory so I can watch them in order. Wait, what? I have to access this one from underground. There's a cave right next to it. Hudson Construction Activity Report. Who would have thought the Skyview Tower could have got snowed in like that? Okay. We're just lucky that the cave we stored our construction materials in was safe. Okay, yeah, nice clue. I'm getting this tower, finding the memory, and then I'm going towards Zora's Domain. This is not on the menu right now. <laughs> Medela's Mental Cave. I'm going to keep a record of my time working on the tower. Oh. Day one, we've arrived at the site and started construction. Unfortunately, the heavy snowstorm started as we started working. The cave is warm and safe. We decided to use it as a base camp. A3, the cave is bigger than any of us could have imagined. We explored inside, following the water downstream. When we were deep in the cave, we heard some hammering. Day 6. The cave continues all the way under the Skyview Tower. The tower is done with a breeze, with Pura's clever design, the skillful prep work by Hudson Construction. All of that legwork kept on site, assembly simple and efficient. That's good to know. So the um, the Hudson team were the ones building the towers. I did not want to make ice shards. I just wanted to steer the boat. How sick are these areas? These are areas we never knew we were gonna get. Like... Ent entire... Um, underwater wards... Like, underground waterfalls. Wait, the Skyview Tower is here. Okay. I see. Uh oh. Please be good enough. It's not good enough.
It's fine, we just need to keep on stacking. This should be good enough. How is this not good enough? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, definitely take detours. And I've been keep I've been taking a bunch of detours. That's for sure. That's so cool. Wait, that's kind of cozy. Anyway, I haven't really listened to this track yet today, so I'm just gonna enjoy myself and go into full immerse mode. I like watching these cutscenes in full immersion. This is like my favorite music in the game. Here we go. Holy shit. I don't even know how many towers I've activated at this point, like most of them, and this still hits just as hard every single time. They've done so well with this. Oh my god! This is like literally the biggest cousin in the game that I've seen so far. That, that gloom cousin down there. Wait. I have an idea. Okay, I don't know if I want to try this. I probably shouldn't. But I kind of want to. But I kind of don't want to at the same time. But in an event, like in, a, in something that our Numa said in the interview, they said there is a dungeon that you can dive into and it triggers an event. And I feel like if there's anywhere where that is, it's literally that opening. So I kind of want to try diving in there. Oh, what the hell? There was a star fragment literally next to me. Oh my god, this is just insane. I'm doing it. Okay, that, it's not, uh, it's not that one, I guess. I mean, if it was an event I really didn't want to do... I... that was still really epic, though. Um, then I could've just... Holy fuck. I've actually been here technically, just underground. But I never got this view. That's absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> Summary of last minutes, we were... We made our way slowly but surely into the canyon here. I haven't really explored, though. 
I'm just here for the memory and I saw it now and that's what I'm doing now and then I'm bouncing off towards Zora's domain. We're going back to that plan. But there's so much to look forward to in the entire desert area and uh, the snow field still and a color we haven't seen and Farron we haven't seen and... <sighs> the one thing that I probably ex pro properly explored today was Hateno. I basically finished up, I feel like, most of Hateno's quest lines. Well, I still have... Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. I wanted to check out the tower first. The tower in the sky has been eluding me the entire time. After the next memory, I will. Because now I should be able to reach it. I've not been in Lurlin. Oh, I, also, I should get this tower from here while I'm here. That's gonna help for exploration later. <laughs> oh my god. I've literally lied on the stream so many times. And in, the, in these streams recently. I'm doing this, guys. Trust. And then... Never mind. Oh my god. The entire... That looks much more dire than I remember in the trailers. The sand is so high. It's probably up here, right? That looks like the tier we're looking for. Also, just warning you. These are the major plot elements of the game. If you're mostly watching... Um, or even if you're watching in the back, because it's going to be voice acting. Uh, just warning you that that's what we are about to look at. <laughs> I've been very excited to find these. Last time we saw this, we saw heavy hints towards the Triforce and Ganondorf attacking the Great Plateau. That was the last one I saw. Ganondorf leading an attack on the Great Plateau and Rarus, uh, Zonya and Zelda defending it with what seemed like the power of wisdom and courage, but... Ganondorf was some doing, saying something like, power alone is not enough. Allow me to offer you my deepest apologies. On behalf of the Gerudo, for taking so long to accept your repeated invitation. It was so obvious. It is our desire that it was a to arc be accepted like this. into the protective embrace of your kingdom. But he betrayed them, right? To serve it faithfully. Is he lying? Is he faking? A welcome appeal, Ganondorf. I will accept your vow of fealty to the kingdom of Hyrule. I understand that a single male is born to the Gerudo every 100 years. Receiving such an appeal from you, a hero to his people and a king by birth. Well, it is truly reassuring. But surely Raru sees through this, right? This would be... It is my honor. It doesn't seem that dumb. When your Zonai ancestors first descended upon these lands long, long ago, they must have seemed to be gods. And now you rule as king. And have taken a Hyrulean woman as your wife. <laughs> your majesty has certainly risen well, above your admirable lineage. <laughs> Most impressive. <laughs> it is unfortunate that the noble Zonai no longer grace this world with their presence. All except you and your sister, that is. Mineral, right? Even if something were to happen to me, both my kingdom and the peace it brings, these will endure for generations to come. <laughs> your actions today are appreciated, Ganondorf. I look forward to your future endeavors. You may leave. Your Majesty. <laughs> Maybe. Intense. That smirk that he has going the entire time is crazy. Okay. King Roru. The... I believe that man's heart holds many dark ambitions. What do you mean? You literally saw him like rise it's up, his no? His name. Even that. It gives me pause. I am well aware of his evil nature. Right. For that reason, and others, I want him close. It will be easier to keep an eye on him. 
There is nothing to worry about. Okay. That seems a bit out of order, though. Because the last memory I watched, she was already attacking them. But then they, like, talked things over? Or did they not know that Gana was behind that attack? Wait, I don't know if this happened before. Okay, I guess it did. <clears throat> no, it is technically the next one. The Garuda chief Ganondorf, in his push to conquer Hyrule, uses the Swarm of Malur to assault the castle. When Raru uses his powers to unleash an attack that destroys the swarm, Ganondorf notices the Zonai secret stone of Raru's right hand. Invited before the, co oh, the court of Hyrule, okay, right. Ganondorf kneels before King Raru and pledges his fealty while concealing a smile that says otherwise. So Zelda is uneasy. What I'm confused about is like Zelda literally is like as if she's that dumb. <laughs> like he basically saw this man rise up and send her there. He doesn't look that different. I'll explain the outfit in a second. And then what I what I just realized is like so Raru descended from the skies to the surface. And I'm assuming Ganondorf, I don't know if the backstory is that he, like, ascended from the the depths to the surface. There's kind of like this trinity, which, I mean, speaking of the Triforce, seems to be pretty apparent here. I wonder where that's gonna go. I don't know how many there are in to total, actually. I could technically count them in the photo I took. I think... What is that over there? Is that a Gleok or is that Kilton? It's Kilton. <laughs> and the mask I'm wearing is from the glider set. There's some challenges in the world where you... Oh my god, that guy just got rolled. There's challenges in the world where you... Have to do skydiving and you get it as a reward. Oh man, she, me she messed up my combo. Oh my god, this guy is getting bullied. It would be a world to pu easily put DLC in, but I don't think we really need to worry about that now. What did this guy carry? Oh, a book open with a backpack. Hello, am I getting any rewards? Oh, she was talking about the geoglyph I just got. Another cherry blossom tree here. I wish, honestly, they would be on the map. I wish there was, would be a marker for those on the map. But maybe at one point the map would get too full. Somebody's cooking out there. Another big uh, cousin over there. A shrine down here. Tons of shrines again in Gerudo. I'm assuming Kilton's gonna be only be active at night again. Which uh, means I'm probably gonna miss him. Because I don't really know what he actually does. I know what his brother do does. Oh, they're all ice lizalfos. I thought those would, uh, those would actually be silver ones. Melissa, thank you for the, uh, the prime sub. Oh no, it was tier one. I appreciate it. Not even close, baby. Is this gonna be just an easy to activate tower for once? Wow, these have been becoming rare.
Can you not attach that there? There's a guy down there. Okay, that's definitely not enough. All of the music around the towers is just perfect. The one when you're nearby, the, the ones when you're nearby, the ones when... Um... Uh-oh. Get over here, man. Mm. Repair the tower for me. Oh. Are you the one who got the elevator working? I came to fix the terminal in the Skyview Tower, but it's stuck below. Anyway, I get to repairing the tower right away. Listen, I said I was going to get this tower as a, to make exploration easier. And now I actually also kind of want to make it night. To... Um, actually, if we go by fuse point to the very bottom, it should work too. I want to make it night to see what Kilton does in this game. I don't even know what he does. He's one of Bolton workers, yeah. They built the uh, the towers, the Skyview towers. What's they doing? Here we go again. My god. So sick. The sun. Now what's this gonna be like? Yeah, I'm so scared of the mazes, I cannot tell you. Like, I thought they would be double layered. But ever since I saw that there's gloom inside them, I'm pretty sure they're triple layered and I'm scared to go in there. Um, but I would eventually do it. God, there's so many shrines to do. My god. Wait, oh, okay, is over there. I sometimes forget that I have this ability. Oh wait, okay. oh wait, right, he took the shop. Colton took the shop. And Kilton went where again? To Terrytown, right? Greetings and good mentions, I trade treasure for bubble gems. Um, yes. Yeah, yeah, I have a bunch of them. That mystic clothing there is all yours. I like that color. If you bring me lots of bubble gems. Yeah, sure. I have bubble gems. That's right. I have two. For the moblin mask, sure. Good morning, man. Is he going to leave afterwards, though? Because I would like... Um, <clears throat> I would really like it if he did, wouldn't leave and I can trade in more because I still have a bunch of them left. Ever since I ate that first bubble gem, I've been able to sense the presence of bubble frogs, so not all of them. For you, I can put my bubble frog feeders to work and seek out places they're likely to be found. Of course, if you happen to have remaining bubble gems, I'll happily trade them. Wait, what does that mean? But I already have an option to find caves. 
Around the bottom of the east of the canyon. Oh, okay. That's kind of useless then. <laughs> if we have the trees. I did not want these fingernails. But I need to progress this at some point. Yeah, this is not killing. This is Colton. <gasps> How much do I need for this? This is an interesting one. Three? Here, here you go. I want the mask though. The color is sick. The mystic robe. Okay, actually looks kind of shit. <laughs> Never mind. Fire keys eyeball. Sure. I'm just trading in my gems. They're pretty good though. Eight fuse power and their homing capabilities. They might be good against... Maybe they're good against the ice Cleox. But I am not sure. When are you gonna sell the mask? Uh, the, the what is it called? Mystic mask? Probably now when I don't have enough anymore. Ah, uh, okay, no. I don't even have three more gems. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this one. It's all right, I guess. No tuning of the depths. Okay. Um. Is that not a stable anymore? No, it still is. Let's get this here as a warp, and then we go to the Great Sky Island and try to reach that tower. And then from there, Soros Domain is quite close. Tura Kamik. Not gonna go in here yet. We will head to this point. Probably this. The shrine is probably better. The nacho shrine. Wait, I don't actually know if that's the best point to reach the tower. We're still quite far away. The, the mushroom head is uh, an interesting one, yeah. Wait, on the map... The thing is, this seems further away. But it literally had flying machines, like long range flying machines ready to ready, readily built. Should have probably upgraded my battery as well, which I could have done a long time ago. There's always so much to do. Okay. Let's see how close we can get. That's basically the goal. But we... Try and get to the tower first. I don't know how much battery these consume. Probably quite a bit actually, with four. With four fans. Yeah. And I don't think I have much battery power in zone I charge form. Not really. Like, this is where I want to get, where I want to go. This building has been eluding me for so long. But... 
I wonder if I even should. Because it really seems like they put it in a place where it's not easy to reach. As if though there's like some secret to learn in there. But I want to know what's in there. While I'm here, I might as well grow my pockets. Whoa! They've been uh, getting new stock here. They, they've made, they made an extension. Cool. There's a shop here, huh? <clears throat> yep. Um, actually, I want some more shields. This is the first time that, that shields actually seem more... Like, more shield slots seem usable. Because you can have different things fused to them. More than before. This also makes me think about the fact, I think, in my head, which I know is going to change, after going to Zora's Domain, I would like to head to... I would like to head to Korok Forest before going to Elden. But what is the next memory? The next one is the one at Lumni Plateau. I can actually reach that one really easily. And then Lurlin. Oh, don't skip. Oh, my bad. The next dungeon is gonna be in Zora's Domain. Is that the battery guy over there? I think so. Should be able to do two at once. Oh! Nice. You offered me to just make two right away. Thank you very much. Now, how much zonite did I have? I want to see which zonite wouldn't be in this inventory. Oh, not much. <clears throat> but instead in the key items. I was need to order some food soon. I wonder what I should get. Nacho, yeah, yeah, maybe some nachos. What is this? What did this guy want again? Oh, you can do the same thing here. Right. Wait, wrong direction. Definitely get the sky level set, and this is gonna be a journey and a half. I probably also will need all of my stamina food. Oh, 
Oh no, I should build on here. Yep. I only have one steering stick. It's kind of overwhelming. Alright, let's hope this goes well. I should have. Oh, I could, should have probably pulled batteries. Uh, man, I'm actually running out of resources for once. It's it's not easy to get there. It's just in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I haven't figured out what the intended way is. I have nothing, right? No charges. I don't even know if I should try this from here. But this is the closest way to do it. Oh man, this is gonna be just as close again, isn't it? I have stamina foods. Uh, I don't think so. The stone glider basically falls straight down. I'm heading to this tower. I wanted to go to this weird tower ever since the previews because it always looked strange. And it seems so un so strangely hard to reach. Oh, the wing? Yeah, true, true, you're right. It seemed like it was falling down, but I remember from the... Um you are right. I remember from the great Sky Island, where you first use it, you don't use any power. There's a tower where the three, is this where the three giants used to be? Kind of. Wait, where is this on top of? I guess kind of a Fort Hateno? Was? What is this place? I was like how I can just go to the top. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's just a Korog. But I take it. <laughs> that you can still do that is kind of cruel, but kind of funny. Is this place related to Koroks? I 
I mean, this is just a good place to hide them, I guess. Yeah, true. You can do much worse things to Koroks. I already see another Korok ring on there, though. I think the official entrance is like this way. Oh yeah, there's a ring, like a hand ring. Oh my god. What is this? Is that lava? There's a shrine in there. What is this place? It's gonna get the wind? Yeah. Huh? Zonite Forge Island. Okay, now all of these are on. Yo, what's up, Elias? How are you doing? Wait, but this just takes me to the top, no? Where I just was. Unless I missed another entrance. Oh, right, there, true. Oh, I think I know what this is. I know what this is. It took me until seeing this ring to realize where this, what this is. We've seen this place. We've seen this place in trailers. Yep. So close. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. That was certainly something. Shrine. Surely this will be the best uh, gacha machine in the game then. When it gives you only rockets. Yeah, the sci-fi rod is really good. Wow, a time bomb. Is there not more to it? I feel like if this is just like this laser thing and one shrine, it's kind of disappointing. It's really cool, but this building was so elusive. Yeah, rockets are insanely useful. Uh, I made the sapphire rod with the magic rods as a baseline and then put a sapphire on top of it. Oh no, there's more to it.
Whoa! What? Um. Okay. I see. Well, it's not the shrine, but it's actually kind of good that I'm learning this now. Because I was gonna go to Zora's Domain next, which is where we already know that this seems to be like a thing there. <laughs> this feels so fun. Yeah, it's a bit hard control to control so far. They didn't give me a bow this time. I really hope this gives a good reward though. What's this? A fan. But isn't a fan useless here? Well, it's like useful and useless. I don't even know what happens with this. Oh, it actually adds damage. That is so weird. They made like an entire new physics, like entirely new physics for this. Why do I have why do you have low gravity? This is uh, like the gimmick of the shrine. So weird. No, give me this. Captain Two Blade, Monka. I don't know if I've seen a Captain Two. I've never even used this. What does this guy have on his weapon? Is that also a captain? It looks longer than the one... Yeah, this is a Captain One Blade, okay. Oh wait, there's these stones! Is that what make what's making it? Are these other Zona devices that basically create low gravity environments? I've not been to Terry Town, no. I don't have a PB yet, indeed. Oh, this would be something. Wait, what? I mean, I can just... Is there not another rocket? down here oh I'm glad that I saw this guy anyway oh please give me an arrow then it's easy do I have arrows no oh this this would be insane wait what Wait, what? 
I supposed to go through that then? This is kind of crazy. Not quite. Huh? It didn't let me open a glider because the cutscene ended. Oh my god, my heart. That would have been extremely sad. You're shitting me. I thought this was gonna be like the tunic of legends. For everything I've done here. So far I'm enjoying this game more than my first Breath of the Wild playthrough, yeah. I did all of this for one large Zonite? Man, the underground is broken then. You get so much good stuff there compared to here. <clears throat> Bomb flowers are so rare, yeah, they are also really good. <clears throat> I think rockets are even better though. Like I know people talk about the shield jump with the bomb attached, but I think rockets are basically the best item. That I like overall that I've encountered so far. And their versatility. <clears throat> Any extra rewards now? Okay, now the door is open. Oh wow, that felt weird. I got so used to the low gravity. So this is like a giant pot. This is like, you know when you like jump on a trampoline? And then you jump on normal ground for the first time again? And it feels like like it's pulling you down extra hard and like weird, that's how that feels. Is this where the tr real treasure was all along? I need to ascend into there, but how? Spike metal ball too, right? Aha! Uh -huh. It was worth it after all. How mean is that? How is that? That's so mean. Like they make you think you did all of this for one large zonite. Of course, there had to be more. A waste guard made from zonite. While wearing it. You'll reap the benefit of its imbued magic and improve the efficiency of Zonai devices. Yo, actually clean. I don't know about the headpiece, but... This is actually pretty sick. Like the necklace? Damn. Wait. 
Oh my god. Yeah, now I really need to figure out how to not wear the hood. Because that's actually pretty sick. Is there more? There's no. Unless there is. No. Unless there is. No. Um. Uh, I'll take this. You want to know how to have the hood down? Um, I, I thought I knew it. Did, what, people told me it's related to Hateno, right? Did I just not figure it out? I feel like I did everything at Hateno. It's like the whole reason I came there. Um, yeah, actually, feel free to let me know. Unless it's related to a story spoiler, where that is. Because I feel like that's the sort of thing I would look up by now. This is the first time I'm actually asking for it. <clears throat> you just need to talk to say to with the hood on. That's literally it. Oh, okay. That's kind of hidden. I'm actually glad you told me then. I needed to go <laughs> here anyway because Robbie's at the tech lab. Um, yeah, yeah, Zona. I, I mean, Zora's the main soon. What's different in this game? If you play it, you'll realize basically everything. But also not, like, it's not entirely different, but, like, if you like Breath of the Wild, this is, like, your dream game. Also, I really want to go to Hyrule Castle to see the secret hidden tunic or whatever. Oh, she's here now studying fashion. Welcome to Artino Village Premier Boutique, Ventus Clothing. You really came to visit. Thanks again for helping my family back in Kakariko Village. You wouldn't believe who I've been studying fashion under, Cesar herself. She asked me to help around the shops. I'm trying to bring in new customers. Have you gotten rid of a piece of clothing? Yeah, 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 I know this. She resells some Good job, Leslie. You made it. While that is a dashing hood, it might be better to show your face here. Okay, that's so hidden. Damn. Damn. This is like Link the Zonai super superhero. Actually clean. Is it different in the menu? Yes. Um, how does it read again? You reap the benefit of its imbued magic, improve the efficiency of Zonai devices. I don't think that works with the rocket, right? Like, it would be crazy if you can, if the rockets last longer with the sun. Where did I get that from? Um, the hoods, obviously from like basically the starting area, but the Zonite gear from this place, the Forge Island. Yeah, it should make the battery go down slower. Yeah, that's what I think. How does this look in combo with this? Pretty cool too. I like that a lot actually. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this, though. It's also four armor. I'll actually go with this for now. I've been, I didn't see it. It's not from the shrine. It's hidden next to the shrine. You have to ascend in a specific, like, hidden room. Pip. Pip. Okay, it's time for some story. Maybe, <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this intentional, 
But... The Illumini Plateau um, <clears throat> thing is right there. <clears throat> yeah, I stop crying. Treppenkumpel is crying for no reason. It's all good. The game doesn't run away. We'll be playing this game for, I don't know if you're aware, like six years. <clears throat> da, da. The, the, what just happened? Wait, what just happened? What just happened? Hello? What was that? Why did you like zoom, zoom? Was it related to the shrine above me? Huh? Oh, did I briefly touch low gravity? Oh, possibly, because it had the blue particle effects. I guess there's one of those challenge islands up there. <clears throat> what is the glyph that I see in the back there? I think I did this one. Yeah, that was the second one. It's crazy, like somebody found this shrine down there in one of the gameplay shots by basically just looking at like a little green pixel and they were right. There really is a shrine there. There's another one there. There's another one there. I'm honestly more inclined to think there's a one, at least 150 at this point. Because I've already found so many, but I haven't been in that many places. Okay, there's so many tiers here. How do I know? Oh, this one, because it's the filled out one. Okay, yeah, this indeed looks clean. Alright, I'm assuming this is going to be about Zonya. Where's this? Okay. What kind of weird flex is this? Are you well? You seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. Right. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. The secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was, how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. Mm. The object's memory. I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. She literally has a Triforce drawn on her hand, I just realized. You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But... You also desperately want to help us out in this era. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? 
Hmm, I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonia. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. This area looks so good. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. Queen Sonia! And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. <laughs> what the hell? Right. He had been originally appointed for my protection. They were going in with the fan service. Later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated. And he refuses to back down from any challenge. <sighs> he is very strong. <laughs> and his heart is good and true. True. Ah. Uh. I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Uh-huh. Indeed. I would also <laughs> like to meet him. He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. Holy. What a picture Zelda paints of him. <laughs> it, looks, it looks indeed like Dueling Peaks is one mountain. Holy. The shippers are popping off on this one. But interesting, so she basically got obsessed with also helping out in this time. So she kind of got, it seems like she kind of literally got lost in time. And then, at least what I'm thinking now is that she ended up choosing the Draconification or whatever to arrive in this time. But in the process, losing herself. Which is why I decided that it's running around here is like weird. Oh. This dude. Look at this dude. This Edison guy. Look, I saved you again. <clears throat> you can let go, man. I hate this guy, not gonna lie. The thing is, this isn't even a side quest for me yet. For me, I'm just meeting this guy everywhere, hoping that it will eventually become a side quest. And be worth my while. I mean, this should work, no? If your sign doesn't suck. What did I want me to do here? Put the hook in there? But the hook is like... It wouldn't be... That wouldn't work. Unless we literally hook the sign. Do the signs all point to Terrytown? I don't know where they're pointing. Like some of them seem so random. It's just about being, being creative. You don't actually have to find the intended solution. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it does always make for some fun moments though. Oops. 
I will admit, I'll give that to him. Yeah, that's why after this I definitely want to do... Um, I'm not going to watch the next light, the next glyph for some time. It's not going to count, is it? Because I need to do... I want to do the next dungeon. Okay, here we go. Hello? It, it does seem like it's like made in a way where it's harder for the sign to... Okay, watch this. I know it's like the most complicated solution, but at this point it at least has to work, you know, that's a good thing. It's standing basically, Edison. Yep, that counts, that counts. I don't care. Wait, what should I get for foods? I don't know. I want something that doesn't take that long to eat. Yeah, maybe Borgir. The pizza takes too long to eat. Like, you have to, like, eat the slice. I want, like, a burger that I can eat in, like, two minutes. Yeah, Burrito would be good if there was any good place that delivers that here. If I could get good rice balls like that, I would definitely go for those. But I highly doubt it's... Tura Kavak. Yeah, kebab is okay too. That's normally always pretty high on my list. This is literally Vago Kata. Oh. <laughs> if anyone remembers the shrine from Breath of the Wilds. No, there's stars in the game and they're more fun than ever. They're incredibly fun. I highly recommend you to check out the towers. Okay. Wait, couldn't I have used a scent the entire time? I'm gonna make another one of those now. See, this is how I do it. Find a sapphire. You can probably sort by fuse power. Didn't I find sapphires? Oh, the fuse power is actually really low. Magic rods. Fuse. And if you do the throw aim, you do like an AOE freeze cloud, which is incredibly powerful.
How do you remember all the shrine names? You mean in this game? We'll see. We will see how that will go. It's not gonna be easy. No, Breath of the Wild, I'm just doing them a bunch of times. These shrine names seem harder, though. They seem harder to learn and to say. Yeah, cheese is huge. Do you think you're gonna do all shrines once? That's likely my most, that's the category I'm currently most interested in. But um, we'll see. I think the next geoglyph is technically, yeah, I might not do the next geoglyph for like a qu quite a long time. Because I think the next one is technically the, the pirate dagger. Yeah. But I don't have really any plans for Lurlin. My plan was to go to Zora's Domain, Korok Forest, Elden, and maybe then? But now we actually go to Zora's Domain. Um, I guess this tower is the closest? But the Nehru Tower is higher. Yeah, I saw Gymnas is already <laughs> streaming any percent, but pl uh, I mean, I, I, somebody spoiled the time for me already. Um, which was actually a positive surprise to hear, but um, I don't know. Who knows what the future holds? Wait, this is so weird. Like, look at my armor, but I still have double cold resist. And it actually looks kind of cool as well. I I am considering to speedrun the game glitchless even once we find glitches. There's so much fun stuff you can do in this game to go fast without glitches. It's kind of wild. Oh wait, I need this set down though for here. <sighs> like people always ask me why do I not do glitchless runs in Breath of the Wild? It's because they were boring, right? But in this game, they're not going to be boring. In this game, Glitch the Speedrun is actually going to be pretty hype. Ah, uh, I would like to make it... Ah, uh, I should have went to Elden. Shit. I can still change my mind. That's going to allow me to reach the tower at Zora's Domain easier. Well, I would like to hear the actual... I would like to... Um, I think I want to play the German version at one point. To figure out... Um, because usually they translation, they, they translate closer to what the Japanese... What? I didn't do the shrine even though I was just chilling there? Their translation is usually closer to what the... Um, what Japanese would sound like. Also, what is this? There's like mono rails. Yeah, I'm not doing the shrine, I'm just activating it. And then jumping into the domain. Oh, 
Cardona. Over here. It looks like Gus gains a little height. I haven't paid attention to it too closely, but it seems really nice for traveling far. Maybe. We definitely don't lose it. Maybe it just seems that way because normally you constantly lose height. Also, what is this? What the hell? I just realized I haven't even been a color citadel. There's a shrine on there now. I love that. You can scope in the air, yeah. Here it is. The sludge dropping. Ugh! Dude, it's so crazy how much of this game reveals once you actually get close. What the hell? It's like literally like a sludge. Like swamp. Mud hole. Oh, I cannot wait to hear the music here. I cannot wait to hear the music here in this entire uh, in this entire sp spot. Like the music. Oh my god, I love this game so much. I'm so happy that we all get to experience this together. Like I feel like I'm already nostalgic for the dungeon I did yesterday. The entire like set piece of jumping up there with the music, and I still have three more to go. This is our main right here. Oh, it's one of those again. It's kind of weird how the towers... Oh. Oh. This is the... I want to try the one thing that we were, like, theorizing at the start. That's what water arrows are good for. When we first tried the choo-choo jellies, that was the theory. I was wondering, why do you get so many opals? Why? What do you do choo-choos for? What do you need choo-choos for? Why do you, don't you just change them to other elements? That's why I tried the water on the Thunder Gliok earlier, because... Oh god! Oh no! You... You saved me! Thank you! How shameful that this should happen to me. Captain of the guard at Zora's domain. Unbelievable. Uh. After the people that filth... Oh god, that's gonna be hard for me to say. Suddenly began falling from the sky. Can we call it like mud instead? So it's not hard for me to say. It sullied the waters around here and in Zora's domain. Everyone is at their wits end because of it. That is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself. To think I would fall prey to falling sludge. I'm just going to call it sludge. That's easier to say. Um, myself. Just thinking of it makes my scales bristle. Oh. My my gilts? Or is it gilts? Um, still feels so unclean. Is that goop we saw in the trailers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one... That's up on the water temple, I guess. It's dropping literally. You can literally see it drop down. You could already see that in the... It's guilds, okay. If you had not sprayed me with water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Um, please take this Zora spear. Oh, as a token of my thanks. I'm sorry that it's not much, but it's all I have. Wait. Wait. Oh my god. Okay. I just got even more excited for this area. The Great Eagle Bow we can eventually get, right, from Teba. 
the weapon in this area used to be pretty bad. It was like a 26 damage spear, right? The trident. But now that we can fuse stuff to that, it's actually sick. We can make like a 50, 60 damage spear. <clears throat> With the right attachment. Decayed like all the other weapons at the time of the upheaval. But well, it is not unusable at least. Oh god, that looks sad. Muck. Mired in muck. Is that what it's called? What is it called? Muck? Sludge? Filth? I, now I'm actually ex more excited than ever for the silver scale trident if we can get it. Read what the spear says about the attack. It's a high attack, but it gets wet? But this doesn't mean... This just means rain, right? Surely. Oh, God! Wait, does this do damage? Not to me. Yeah, okay, so there's a water attack boost. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I'm almost done with all of the towers. I need to enjoy these cutscenes while they can still happen. Oh, this is gonna be a really good vista. Whoa. Wait, I've never been in one of those orbs, actually, now that I think of it. There's so much going on here. like really disgusting color it's going all the way down the stream yeah it's not it wait there's one thing in the sky that kind of looks like a fish you smacked into that orb so many times well you wouldn't mind if i take one more detour because I have not been in a single one of these. I just have no idea how to get in. Eventually, yeah. No, <laughs> there's shrines in these? That is wild. And I've already seen... I've already seen at least there's the sun. I've already seen at least three of them. So I saw in the trailer Link was moving this. Does the other side actually have a moon? I think it does. The duality with sun and moon. Light and dark. And are those like constellations of the stars? Yeah, because it's day and night. Hmm. Is there more to this puzzle or not? I don't know, but it's down there. Is that a chest? It is a chest. Wait, I can move the opening in such a way that it actually enters me into the second part, right? Or not? Or does it also depend on the time of day? Yeah, I mean, now it's kind of there. I just didn't know if you could make it through or not. 
Okay, you can. I still don't know. This is only the second one I've found, and I still don't know what they're for. Don't try and leave, by the way. Okay, I'm, I'm getting this, but I won't be doing this. I, I, I'll have more time to do shrines later. For now, I'm just activating them. I actually want to head in here now. So sick. Whoa. It's literally raining sludge. Whoa. That sounds pretty magical. Mogavak Shrine. Again, another one I'm telling I'm once I'm done with this, I'm doing some shrine cleanup and trying to get Link a little bit stronger. Yeah, the music is like this weird minor version. Like minor key change version of Zora's Domain. It's like very disturbing. Very cool though. Second, please do not worry about me. You must look after the others. I can, I can take it. This little taste of sludge is nothing to me. Ugh. We were not too late. The splash fruit that Lady Yona gave, that's a nice name, uh, gave us has done its job. Tokita, we are near to the infirmary. Stay strong. They are literally dying. Wait, did they lose their color as well? Some of them seem to lost to, to have lo lost or changed their color. Is that Lady Yona? No shot. They made a Manta. So uh, Zora, where is she from? Oh, is, is it Chroma? Wait, no, this is Chroma. Wait, and she has a moon. There, or not? Maybe this is uh, interesting. Everyone has been treated now, but we have used up all of the splash fruit. Mm. The more... There were more injuries than I anticipated. Please accept my apology. Oh. You have nothing... They hit her name for now, so she's gonna get introduced. You have nothing to apologize for. You did what had to be done. Most importantly, I'm grateful that everyone is alright. Now, if we could only do something about that statue. Hmm? hmm? You there. Are you a traveler? I'm sorry that I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Zora's domain is in troubled times at present due to the sludge falling from the sky. Mm. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in sludge. Such a shame, as this particular st statue is so incredibly important to the Zora of the domain. Mm. Is this... Wait, this is weird though. Is this the Mifa statue? It looks like slightly different. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. 
I apologize that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself at home here. The more I see these sort of things, the more I'm questioning whether the events of Breath of the Wild happened in this current time, in this universe, the way they did. Like, maybe they did, and they did all of these changes to make it easier for players to get into the game, if this was their first game. But why, when Simon was talking in that lesson about the calamity, he didn't say that we were literally the hero that saved the world. Where did the guardians go? The shrines? The towers? I feel like at this point I'm just accepting these questions as simply as saying... They did this so people could get into the game. Uh, uh, huh. What is... Okay, why does she not... Oh, I, I can do that now. Why is she not showing me... Why is it not showing me the name? I have splash fruit, I think, yeah. Wait, is that Mifa? Did they change the statue? But this doesn't make sense. The side of a kid? I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Oh, is it Link in Zora armor? Oh. But why would I replace the Mifa statue? What is going on? I don't get it. Ah. It is Link. It is Link. Whoa. The sludge. I see you managed to wash it away. <laughs> That statue is a symbol of us for the Zora. It's very precious to us. Thank you so much for cleaning it up. Yes. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved the cherished domain in the past. <laughs> okay. That is right. Beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link. The heroic Hylian swordsman. And hello, do you see? Oh. It is simply wonderful, is it not? How I would love to meet him someday. Say, you have a similar statue to the Hylian hero, similar eyes as well. Oh my, you are also a Hylian. And a swordsman. Wait, could it be? Okay, thank god. Ah! Are you Link? The swordsman of legend? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Uh... Oh, uh, please accept my apology. Yes. Please pardon our rudeness. Whoa. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman Sir Link. I have heard mentions of you ne yearly every day. That's gonna be... it's gotta be Yona, right? Um, since I first arrived at this domain. Oh yeah, true, Muzu was a Manta, but she's like a different man different type of Manta. I'm Prince Sidon's... Oh, forgive me, I'm your best friend's fiancé? Wait, I, I, I thought, does Sidon have a kid? I was like, no. But now he has a fiancé? My name is Yona. I'm truly honored to have the opportunity. Dude, people are gonna be crushed by this. You know how many you know how many people love Sidon? Here's a fiance, GG. Caretaker of the Zora. I had heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? This is an outrage, <laughs> exactly. To think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle and now you are traveling the kingdom to investigate. Mm. Yeah, the, the Zelling shipping in this game is absolutely wild. So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain. Sure. In that case, feel free to investigate this area around the domain as thoroughly as you see fit. Oh, I have a lovely idea. <laughs> if you do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I'm certain that he would be delighted to see you. Sidon can be found at Mifa Court. Uh, court. Okay. I was gonna say, they like erase her from history? Like, what's going on? Located at the peak of Polymus Mountain. Oh. What's going up on up there? Are we finally gonna meet a Lionel, maybe, P please? Oh. 
Lady Yona, it's time. I've, how did I... Okay, I mean, this game is just so big. But I still haven't seen a single Lionel. But I've seen like four Gleogs at this point. <clears throat> it is time. I fear we must be going now. Forgive me, Sir Link. But I must be on my way. But if it pleases you. After you have met with Sidon, perhaps you could visit me at the infirmary on the floor above. I'm determined to be of assistance to you as best as I can, Sir Link. Yona and Sidon, the sludge-covered statue. Yeah, I guess... Um, also, I really hope... Uh, I guess that's not gonna be the case. I feel like it would be weird if they gave Lionel a big health bar now. Because I always thought the entire reason they didn't give Lionel a big health bar is because they wanted players to be like... They wanted players to be... Shocked. When they find them. The king is not there. That scared me in Rito Village as well, but Kanedi was just somewhere else instead. Okay, I'm just taking the tower. <clears throat> yeah, I know Lion is in a game, uh, but I don't know if they're gonna have a big health bar. It wouldn't make sense in my opinion. I don't know if there's going to be a reward again for doing all of the mini-bosses, so they don't want players... But the Gleox seem like just as hard, if not harder. But then again, I need to fight a Lionel. I already have... I already kind of like figured out probably what makes them harder. We talked in my Discord about the fact that in the trailer it looks like they have shields fused to their heads. And if that means you can't stun them, then they are actually difficult. <clears throat> nah, is this, is this thing ahead another? No, this is just where you're supposed to put a wing. I'm actually getting scared more and more by how many shrines potentially there could be. And it's also making me even more excited to, ru to run all shrines. Because the more I play this game, the more intimidating 100% becomes and the more fun all shrines potentially becomes. I just have to see what the rules that will be like. Oh, nice. More treasure. <clears throat> I have no idea how many Koroks there are either, yeah. Wait, did I activate the shrine in the domain itself? Okay, yeah. Whoa, there's new structures there. Maybe built from in Mifa's honor? The thing of making you cut every blade of grass, Hondo, thank gods. I was actually getting tilted that that wasn't the game yet, in the rule set yet. Oh, so the Mifa statue is here instead. That's cool. At Mifa Court. Wait, that is such a cool location. Bro. This place is insane. Look at this! What the hell? I don't know if I got lucky to get you at the perfect time, but...
Holy shit. That's so beautiful. Hello, Mr. Sidon. Um, let me actually activate the shrine real quick. Ie... Ie... Na... Oh. Do you feel like gliding is fast in this game or maybe more responsive? Mm, it's felt pretty good, but I haven't noticed a big difference. I feel like I barely even glide. I feel like I mostly dive or use the, the wind power, which that of course makes a difference. Actually, I can kind of see what you mean of going left and right during those situations. Who's this? Gaddison. Shh, keep it down. The prince requires absolute quiet to concentrate on his important work. No. Wait, Link? You came here to see Prince Sidon? Well, since it's you, there should be no problem at all. I'm sure Prince Sidon would be thrilled to see you. Okay. Mastering the waters. Dude, this place is unreal. I mean, it's probably gonna be even better once the sludge is gone. But this is, yeah, this is definitely my favorite place in the game so far. What the fuck? How is this even on the switch? How do we get this versus Pokemon like Violet? Here it comes. <clears throat> is it really you? It is. <sighs> nah. It's good to see you, my friend. They can't cook up the music like this. <laughs> Link. It's been far too long. I received word that you had gone missing. It was bes the sludge in the bag. And was beside myself with concern. Does he sound different? I feel like I didn't know his voice too well. This voice that he just had did not sound super familiar. Um, whatever could have transpired. No! <laughs> to think something like that could have be taken place beneath Haru Castle. And after what? You mysteriously awoke on a, on a sky island? Hmm. The sky. Could it be that the sky is the key to everything after all? Hmm. My apologies. I have actually been wondering if those floating sky islands could be the sewers of the falling sludge. That is why... What do you mean, wondering? <laughs> that is why I've asked uh, Tars, a Zora historian, with investigating rune fragments and all historical documents related to the sky. Hmm. As for me, I'm not, a liber I'm not at liberty to leave the spot at present, as I'm uniquely qualified to deal with the sludge here. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zora's domain. Okay. That is why that hasn't existed before, but sure. Uh, when will you update the water? I did. Today. That is why I must use my power- and then every day, basically, like again tomorrow. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. If I cease, then the solid water will flow into the, our beloved home. There will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here no matter what. Hmm. Say, Link, does it not seem that Princess Zelda's whereabouts might be related to the floating skylands and the ruins? Hmm. If so, perhaps you should go and speak with our historian, Giato. I think that's the guy that you show the uh, 10 texts from the rest domain. His many years have blessed him with great wisdom. It is quite possible that he could provide you with some useful information. At present, you should be able to find Giato continuing his investigation at Toto Lake. Mm -hmm. By the way, I hope you know that I am truly happy to see you again after such a long time apart, my dearest friend. Visit me anytime you like. Your presence is never anything less than welcoming and appreciated. Sidon of the Zora. 
Toto Lake. It's over here. Yeah, the artwork in the adventure looks great. I wonder if the sludge can like hit enemies. Or me. Don't mind if I do. These guys have pretty good weapons for me to get. Uh, the horns, I mean, especially. I have some bad weapons to drop. I guess I've been using them as hammers. What do you think of menus? I'm getting more used to them now. But obviously, them loading really slowly is a little bit infuriating. But I'm getting used to it slowly. Yeah, I, I, again, them loading slow on um, is a little bit annoying. <laughs> this is a real trident now, yeah. And the thing is, like, dropping out of quick menu is not even that great. Like, I feel like finding an item like this feels faster most of the time. But where am I even... Oh, I'm almost there. Oh. There's indeed an interesting monument there. I'm assuming I have to clean it. I will never understand the ways of historians. Can he not conduct the investigation more cautiously? What the fuck? I think this is the closest I've been to Death Mountain too. Um, yeah, exactly. I agree. Oh dear, I certainly hope that you did not overhear me. Grumbling to myself like that. It's not as it sounds, really. Uh. Giato keeps interacting with dangerous things. When I object, he insists it's necessary for his research. That makes things quite difficult for me. As it is my job to guard him. That is why I gave in to a moment of grumbling. Ruins. Oh. Right, you see that opening over there? Uh. The cliff crumbled, and as a result of the upheaval, and that, as a result of the upheaval, and that revealed these ancient ruins. How convenient! Prince Sidon immediately ordered a thorough investigation. <sighs> no, the sludge will probably clear when you do the dungeon, just like how the snow uh, cleared. <clears throat> Giato is a historian, so this kind of thing is his specialty. He was terribly excited, and this is completely transfixed by the by the runes. I got you, Giato. I got those splash. Oh, wait. I thought this is... Uh, it's missing. I thought it's sludge. Hmm. This dignified presentation. Yes, the writing looks like waves upon a stormy sea. Extraordinary. This ancient stone set was written by our Zora ancestors from the distant past and left for us to discover. I am having a pretty, pretty awesome day. Once again, finding really cool things today. Stand upon the la land of the skyfish. Skyfish. A droplet. The watery bridge. Hmm. Alas, I cannot decipher it. Hmm. Oh, Link! My apologies. I was deep in thought, and in any case, I have news. I've made a monumental discovery. Ah. This is undeniably an ancient Zora stone slate. Better still, upon its surface, there still appears to be text regarding the sky. However, the slate is broken, and so I'm unable to read it in its entirety. Ah. I deeply wish that I could view the full text. I fear that my fins are tied. Um, it's probably in here somewhere. Hmm. 
Well, this one is dropping. Oh. Is there is our blood moons more frequent? Or I guess I'm just not realizing how much I'm playing the game. <laughs> I wonder if this still happened after the same amount of time. Oh, wait. It's here. Any minute, loading. <laughs> Scary sound. Here you go. Blood Moon's more frequent? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> what is this? The stone slate. I can hardly believe my eyes. Link. I must thank you. Ah! Oh, incredible. I can finally read it. Yes, I very well can. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see, a droplet waits for you. Okay, the droplet is probably going to be the tear. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Do this task. And you shall reveal a most wondrous thing. See the watery bridge, bridge's resting spot with your own two eyes, that which connects the Zora to the people of the skies. <laughs> this is an extraordinary discovery. This important text actually tells us how to journey into the sky. Hmm. Mm. Though in truth, that mystery just leads us straight into another. One difficulty has been overcome, and yet another has appeared in its wake. As it mentions the mark of the king, perhaps it would be prudent to consult King Dorothan. I assume that he will be returning from his investigation of the sludge shortly. Okay. So where do I wait for him? Where would he be returning to? Into... Um into the city? That would make more sense, I think. The Blood Moon looks so much cooler too, how it's like... Showing the Sky Islands, essentially. And the sound is scary. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. Scary Zelda. Spiritless Zelda. I'm almost kind of sad that we won't... I, I think the music here will probably also change back to the normal version. But I really like the Rito, the different Rito music, for example. Maybe a little shrine in between to break up the pace. Mogavak. Ah, okay, so Sidon is purifying the water up there top right, so not everything is becoming sludge. Did you like the Colgera music? I loved it. I was talking to somebody in Discord yesterday who had the soundtrack and to specifically ask for... that when the flute kicks in, I lost it. I, I don't know if it's a pan flute or like some other sort of flute, but it's so good. That's in my favorites. The other thing that's in my favorites is uh, just a tower when you first flap with the map. Like everything, even before you get even shot. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I think those are like up there. Oh, I did. Uh, I don't know how much of the game you did, but I did like all of the quests in Hateno to like do the election. There's like a different version of the Hateno theme that's really cool. Big fan of that too. But yeah, Kolgara one was um, definitely S tier. Can I ask again the power of water? Is that a, a jet? A water jet? 
I know I have a hydrant in my inventory, but... Oh. <clears throat> How far into the game do you think you are? Um, 15% or something. I'm doing the second major event right now. But like, if you mean everything, then probably like 15%. Yeah. Okay, this is, I have to do like a Gerudo puzzle here, like use the water for power. So... Uh, wait, but this is light. This is electric, but I kind of have like none of them. Ow. Okay. <laughs> wait. What? This is like scary. I know this is not how you're supposed to do it, but oh, you can't recall it. Okay. Can you recall this? And I will be shocked again. What's up, Luki? Thank you for the 17. Okay, no. Oh my god, it's going back. And uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, that was just a bit weird. Do I like the new game? I'm completely addicted. I've been playing it literally 14, 15 hours a day. Ever since it came out, I've only been playing, sleeping, and eating, and mostly playing. It's uh, on pace to be my favorite game of all time. Essentially. I mean, these shock arrow puzzles always worked in uh, Breath, of, Breath of the Wild, where you would shoot shock arrows against everything. Magic Scepter? Wait, what? A two hand? Wait, what does that mean? How does that interact with a, like a good gemstone? Don't tell me there's a better blizzard rod. An even better one than the other one already is. Because the other one is already broken. Wait, for this one, the throwing one? Nah, nah, nah. How is this ever balanced? I, I'm, not, I'm not even sure, honestly, if the range is bigger. But like, man. Either way, it's broken. Okay, I think I kind of get it. We're supposed to make electricity. But this seems to be like a shock. This seems to me like it would be a shock arrow puzzle. We're supposed to make electricity. Okay, I have a really cool idea for the shrine, but I don't know if it's going to work. This, this uh, star rod just is light. It's really good for underground, but I don't think it does damage. At least I haven't tried it for damage. Is my armor good? It's not bad. Um, it looks really cool, though. Okay, I have a really cool idea for the shrine, which may or may not work. Oh, so this charges the battery, right? It charges the battery. And now what I do, I use recall. <laughs> I could have also probably just carried it over. But this is cooler. <clears throat> you know? Yep. What's up, whale? I did all of this for an opal. I can't tell you how mad I am. Wait, so... Oh, it's up there. I see. Huts. 
Ah, the main theme is the main theme. I really like the version of the main theme from the intro screen. Like, holy. <laughs> yeah, like, not the intro screen, but like when you, when you fall on the skyland. How are most people calling the Great Sky Island? Ah! Please come back. GSI, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I called it first. People were like, please don't call it GSI, but it was obvious. Why can we not, ah, uh, people don't want to be back on Plateau. Interesting shrine. For now, we'll see what the future holds. What's your average view count? But here's the King stream. I have no idea. I basically never check my view count, especially during these streams, because these streams are just for fun and for me um, enjoying the game. And to record my playthrough to upload it later. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I love how they react to it. Um, oh, Swift Violets are back. That is pretty good. Oh, it's a pretty good item. I'm also really oh. broke. Hi. Oh. 22 power on this one, true. I, I want to see Black Lizalfos. So bad. Oh. I wonder if shock arrows still do more damage than fire and ice. I can't wait to see the damage values for all of the fuse arrows, actually. Stuff like ruby, topaz, and stuff. This music is wild. <clears throat> oh no, I forgot to buy Tabantha weed in Rita. I wanted to make pizza. Does using a bomb plow to your oh. shield do what I think it does? Literally, yes. It does. Oh. The cookbook part of oh. Hundo? Yeah, I can't wait. My mind is my mind oh. is interested in Hundo, but once I see what you actually oh. have to do, I'm not so sure anymore. Oh. I, I'll show you, I'll show you. To save you one bomb flower, I'll show you it, okay? I'm saving you a bomb flower right now. I've done it on, I know it sends you forward on like sloped surfaces, yeah. Um, I don't know if you've messed around with this a lot, but like in my mind, I don't know how easy it is to come by, by Zonite. But literally just making a building that's like this, right? Basically just like a plank with a rocket that sends you like at this angle. To me sounds really useful. Because it's like basically a buildable wind pump for six zonites. Oh, this is my first fleet lotus seed. The plant that bears these seeds grows near deep water. The roots draw nutrients from the water, which boosts your movement speed. I still have one after I'll explain where these shrines went. Finley, she had a quest before. 
What in the world? Wait, is that the love letter girl? I thought that I would, could escape my restless thoughts by walking. Before I knew it, I was going around in circles. This is where Sasan and I would come to talk for hours. I'm so worried about Sasan. Was that his name? He's my best friend and favorite person. He's also hiding like you. Best friend. Okay, thank God. Um, however, since the sludge showed up, he hasn't been showing up in the domain on the day he promised he always would. Nothing like this has ever happened before, so I'm quite worried. It's too dangerous to leave because everything is covered in sludge. I guess I'd have to wait here a bit longer. I see. So I guess we have to save that guy. Yeah, six years until they fix the quest. Um, I just thought it was Miku's leg. I was like, huh? I just remembered where I'm going. But yeah, basically this is what Star Fragment does. It just shoots like three lights that stay out for some time, which is kind of nice for the depths. <laughs> Wait, he's not here. Oh. King Dorothy, super punch and super kick. Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. I'm so big and strong. Whoa. Oh no, I got beat. The sludge is so yucky. Why is she singing? <laughs> you got me, you big dumb monster. There's no other choice. I'd have to hide in a secret spot. And that spot is... Hmm? What up, guy? We're full up on folks who are allowed to play our King Dorothan game. We can't keep playing with you here, so take the hint and scram. What do you mean, Tumbo? I gave you... F I gave you five frogs or something in the past. What are you doing here? Healing. The sludge really is quite stubborn. I really hope our patients recover soon. Ah. Lady Yona, Sir Link is here at last. <clears throat> oh. oh, you really came. How fortuitous. I was hoping to speak with you about an item that you entrusted the domain with repairing. Your Zora armor. The repair is mostly complete, but it does require just one more thing. I need an ancient Aravana. I have that, actually. I can finish the armor right away if I can somehow acquire a skill from that fish. We have not seen ancient Aravanas around lately, and I have no idea where they can be found. Hmm. Since they're used to, for making armor, Dento the blacksmith may know something about how to get one. I already have one. <laughs> if you can find one, can you please bring it to me? Do that, and I shall return... I shall fix your precious item at once and return it to your care. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with these. Yeah, I wonder where she came from too. She was never here before. Maybe she swam here through the ocean or something. Uh, yes, here you go. Whoa. An ancient Aravana, whoa! With this, I can finally finish repairing your treasured Zora armor. Please wait just a short moment while I hurry to the workshop. I'm so honored to reunite with this item, dear Link. To reunite you with this item, dear Link. Yes, yes. Your armor. Yes, yes. They just speak. Did you just speak English? <laughs> Your armor is as good as new. She's just talked. Armor crafted by a pastor or princess for a future husband. Wearing it would allow um, even a Hylian. Wait, was it just. Was it phrased like that before, straight up? Armor crafted by Zora Prince for a future husband? Did they say it like that before? Wearing it would, wearing it would allow even a Hylian to swim up waterfalls. Don't they speak English? I'm pretty sure this game is made in Japan. Um, please, take this along with our well wishes. <sighs> well, at least normally they only replace the NPC sounds if they actually have other voice lines. So if Yona has like a voice line later, then it makes sense. <clears throat> I'm so happy that I was able to return it to its pristine state. It's, it is a precious piece of armor after all. As you well know, the Zora armor allows even a Hylian like you to climb waterfalls with these. That's, that means sludge. 
Of course, I will not help you with climbing waters that have been tainted with sludge. Okay, never mind. <laughs> However, with your great skill, Sir Link, I'm certain you will find a way up the waterfall clouded through it. Whoa. Please use this well for your investigation to Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Nice. It seems like it's slightly polished. Maybe it's placebo. That's the main quest, apparently, so... So, where is this king at? But I already spoke with him. Speaking of Chiata, Total Lake may yield information. What do you mean? Was I supposed to wait up there? Did I miss something? No, okay, now I'm supposed to go back to me for court or what? Huh? Big quality of life improvement, the Zora armor. You can cancel waterfall swims. Is that what it is? I that I'll find it, okay. Yeah, this is the best place in the game. Like, the most aesthetic place in the game. This reminds me of, um, for the Genshin players, like, Watatsumi Islands. Like, that, like, look. Which obviously was then, again, inspired by Zora's Domain. So it's like, this is like the ultimate version of it. What's up, Claire? Sidon. I learned something. Oh. Zora armor, it's, it really is perfect on you. I have no doubt that it will help you on your search for Princess yes. Zelda. He reacted to that, cool. Speaking of, have you found anything? Yes. Oh. So, the stone slate Jato was re researching had that written on it. Uh, the land of the skyfish floating rocks with a floating droplet among them. And the mark of the king. Hmm. The mystery only deepens, hmm? I truly wish that I could be of some use to you. The Mark of the King. Mm. Mark of the King, I'm sorry, I have no idea what that could be. Shihato often tells me when in doubt, ask my father. He is not the beloved Zora King for nothing, after all. He left the domain to investigate the sludge. That is all I know. Mm. I'm hopeful that he will return soon. Perhaps you could try visiting the throne room, as you may recall. It's in the center of the domain. So I actually have to do this, like... Dude. <laughs> He's so scary sometimes. This is where, this is where I'll take like, I'll take like, video for my new intro screens and stuff. You know how I have this at the moment? This one? This will turn into like, a, a background like this. Without the sludge, probably. <laughs> oh! Th are they already active? How did it even work? Wait, what? Is one not enough? Or do they have to be in the air? Oh no, I, d I didn't understand. Now I understand what they are. Okay, I'm stupid. In my mind, it was like they are. Um, they, I was causing the low gravity, but they are just like low, gr they're like basically mini versions of those dragon platforms. <clears throat> what? What the fuck? Am I not supposed to be here? Did 
You can be. Should I go back? How am I supposed to find? What the fuck is going on? Is he not really investigating this? This music. I did skip something. Can, can, can I fix this? God. I'm gonna go back to the throne room. I'm gonna go back to the throne room. Throne room. <clears throat> That's horrifying. And Moose was at his side. Did they lie? He's not actually... Or did he get hurt at the... Uh, during the investigation? I didn't miss much. No, no, no. I can see... I, I, I guess there's a quest line to find him. And I want to do that because earlier I got baited thinking I need to do a quest line to get to Koga. Even though I technically was already there. So they don't want me to play... I was supposed to go to the throne room. They don't want me to play there. But I'm just gonna ascend into their play area. The secret spot where King Dorfman is hiding, it's... Oh, okay, so I have to... I have to... Spy on them. The king is in trouble. I wonder where that spot is, Omegalul. Um... I have to ascend behind the throne so that they don't see me. Oh! Will this work? That's not, that wasn't even my plan. Listen! I did it, but the sludge is too thick and gross. I failed. My king, King Dorofan. I'm pretty pleased. I'm... Oh, what if you went to that one place to hide? Ah. Hey, come on, do it right. That didn't sound like him at all. Hmm. I'm trying, but I can't play Muzu and the monster. The monster? Not all by myself. Ah. Hey, I've been wondering forever. The secret spot where King Dorofan is hiding. What kind of place is it? <laughs> I know, right? I asked King Dorofan about it once. And he said it was a pristine sanctuary or something. Oh. Pristine sanctuary. So I guess it's a spot with clear water. Somewhere you can get your tummy clean and stuff. But these days most of the water around the domain is yucky because of all the sludge. Mm. Oh, I have, an, I have heard there's clear water flowing somewhere between Polymus Mountain and the domain. And there's supposed to be a secret entrance by the waterfall too. Oh, okay, so that's what I missed? Wait, how is that so much? What, what do you mean? Musa told us we could never, ever tell anyone. It's fine, no one's listening. Anyway, let's go through our game again this time with feeling. Can we play something else? Wait, how did I skip so much? I just skipped the information, or what? I'm even more confused now. That's all it was, okay. I mean, I did get lucky, but I went to Sidon because that's where the quest marker went, and then tried to go back to Zora's Domain, and I guess it showed up. I see. So you are supposed to enter that way, right? You can't go through the door. And there's not like a cutscene you missed. That's what I was afraid about. Or not. <clears throat> no cutscene. Okay, okay. I guess it is a bit hard to find. Oh god. Oh! Wait, that felt weird. So, oh, you can just... Oh, okay. That is sick. Okay, that's a huge quality of life. And you can jump out of it too? That's nuts. That's actually a good armor now. And it was already looking good. Damn, but what is going up was like this is First of all a really cool looking place. 
Wait, wasn't there a door here before? Or can you also enter through the waterfall? Wait, wasn't there a door there before? Did the door disappear because I did the quest progression now? I don't know, that, would, that seems weird. Or did this just look like a door? I guess it just looked like a door. Oh no, I just saw this part and think, so, thought it was a door, I think. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, holy fuck. Who approaches? Is that you? So it is, Link. How did you find this place? What cruel ploy are you plotting? Hold, my ever loyal Muzu. If you speak in such a way without explanation, Link will only be confused as to what is going on. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Hello, Link. It's been some time since last we spoke. I received word that you went missing along with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? <coughs> well, well. Do you think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda? Huh? You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do not sully our ears with your lies. Muzu is still so mad, holy. I saw Princess Zelda with my own eyes right after the phenomenon of Hy at Hyrule Castle took place. Hmm. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link. I will now tell you what happened when we last saw Princess Zelda, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. Oh. We encountered Princess Zelda just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere, from nowhere. Sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky accompanied by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then al unleashed the beast upon us. King Dorothan valiantly vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during the battle. So Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporarily remaining hidden within the pristine sanctum. <coughs> According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared suddenly in the depths within the Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. Because she used reconification to save her spirit to reach this time. But her body is like corrupted or like soulless or corrupted by Ganon. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Zora's domain and unleashed a monster upon us. The waters of truth have become murkier still. But from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can be found skyward. Sidon ordered Giato and historian well acquainted with ruins to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. So it has. <laughs> <clears throat> so she's Zelda, but not Zelda. Well, I think it's like her body, but she lost herself. Like, there's this cutscene where Minoru talks about draconification. Forbidden way to reach the future by swallowing the secret stone. I believe that this is what Zelda did. And that's, like, the dragon around the sky plateau, in my mind at least now, is probably actually her. And um, in the process, she lost herself, and her body, body either is corrupted or, like, spiritless. Which is why she's like, also like talking like she's like dead inside during the Blood Moon cutscene. So you've already spoken with Giato. Hmm. You say that the Mark of the King was mentioned on the stone slate that was restored. Hmm. Indeed. I know of it. The Mark of the King refers to Zora's scale. One of my scales, in other words. Oh. I've heard it's called by the name you mentioned in an ancient ritual. However, none remain who know how it was used. If this particular scale of mine may prove useful to you, by all means, take a few. There is no need for restraint. This is nothing to me. If you run out, simply return and acquire more. <laughs> was that him laughing? His mouth didn't move. That was scary. King's scale. Is... 
Is he draconic? Why does it look like a dragon scale with the white part there? I told you dragons are gonna be big. Uh, Zora King, Zora Kings bear the scale on their foreheads. It sparkles in different ways depending on the angle from which it's viewed. I know fish have scales, but the um, the top of it looks uh, like the scales from Breath of the Wild. The dragon scales. Um, it sparkles in different ways depending on the angle from which it's viewed, so it's like iridescent. They were once used in ancient Zora ceremonies. Mm. After all that has transpired and after much reflection, I've come to a realization. I must truly be getting on in years to have allowed a mere monster to catch me off guard. Perhaps the time is nearing for me to pass the title of King to Sido. Uh. King Dorothan. Mm. In any case, that is a matter for another day, after the cow surrounding the sludge has quieted. Please inform Sidon about my situation and about the king's scale. Tell him there is no need to worry about me. Tell him that he must go forth and do what needs to be done. I, so are we going to tell him first? Or only are we going to not tell him until we're done with dealing with this, whatever is going on in the sky? Also, are these like a... Like how would I get these back? Zora kings bear the scale on their foreheads. Zora king kings bear the scale on their foreheads. It sparkles in different ways depending on the angle from which it's viewed. Yeah, I don't think this is. I don't even think this is his scale. This is just a scale that they bear during ceremonies, but it's not like actually a fish scale. <laughs> I still don't get why he's the only Zora who's massive, yeah, not sure. On steroids. Why do streamers always, almost always read the whole game text uh, loudly? To read it to the people that are listening in the back. Or listening in later. Um, I guess it comes mostly from the fact that a lot of streamers got into streaming from watching stuff like Let's Plays, and that's always what people have done there. And a lot of people have to stream in the back because they're playing the game themselves and if that's what they did and I wouldn't read text then they would basically hear nothing for like 20 minutes. Who's this? Yeah? I remember her name. May. I need to try harder to catch some tasty fish for my family. It's important to eat well and keep your energy up when times are tough. That's it. Also, how have I not found a Lionel? No, it's not there. I, I still haven't found a single Lionel. In like... 35 hours. Oh, she's the wife, right. I thought maybe she was the one with the uh, High Nox quest. But she's the wife. I really hope the music here continues playing after we deal with this because it's just really pretty wait also we didn't get a check mark on this cave i don't know if this means there's gonna be a bubble frog in here at one point not sure let's do another trying to break up the pace and then we head up there which order has a limb done the regions in? Trying to do the same order so I can watch my minimizing spoilers. So basically, I mostly explored the surface at the start, and I went back to the Great Plateau. Then I went underground. Um, oh, this is actually good to do right now. Ah, true, I should be doing the shrines, because they will teach you mechanics that you need. We talked about this earlier. I ba uh, basically went to Central Hyru Hyrule on the Great Plateau, underground a little bit. Then the Rito area... 
And then Lenayru. More underground stuff. Following some of the geoglyphs. I went to the Forgotten Temple. It's mo so far it's basically been like in, in terms of main quest. Rito. And now Zora's domain. And then Um This is so strange. I am up to I think memory seven or geoglyph seven. I've been doing the memories in order. You can find the order by going into a place where that questline leads you. Okay, yeah, there's still just platforms. Why is this one always active? I feel like there's so many different ways to solve this right now. <laughs> Need to get used to recall is left, ultra and is right. Obviously ascent is up. I still need this. Right, fuse is down, obviously. That's the last one that's left. Wait, that's so cool. I honestly kind of hope there's a curling mini game now. <laughs> What's backseating? It's the same, it comes from backseat driving. Like, imagine you're trying to drive your car, <laughs> but somebody's sitting in the back seat and it's like, take a sharp, take a sharp left right now. No, you're driving too fast. It's too slow. No, 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 no. Go do the trick. Do, do the burnout. Like, that's where it comes from. And for. These gaming streams is basically people trying to play the game through the streamer. Um, telling them what to do, like, go here, use paraglider, um, use this item. Oh, God. I can't wait to see this. Yes, do this. That's basically the breakdown. I have eight of them again. Not bad. I have nine hearts. I'm gonna get... I do want to find out how many hearts are on the first row, now that I have two stamina. Finish the game. Go to the final boss, go to this area. Use this armor. But yeah, we, we, we got the point. Wait, I didn't test if you could ascend through these platforms, the ones that you can move. If you can, that's pretty sick. <clears throat> so I wonder if we're gonna tell side of what's going on. Or if we're gonna stay quiet until we're done with what has to be done. Did we read this? Day in and day out, the sludge never stops falling. Oh yeah. Link, have you made any progress in your search for Princess Zelda? Hmm. What? You say my father was attacked by a monster? And that Princess Zelda unleashed it upon him? What could that possibly mean? Well, for now I fear all we can do is take my father and 
at his words and try not to let our concern overcome us. Mm -hmm. Link, thank you for telling me about my father. Mm. Princess Zelda descending from the sky, not to mention the monster in that filthy sludge. It seems our course is skyward. We now know that the mark of the king written of on the slate refer refers to my father's scale. The only remaining mystery is that of the land of the skyfish, the floating rock in the shape of a droplet. Standing upon the land on the skyfish, that must be referring to an actual location of some sort. Hmm. I'm sure that if we locate the land of the skyfish, it will lead us to a floating rock that is the shape of a droplet. Link, if you find any leads, please let me know at once. Oh, do you just want me to go there or what? Your objectives align with Sidon's. If you find a clue about the watery bridge connecting the Zora to the sky, you should let him know. Wait, why, why do I have like two quests for this? And why do I still have a quest here? I guess I have to ask this guy again. I did mention this guy that looked like a fish, but like I don't know how to tell him about it. I understand this. This is maybe where this starts. Wait, can I just swim up there? Actually, now that I think about it. Because that's not a sludge waterfall. <clears throat> like, it's not pure sludge, it's still water. Yep. Floating Scales Island. I don't know if I should be wasting water. Or maybe this is finally where it's worth it to actually make a water stuff. Wait, 46 damage? Oh, because it gets the attack power boost. That's kind of insane. Where's the um, Opal? Where are those? I didn't sell them all, there's no way. I just missed them. What? Okay, I'm blind. <clears throat> what is backseating? Don't tell me how to play the game, essentially. Okay, yeah, this is much better. Than using any arrows for this. It's actually broken, what? Wait, this is so good. Wait, are we playing Mario Sunshine here or is there more to do? <clears throat> I don't know if I just need to clean up everything. I doubt it. Maybe I should actually read. Stand upon the land of the skyfish and behold its lofty view. Among the floating rocks you see a droplet waits for you. Through this droplet, shoot an arrow with the mark of the king. Okay, yeah, I should probably read. <clears throat> this is almost broken already though. Um... But which one? The droplets. These 
than just normal rocks. Oh. <laughs> okay. That sounds so satisfying. What is this gonna do? Whoa. Holy shit. I have news. <clears throat> I love this place so much. So wait, is this just Polymus Mountain? Yeah, so Polymus Mountain just became me first chord. Leona, it's far too dangerous for you to be here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Darling, I came here because there's something I need to speak with you about. I have been thinking for quite some time. <sighs> Hello there, Link. Oh. What has happened, my friend? Did you figure something out? Oh. You solved the ancient stone slate's riddle, and a pillar of light appeared? If the words upon the stone slate are correct, a path to the sky may open if we investigate that location. Oh. Well done, Link. This is a huge development. I see. My dear Sidon, I think that you should go with Link to investigate that pillar of light, as I was just about to say. For a long time, I've been concerned that you are holding yourself back and not acting as freely as I would have expected. But, my love, if you and Link join your powers, I'm certain you shall be able to overcome whatever danger awaits. Hmm. That is undoubtedly true. However, <sighs> what is troubling, troubling you, Sidon? Why are you so... Why are you hesitating so? Mm. I... It is simply that... Huh? huh? Sludge-like... Ambusher of Nifa Court. Her name is Yona. I love that name too. That monster is covered in sludge. Could it be the foul beast that harmed father? Sidon. Okay, I already know how to beat it then. Uh, we take, um, we can take care of the water at least for a little while. Do not fret about the domain. Huh. You're right, as ever. It is up to you, my lady. Mm. Link, please. I must ask if you fight at my, uh, to fight at my side once more. He's gonna be our co-op man now. The beast is protecting his body with sludge. It is a mighty opponent, certainly. But we must not falter. When an opportunity presents itself, Call out to me. I shall use my power to envelop you in water, thusly shielding you from a foe. At that point, you may shoot forth the water as an attack by swinging your weapon. Sidon's power of water. When Sidon's aura is charged, he can attack a bubble of water that blocks an enemy incoming attack. If you swing your weapon, this water will be channeled into a long range strike. We need to get up close and personal with him. Be careful. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like his voice sounds different. Also, did it explain what button to press for this? I thought I had to block. Oh, I have to actually... Oh, I have to actually interact with him. Okay. I see. But also, why do I not just use uh, choo-choo arrows? Oh, it's like this again. Oh my god, he got rolled. Yeah, 
I didn't even have a tech up. Wait. That moved faster. Oh god! I didn't want this. Tulin! Wait, Tulin, leave. I don't need you right now. Is that what its body looks like? That's so disgusting. <laughs> you did it, Link. Take that foul beast of the sludge. Is everyone all right? We are unharmed. Thank goodness, Lady Yona. If something had happened to you, I... Um, in any case, it is possible that another monster would appear. I suggest that you return to the domain at once. Hmm. Thank you for the sentiment, Sidon. However, more importantly, we must consider what Sir Link spoke of earlier. Sir Link, I see. The pillar of light that he said appeared at the reservoir begs to be investigated. This may be our opportunity to learn the cause of the sludge falling from the sky or even Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yes. Leave this place to us, dearest Sidon. Your friend needs your help getting to the bottom of this mystery. Mm. Well, of course. It would be best for me to accompany him. However, I cannot leave you alone at this dangerous place. <laughs> Did you not entrust this child to us already? We will not be on our own for long. We shall be just fine. Hmm. But, <sighs> Sidon, my darling, I truly appreciate that you worry for my safety. It speaks to the kindness in your heart. Uh? But you are the prince of the Zora. One day, you will lead the people of your beloved domain. I can see right through you. Whether you want me to or not, you are yielding to the fear of losing someone you love again. You must overcome your past and face whatever the future holds with courage. Mm. But I... Come now. <laughs> enough is enough. Oof. You are... N <laughs> I'm sorry. That actually broke the immersion. She hit him with the oof. You are not acting like yourself. Hey now. You must leave this place to me. Sweet Sidon, do not get lost in the past. You must keep moving ever onward. Just follow your heart as you always do. Like my old self, like I always do. Yes, yes. It is all right, I swear it. I'm not going anywhere. I see. And there it is. Clear as day. I was giving in to my fear of once of losing someone I love once more. I. I. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> You're right, Yuna. I will not give in to this fear, nor forsake my trust in you. I leave this place to you, my love. Oh. Off we go, Link. To the pillar of light. I shall blaze ahead, my friends. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> it seems Sidon has finally put his doubts behind him and returned to his usual fearless self. I'm so glad. All this time he was clinging to regret over being unable to save his precious sister, Mifa, my poor tormented Sidon. And to think he was unknowingly paralyzed from taking actions because he feared losing me as well. Whoa. Yet he has overcome this trial and placed his faith in me. At last, the Sidon I know and love has come back to me. <laughs> Link, please take good, good care of my dear Sidon. He is the sun in my sky. Of course we will. Nice. Royal Claymore with imp improved Flurry Rush. These are still pretty good, especially if you add a good um, fuse material to them. Really? I was hoping it would look a little bit cooler, but hey, at least uh, it's powerful. Because when you fuse horns to these claymores, they just like look like this instead. Which I prefer. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, Claymore with Horn looks nice. I had one with a um, Black Boss for Koblen. Horn. That was probably my favorite weapon aesthetically so far. I was, I was gonna say, I heard something there on the left. Uh, maybe later. The music is so good too. Over there, what is that? Something resembling a pillar of light has appeared at the East Reservoir Lake. I wonder if this too is related to the upheaval. Well, I'm about to find out, my friend. The diving's just so fun. <clears throat> I don't know if I should get used to having all of the uh, summons basically all at once. Is it a good idea to just dive in here? Maybe I should have... Oh, yeah, he's on the rock. Now I kind of want to know what happens if I just go in. No. Probably just void out. We are here once again, Sidon. It's you and me again. This is where we started last time. Um, so that is the clue for reaching the sky. <clears throat> we get a message from a sage again. Hmm. Just now. What was that? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Now is not the time for fights. Or fancy. Or for flights of fancy. Just where could the light be coming from? I have an idea. Okay. What is he? Oh, he's making a whirlpool? No shots. I just, I just uh, remembered that there's a whirlpool in Lake Hylia. Oh my god. In in Lake Hylia as well from the trailers that I haven't investigated in yet. I haven't even been at that bridge. Well, here we go. So we are under the East Reservoir Lake now. And this architecture looks like the island that we were just on. Wait, how was I able to open it there? I saw the open prompt show up a couple times. I saw it sh show up again. At this point, I could just use probably Ultra Hand, but now I'm committed. Never mind, I'm not committed enough. It's probably gonna be like five arrows. Zora's sword. Higher attack power when wet. Which looks like it's gonna be basically raining here. And the design of that sword is still incredibly cool. So I might be using that here. K. 
Can you fuse a fish to your sword? No. <laughs> I don't know why I never tried that, but I apparently you just can't. It doesn't say fuse attack power, I guess. You can fuse wood to your sword. Actual trash game. Factual. Alright, we make a... We make a... 44 Zora Katana. Oh, damn, but it's a one-handed weapon. That's pretty good. That looks pretty nice, too. Okay, um... We have to break this, but it's raining. So I guess we have to... Use like a hammer. <laughs> the attack, attack up is times two when wet. That's crazy. And that probably also stacks with uh, the normal attack up. I wonder if that applies to the Zora bow as well. Because if it does, that sounds dangerous. Because then you can do headshots times two. <laughs> Attack up times two, when wet times two. I think I fused like... Oh my god, wait. Is this a dungeon? It's about to be, I believe. <clears throat> I think I fused like a choo choo jelly to my shield before. And it kind of uh, had Link covered in water. This looks amazing. Yeah, enjoy the game yourself, Moss. Mm. To uncover more water. <laughs> this is like such a classic uh, water temple mechanic, though. <laughs> Fill the room with water. Okay, that was not the idea. That was also not the idea. But there's multiple ways we can do it. It's slipping. See, that spec sitting basically. Well, it's actually not even backseating, it's just... Do you think I'm that stupid? <laughs> it's more like shocking. No, it's not. He's not telling you what to do. True. You're right. That's why I said it's not really. It's I'm mostly disappointed that they think I'm this... That I didn't understand that Link is slipping from the surface. <clears throat> Can you not stand on those? I feel like in the past you would be able to. But maybe not on these ones. I'm gonna make the most scuffed contraption. What is weird though is it seems like now when you slip off you completely fall off. Which would be new. Because um, normally you would only lose some height.
24. Still very pretty. Yeah, there's slip resistance in the game. I haven't actually um, made it yet. Like, I haven't gotten the armor set from the newspaper thing or made a potion that helps you out with this. But I feel like most of the time you can just find a way to ascend instead. Wait, is there... is this one... Do I have to do this one first there? I feel like probably right. chest looks cool so here I'm pretty sure nothing would technically stop me from fusing a rocket or a bomb to my shield and jump over there maybe bombs wouldn't actually go off like to do a scientific test. <laughs> um, maybe I should figure out how this actually works though. It's gotta be, it's gotta be this middle one, right? But there was only a chest in there. Because that's glowing. Maybe it's more connected than that. Yeah, I'm still scared because I don't know how RNG rockets will be, but they do seem really good. And I remember actually even with Vivo, I remember talking with Vivo about the fact that we were scared that rockets especially is the only thing that you want and runs and you have to get lucky wait that's fuse <laughs> apparently that's the solution brian i believe They definitely will be. Now how do I get back? Ah. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. This looks so cool. Yeah, I wish that too sometimes. <clears throat> Try using a bomb arrow and rain. Does it just work? It probably just works.
That's pretty cool. Oh. A waterfall. A waterfall descended from the sky. Oh. Link, what happened? Is this your doing? Mm. Aha, so you've activated a mysterious device in the ruins. And then the waterfall appeared. Mm. Hmm. Oh. I believe I understand. To Zora, a waterfall is no different. A waterfall is no different from a path. Hmm. That must be the meaning behind watery bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Ah. Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well placed as ever. There's so much like cool mm -hmm. symbolism here as well. If we think about like Link potentially guiding these sages into this like unreachable yeah. spiritual place. Literally making them a path. Hmm. It is happening again. Is someone calling to me? What was that sound I just heard? Mm -hmm. But in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. Hmm. With your Zora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. Let us be off to our next adventure, Link. Let's go. I hope this waterfall stays, honestly, because right now it's kind of kind of piss color. This will be fun. It's gonna be so hard to do this and then get used to not having this jump anymore. I feel like on the ground, like I, like I said this before, it feels like you are bound to the ground. Yeah, I did. I, I had some anti gravity stuff happening earlier when I was in this tower. And it felt like when you jump on a trampoline and then you're not on a trampoline anymore. Oh, let's go, Luki. Whoa, every jump is like this. They literally... That's so wild. I want... There's gotta be something broken with this, right? Ah, this is so fun. I wonder how that interacts with speed. Like speed food? Oh, I was supposed to cook stuff. Uh, whatever. There's, by the way, there has to be multiple events in the game that set your time. I feel like there's no way that I keep getting so lucky with getting these nice, like, clear weather. Well, I guess the sky being... The sky not having rain, at least for the most part, helps with that. Oh my god! And you can boost yourself out of there. Soldier 2 blade. I would like this. Probably more than this. Mm. Moblin hammer. There's an improved sneak strike modifier. Jesus. S sneak strikes are already broken. It's already feels nice move and yeah. That's sick, you can like keep your momentum this way. But actually, I wonder if that allows you to do like really far jumps. That's pretty sick. Do 
Do you have bullet time whenever here? Uh, not whenever. You still have to, like, obviously jump. But, yeah, you can just do it out of a jump, obviously. What is this place? My body, it feels light as a feather. This is a strange place indeed, but right now we must focus on locating the source of the sludge. Link, it is time to divide and conquer. Let's split up for the time being. Um, where did he go? What are we conquering right now? <clears throat> oh, these are level 3 constructs. Okay, at least this one. Pretty useful though. You can actually make a pretty powerful sword then. Soldier Construct 3 Horn. A serrated horn from a Soldier Construct 3. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase attack power. It can cut through plants and large trees. Okay, why do you stop there? Dude, even the weapons fly like this? Jesus. And then we can combine this with two then as well, technically. Went up there. Oh God, he does damage. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. Soldier spear. Uh, uh. I don't like the whip, I'm sorry. I like the spears. Especially if we destroy fused material. And then do this. 29 damage spear. Do arrows go further? Oh, I think I think they do. I d think they do. I don't think that bow usually shoots this far. I don't even know what I'm doing. He just said like let's conquer. Oh, there's a chest here, I guess. That gave me a heart attack. Big battery. That's a level two captain? Level three captain? Probably level two, right? That was a level three. Captain Construct 3 Horn, a sharp blade like horn with a complex tip. It looks almost decorative. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase attack power. Okay, we are leveling up here. And a mighty construct bow. Which is really powerful, 24 damage. We are leveling up. Like, how much this this is gonna do a, a ton of damage? 
Yes. <laughs> 40. Looks a bit odd, but I'll take it. Oh my god. This game, man. I just ascend. <laughs> what? I got betrayed. What? Well, I'm a lot more powerful now. Unfortunate that you lose stamina mid jump. Can I get up here? Oh? I don't know if that's intended, but... This is so pretty. Wait, what? I need to do like a running jump. Okay, Tulin. He just popped off. Did you finish the Zora quest yet? No, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. Probably not. I just ascended through. I should go back to this. I need to figure out how these water bubbles even work. <laughs> this is so fun. Well, the ability is called Ascent, but it is similar to Rebody Scale, yeah. This is the this is the trailer spot, right? Or not? Yeah, the maze is in the back. Maybe it's one of them. Yeah, I basically skipped this part by using a sand over there. Unintentionally. There's a hydrant. Am I uh, supposed to use it to clean up the area? Power wash simulator. Basically. Quite pleasant. Quite cathartic. <laughs> no. Most used. What, what 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 can they even still do, Jason? Exactly.
Nice. Can I put a hydrant on a stick? I mean, I I just know that I can. In this game, these aren't even real questions. If you think you do it, you can do it. See, now I have a hydrant sword. Most normal... Most normal weapon in the game. Wait, this unironically looks cool. This unironically is like a really cool weapon. What? It's like a water hammer and it even looks cool like on the back. Zora armor time. Jesus, this is so sick. And then there's shrines here as well. They're going to teach you, like, mechanics. Wait, have I been over there? I don't even know. Oh, Flux Construct. I love those fights. I wonder what level it's gonna be. Unfortunately, this one breaks pretty easily, it seems. actually so strong here what the hell wind is broken <laughs> rip loot i'm chilling i'm mostly here for the shrine Yeah, the dungeon. There's a shrine, so. Ooh. I'll take it. Whoop. <clears throat> the flukes construct, I do want the loot for. I'm gonna put it on the spear. Those fights are always really sick, and I wonder how this is gonna feel in low gravity. Probably even more fun. Please be level 3. I haven't seen a level 3 yet. Yeah, the music for fighting these is crazy too. This is level 2, okay. Where's my apples? Didn't I get like a bunch of apples? I love these. Didn't ascend fast enough. Okay. Well, last time wasn't the Flux Construct level. Um, 
Last time it wasn't level 2. Was level 1. Whoa! Oh, he's doing this shit again. Way too sick. <laughs> 31 damage. That's the first time I have a I collected a card. I guess the last time I just fused it to my shield. Yeah, I don't know why they did that as well. <clears throat> I don't know why they kept the double hits. They are a bit strong. The rest doesn't? Really? Interesting. I thought I got multiple doublets and something, but I didn't pay that clo uh, close, uh, close attention. Well, I wouldn't mind if we if, if spears end up being really good. Um, they're pretty fun. Still no idea what they're for, but I have three of them. That's why I couldn't get up there because it was sludge. To my small end, bingo right now. Oh, I remember. Jesus. We're not even that close. So then we found a liner. Nope. <laughs> Maybe I do another bingo, but I think bingo is the least what I'm interested in the least for some time. I'm mostly going to be interested in actual runs. But maybe one day. Even though bingo in this game looks looks promising. Maybe it'll be fun. First Hoverstone. There's so many Zonai devices as well. No rockets though. Match. I should save my zone charges until I can pull a lot on the rocket machine. Thank you for the good luck. <clears throat> I'm excited for this shrine. The last shrine um, on the basically like approach to the Rito village. Wait. <laughs> I just realized something. I mean, maybe not, actually. Because maybe some of the dungeons are, like, hidden behind quest completion. But, for example, to reach this shrine in, like, an old shrine speedrun, maybe you could go from, like, up here, over here, without actually having to worry about the temples. I guess we'll see. I did not order food, no, but I'm probably gonna do some... Probably, I'm gonna beat this, um... 
I'm gonna beat this dungeon, this temple, and I'm probably gonna stop for the day to catch up on some sleep. It's been like two 14 hour streams back to back today. Maybe I'll only go for like 11, and then again, to normal, like long 12 plus hours, 12 hours plus stream tomorrow. So I might order food when I'm done with this. So why do you teach me these bubbles now? It was... Oh, wait. I didn't even realize. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to shut up. The wow, the devs shut me up quick. Did anyone figure out why planes disappear after a certain time? I think that's just to limit you from going wherever you want, but I'm not sure. But I had that happen too. That doesn't work right now. What is the idea here? Oh, I think I know. Wild. No! Maybe I shouldn't be diving out of them. Maybe I'm being too... I'm going too crazy. Based by time or distance, I don't know. I've only had a glider despawn once and I was... It seemed like it was time. Wait, did I break the machine? Oh, no, yeah, kind of. That was close. These are pretty tough to control. stand here. Let's go. Light of blessing. Do I still have speed? <laughs> Do I still have speed run in my text? I feel like I wouldn't even know at this point. I thought I removed it actually. Oh, I still have it in my tag. Okay. Huh? 
Ah, okay. Wait, it's a wing launcher. That's pretty cool. Wait, why is that construct there? What? Wait, why is that construct there? Didn't I just beat this? Wait, there was a blood moon while there was in the shrine? Or what? But it's 11. I wasn't in the shrine for 11 hours, was I? I mean, maybe it was like a long shrine, but like, no, right? That's really strange. Time pauses and trains. No, it does. It doesn't. But <laughs> hmm. Can you still bow spin? <laughs> it defeated. It says. You cannot again. Okay. Also, I've been wondering, by the way, in general, whether... Um... Oh, that was not good. <clears throat> I've been wondering... Now I forgot what I was saying. Why did I already forget what I was saying? I was on that thing. Where am I going? Bro! Hello? Uh. I was launched from the recoil thing? This? No. <clears throat> One of it only works in low gravity? That was interesting. <laughs> no! I didn't want to pick up the... Whatever. <laughs> there it is. That is a cool weapon, actually. But also kind of weird. Which pretty much is a perfect description for all of the weapons in this game. <clears throat> Still don't know what I was wondering about when I was starting this fight. I was wondering about something. How did I make that? Uh, it was from a flux construct. They dropped this part and you confuse it to your weapons. This is level 2 1. Oh, 
only have one ice switch already. Really? Contact don't respawn with the Blood Moon because they aren't evil. So what do they respawn by? Just always? This is the first time I'm getting, I'm getting a Captain Construct 2 horn, okay? A sharp blade-like horn with a split tip that easily slices anything it touches. Attach it to a weapon to moderate his attack power. I want a mighty Zonai Spear. Looks so good. But yeah, I've been basically wondering. This this is another thing I've been wondering about. If because I know that if you go underground, blood moons don't trigger. <laughs> um, I tried that, so I thought the same is true for shrines, but. I was wondering, because the Blood Moon didn't happen afterwards, if it doesn't delay the Blood Moon anymore, it just, if it just silently happens. Oh shit, it's a, it's a gang. Okay, yeah, let's take that one so broken. This is why this is broken. Oops. I mean, okay. Okay. They can't be hit. It's not broken. What? Who's going on there? <laughs> this area is so sick. Um, how far am I? I'm at doing the second main event right now, essentially. Dude, I have too many good weapons. <clears throat> yeah, I don't need the beam emitter club, as cool as that sounds. Have you watched more glyphs? I, I'm at... Um, number... Six? I've watched up to the, uh, pl the this one. The Illumini Plateau one. The fan service one, essentially, is what I like to call it now. Wait, you even do bigger like climbing jumps. Okay, That's, this is what I learned in the shrine, you know? Beautiful. Okay, I can ultra hand this. Ah, um, wait, is this how it works? I have one solution immediately in my mind for this, which would be really cool. But I don't know if that'll be how it works. Okay, no, it won't be. Again, nothing stopping me here from fusing a rocket to my shield. But that's lame. Is there even something on there, on this platform? Of course there is. 
Okay, I don't want to do the rocket solution, but I want to do something else that's maybe interesting. Oh, holy shit. Dude, the lighting is crazy. Dude, actually having a wing fuse to your shield here? I didn't even think about this. No, no, no. Ah, uh, it's not actually that noticeable. Normally it's quite noticeable, but here not that much. Still pretty cool. What? Wait, why did this fall down? Can you fuse shield to a water bubble? I don't know if these devices here are actually something that you can use. Wait, I don't understand. Why is the bubble not being touched by this? Th see, this is why we don't need glitches to speed on this game though. Like, this might have not been super impressive, but the opportunities that you get from like combining stuff is just endless. Which gacha machine give, gives rockets? The one that I found is um, here. Basically over the Great Plateau. I feel like I literally didn't find a single other one yet. Maybe one other one that I kind of forgot about. So wait, what are you, what are you supposed to do here? I think you were just supposed to build a ramp, but I just messed it up. Oh, I think we are about to enter the real deal, no? I didn't even realize how much progress we made. The orange chests look great. I haven't even thought of using rockets on this place yet. Um, but I definitely can't wait to see what happens. Um, so I guess this happens. Good to know. This really is such a strange place. My body felt light as air, allowing me to soar surprisingly high when I was climbing the waterfalls. As we are in an unfamiliar place, let us proceed with caution. Link, please take care as you forge ahead. So now he's helping me with this again. Cool. I'm not alright, how much damage was that? What the hell? Don't get hit in the future. I just learned. Oh, 
it literally boosted. <laughs> that flew rush. Jesus. <laughs> done and done. Link, let's keep pushing forward. There's another uh, level 3 captain. The flurry rush in that mode, yeah, it's crazy. Here it comes. From what I can tell, all of the sludge waterfalls are flowing from the ruins above here. In other words, there's a source for the sludge somewhere. It must be... Link, once you're amply prepared, let us dive right in. The time has finally arrived. Off we go. I am very curious about the music here. That's the place, all right. Water Temple, the great wellspring of Hyrule. Pretty cool. I guess this is what Ruta was based off later. scary how oh, magnificent to think that such a structure was floating in the sky above our own Zora's domain link look that is surely the source of the sludge I'm certain of it we must do something about it hmm <laughs> that is it Link, you see it, don't you? If we could only make use of that water. Let's try. <laughs> and that's literally his body. As far as I know. Outrageous. Oh? It seems it did not work. But you saw it too, did you not? Using that mechanism did have an effect. Mm. There simply was not enough water. We have right now a second uh, temple, which was from, in my case, the water one. That's what I chose. Him. This is the source of the pure waters of Zora's domain. Use your power to turn on the four faucets and you can collect water here. Mm -hmm. Four faucets, Heed okay. my words. Ah. It happened yet again. Only this time I heard the voice loud and clear. 
The four faucets I see. If we turn those on, we can acquire more water for the water water vessels. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, kid, by the way. Um, right, let us get to work, Link. Together, with our powers combined, there is nothing in this world that could stop us. I believe so too, especially in this environment. Oh, that's a big boy. I'm down for some more choo choo jellies, though. Wait, are we, are we getting this music because of the choo choos? It's kind of cute. Wait, why was this one not moving? Did I jump in too early? This is so scary. It's like. A uh, strong Zonite Spear. It resonates with attached Zonite. Wait, why is that a new item? Oh, because I always picked it up when it was already fused with something. Wait, why is this. this one not moving? Am I too heavy? Or is this. I know the confusion that I yeah it, okay it doesn't I was confused because it seemed earlier like it did Okay, they do not last long enough for this plan Let's start somewhere else I didn't have fairies anymore. Wow, I haven't had a game over in a long time, actually. But, um... That guy blasted me. <clears throat> yeah, these guys hurt. Maybe it's because I lost all of my fairies in the Gleog fight. Trying to, uh... Have a chance. Also, I am like on no HP though, and I didn't cook any food, which I didn't. De I definitely didn't come greatly prepared. What? What is he actually shooting? Just fire arrows? Oh yeah, fire fruit. Ah, fire fruit arrows, okay. The fused spear is still strong on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it counts for this area. I don't know why. Maybe the low gravity are, are like water particles, supposedly. Like, like spirit water. I, I mean, I literally just started with the water temple, so I can't really judge it yet. So far, I like the wind temple more in terms of music, I would say. This is still a good music. But the Wind Temple was just like so dramatic and so fun to get to, but obviously the mechanic here is super fun too, don't get me wrong. <clears throat> I guess this is where we have to bring the orb? Yeah, there's a, there's a slot there in the water. So we have to bring it over here. But how? There's no way this works, right? 
Thank you, though, Blizzard, for the bits. I appreciate it. Oh. This is, um... Interesting. What is going on there? <clears throat> Pretty wild. Actually, I will say, no help, yeah. I'm also considering to, um, because I feel very tired. I, I feel like I'm yawning, I'm not really focused. And at the end of the day, the entire point I'm doing this like playthrough is to enjoy it. So I'm actually considering stopping early today and actually starting with the temple next time and then enjoying the cutscenes. And then, I don't know if I'm going to head to Elden or do more exploration. I feel like there's so much to explore in this area, so I don't know if I'll go to Elden right away. But, um, I kind of don't want to, you know, make my experience worse by doing this thing uh, here while I'm tired. And I'm expecting some pretty cool music and story here. So I think I would rather save this one up. Did I get a war point here? I did. But I think I'm going to save here. Um, if you want to have something to watch anyway, or something in the back, I've been uploading my entire playthrough basically retrospectively on my YouTube bots channel. Um, I have already the first two parts up, and tomorrow I will upload the third one. And I will also once again go live um, on uh, on here. Definitely for longer, because I'm going to catch up on some sleep today and to get some food in my system. I have literally only eaten two cereal bars today. But thank you for watching. Um, I'm still obviously having an absolute blast. Um, tomorrow will be even longer. We'll finish this up. And what even is the plan afterwards? I'd say... Maybe I will actually head into Farron. I didn't think I was going to. But now that I know that the next memory is there, maybe that's up next before we head into the top right of the map. We could do that. But again, thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy your games.